that you are the healer, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, for no other God is like you, O oh God. Father God, you say every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, Father God, that you are Lord, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. Not Yahweh's name, get us there, O oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord Muhammad, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord Buddha, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that the only way you are the God, and through Jesus, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, no other name but the name of Jesus, O oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for your word, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. No other word is better than your word, O oh God. The prophetic word may stand by the God, but your word will stand from the beginning until the end, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you, O oh God, that for me and who you are. We thank you, Lord God. We give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you all the glory, O oh God. Nobody else like you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. Thank you, Lord God. I can't thank you enough, Lord God. Oh, yes, God. God. Hallelujah, Lord God. I thank you all this evening, oh God. I thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for protecting the other countries, oh God. Thank you, Father God, for protecting Israel, oh God. Thank you, Father God, for protecting the United States of America, oh God. In the name of Jesus, there is a reason, Father God, that we are the gateway for the other countries, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let your work stand in the United States of America. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, let us stand for righteousness, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let the people who are called by your name, Father God, stand for what you believe, Father God. In the name of Jesus, from Genesis to Revelation, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we're giving you praise, Father God. We give you honor, Father God. We ask everything we pray in your son's precious name. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Bless the name of the Father tonight. Bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. We honor the precious, precious Holy Spirit. Amen. The Spirit of the living God. Amen. We welcome you tonight. It's going to bring revelation like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank the Holy Spirit for being on tonight. Amen. He's in charge, and then I'm next in charge under him in Jesus' name. My name is Apostle Lord J. Poshman. You're not on here for no accident, and you're not on here because I call you to be on here. You're on here because God wants releasing our blessings on the people's life because so many people are still on the curse. And uh, who God bless, he don't curse. So God wants curses to bless our, uh, uh, break our people's life. His children, because it's time for you to walk in the blessings. Amen. It's time for restoration and recover. Amen. It's also time not to compromise your promise as as well. To stay focused and stay in tune into the Spirit. Amen. By the direction of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And to walk in the Spirit. Because we live in the days when enemies come to kill. And John 10.10 10, come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. And he was he expect us to walk in the blessing. He expect us to have the blessings in the overflow that God has ordained for us before we was born predestinated for us to have and to live the life that he spoken on our life amen we had the blueprints and draft the uh, draft the plans of life that we live in the life that he has for us a better life amen he said the plans I have for you is to prosper and not to harm you that is the new living ver new um uh, NIV version, amen, that is plenty for you to have a good life, amen, and so the enemy has tried to steal and kill, and a lot of people are stuck in a situation with no progress and stagnation, and so we started on Friday night, I mean last, uh, I mean, not Friday, Wednesday night, amen, after the teaching of the Bible study in God's sake. I want you to continue on, I'm getting ready to release things to the people, blessings, overflow, that was hold up, amen, and that they will live in the spirit of prosperity, amen, live in the blessing, because a lot of people have been under the blessings and curses and spells, and uh, spoken against some generation curses all the life, and whatever it is that God is saying, it's time that you walk into the overflow of blessings in every detail of your life, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Amen. That is His will. Amen. So I'm going to take it real quick from the scripture of uh, John, uh, Third John, the second verse. Amen. Third John, the second verse. You get that, and I want you to go there real quick. Amen. Third John, the second verse. I'm going to read it from the uh, 
Amplify. I like the Amplify. I like the NIV. I like the translation. I like the King James Version. I like the whatever God see me, uh, lead me. All right. Third John. I'm getting it right now. Sorry. Let's bring it up. Um, Third John second say, Beloved. We see the word beloved means you have become his friend through Jesus Christ. Beloved, right there, comma there. And I'm teaching people through the Holy Spirit, my best friend. When you read the word, remember, do not read the word fast. The problem when people misunderstand the word because they don't get the real true revelation of the word of God that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, that you have a better understanding and knowledge of the word. Amen. So anytime you see a punctuation mark in a verse, that means he wants you to stop there and listen. Beloved, let you know, uh, telling you to listen to what God is saying. I mean, you can miss the point that God is telling you to, to bring you more understanding and to reveal what he's talking about. Amen. So he's telling you right now with the comment said, Beloved, means that first of all, I want you to know that you are beloved, that you are loved by me. Amen. I don't know what the devil telling you. I don't know what people are telling you. Regardless of your background, what you are, but you got to understand that God did made us perfect. Amen. We was born into sin. And so, because we want to say, he made us like him, the image of him, but at the same time, he didn't make us perfect. So that means he loves us regardless of who we are, regardless of our background. And he wants to know that he's there for us, and he's always been there, amen. But we have to understand that also, that we got to love him as well, amen. So as as you love him, as you accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, you have come his beloved, his friends, amen. So he said, beloved, amen, beloved, you are my beloved. I pray that in every way you may succeed. Look what it says. I pray that in every way you may succeed. Now, is he talking? Uh, 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 is he talking to uh, to curse? He said, "Everywhere you succeed." The word "succeed" is the same thing. Success, amen, and prosper, amen. The word "prosper" be to be uh, to be blessed in every area, to be successful in every area that God has already predestined the plan for you all. And a lot of you are going to some uh, some trials and tribulation. Some of you are going to some things that was held back since you was a child, was held back thirty years ago, fifteen years ago, ten years ago, nine, eight, last year, whatever, amen. So God wants you to begin to walk in the blessings of the overflow that He has already predestined ordained for you to have amen and the only way that you have to do that is because you are a child of God amen and walking in obedience and faithfulness to God he don't have no partiality that he wants people to, his people to be blessed amen do you think that God just wanted the wicked to be blessed and you sitting there and you trying to serve God you gave your life over to the Lord Jesus Christ amen as your savior amen as he's your savior amen do you think that God wants things to pass you by and overlook you God did not create the world just for the evil he created for you amen that you have be blessed amen as well and not only you be blessed your family blessed but as well he wants he wants you also don't forget that he wants to continue to seek him first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and as you begin to seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness where seek me search and acquire him daily it's a daily basis this walk is daily it's not an overnight process it's a daily walk and as you seek him everything and his righteousness the kingdom of God, the what words came to me, who rules, reigns, and govern your life, and righteousness means right standing with God. It also means submit to His will. When you when He said walk in righteousness, means you are submitted to His will. Amen. And as you do that and walk in righteousness, all things should be added. Amen. Everything that He has ordained for you to have, predestined you have before you was born already, that He dropped the plan, blueprint, the plan for you to be blessed, above blessed. Amen. So it is His will for you not to be under curse. His will for you to be blessed. That's why Jesus took upon the curse, amen, that we will be blessed. And the first blessing was to have abundant life, everlasting life, amen. And that includes all of that includes everything that he has already predestined for you to have in his promise, amen. So it says that be, he said that you may succeed and prosper. He didn't say that you will uh, uh, succeed and be cursed. He said that you may succeed and prosper and be in good health physically. Amen. It is God's will that you walk in divine health. Let me say this again. It is God's will for you to walk in divine health. He may use the doctor sometime. Uh, he just may use uh, may use a servant, whoever he use. Amen. Man and woman of God. Amen. To uh, pray for you, to uh, pray for divine healing, to lay hands on you, however, in Jesus' name. Amen. It is his will for you to walk in divine health. Amen. Even with all the pandemic, the COVID virus, all that, you know, that is nothing too hard for God can do. You got to understand that. There's so many Christians 
and non-Christians who are not Christian, amen, are walking in fear. We understand that non-Christian walk in fear because they, they don't have Jesus first. But you as a Christian should have Jesus first. It is his will for you to be healed of caught virus or uh, umper crime. If you, under, if you notice what's going on, they find out there's a lot going on getting ready to be un un uncovered, amen. And I was reading the news that uh, British... In the case that Boris, the uh, the prime minister there, I think he's the prime minister there. He has took off the mandate of uh, uh, the mass and everything else. Amen. And he's making a stand. Amen. This is a warfare in the spirit. This is a spirit antichrist trying to prophesy, to fulfill his prophecy before time to bring in the mark of the beast. Amen. So we need to be very sensitive to the Holy Spirit to recognize what's going on in the world. Everything is going on in the world is right in the Bible. Amen. Right in the Bible telling that how we're going to be challenged. But at the same time, we got to trust and have faith in God. Because God, what He tell you you're going to do, He will do it. Amen. We have to understand that there's nothing impossible to do. You don't look at your situation. You look at what the Word of God said. You stand on the Word of God. Amen. And begin to speak it in faith. Amen. The Word of God says, faith come by hearing. Hearing the Word of God. When you hear the Word, you got to believe that Word. You got to intake it. It's just like when you eat the certain food. You got to digest it properly. If it don't digest, what happened? You could choke off it. Amen. Uh, you could uh, get sick off it. Amen. But when you digest the word of God, the way it's supposed to be digested, I don't care what come hell or how what it looks like, the word of God will work for you because you believe in faith. Amen. You believe in faith. I mean, faith that you trust God. No, you don't have no doubt of what God says. Amen. Your belief in God. Amen. Hallelujah. So don't ever look at what it is. Understand what the word of God say. If the word of God is quick and powerful, the word of God will work for you. But you got to have the, the, the capability or the stability ability of faith in God through Jesus Christ that whatever God said in his word it shall be what it says and you, you know no doubt and no unbelief but you got to be have that reassurance that trust and confidence that whatever God has spoken your life when he had promised you uh, 20 years ago or 15 years ago or uh, when you was a child you had vision and dreams amen and this was promised you and you don't see it happen this is not time to give up this is time to press in even more this is time to trust God even more amen don't look at what it looks like don't look at your situation amen if faith please God, it's time to walk in faith because faith that work is dead. Amen. It didn't say in Mark eleven twenty two say uh, have faith. Amen. Have faith in God. If Jesus is the author and finish of, of faith, means that when you have faith in God, you can have faith in God through Jesus Christ, not in yourself, but through Him. Amen. So it doesn't say that He want to curse. You know, there's a couple uh, uh, where, where uh, some people was cursed. Amen. Uh, uh, of lying, disobedient, but that don't mean now that we live in that God wants you under curse. He do not want you under curse. So a lot of people put their own self in curse, disobedient, uh, try to work, manipulate, and uh, we got a lot of Christians uh, 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 doing witchcraft, manipulating one another, another, jealousy, amen, coming against one another. That is not what you're supposed to do. We're supposed to walk in love because God is love, amen. If you're not walking in love, then you walk in the opposite. You you pleasing yourself and you pleasing the devil, amen. The Bible says, "Perfect love casts out fear." When you allow God's love to uh, perfect everything, every your life, amen, whatever your challenge, amen, fear comes in. When you're challenged by fear, it is hard for fear to challenge the love of God that's perfecting your life daily. So this walk is a daily walk, amen. So he's saying it clearly that uh, that, that you be in good health physically, amen. Just as I know, you know your soul prosper spiritually, amen. So that means that he want me to prosper spiritually and, amen, uh, uh, in my life. Amen. Because when I prosper spiritually, my mentality will change. My thinking will change. I begin to want to think more like Christ. I begin to grasp hold to the word and make a change. And see, salvation is a change. If you don't allow a change to come in, it means the change of living according to the word of God. You will never see a change. You will always be at the same place. Amen. With no progress and stagnation. Uh, frustrated, amen, uh, procrastinating, amen, whatever, amen, and you will not be able to see the things that God has, because most people walk in the flesh and the spirit, amen, we got to understand that God is the spirit, they will worship in spirit and truth, amen, by direction of the Holy Spirit, amen, we're not alone, Jesus is up at the right hand with the Father, Jesus is at right hand, and the Holy Spirit is here, that benefits the power. He is the one that pray according to the will of uh, the Father. Amen. According to the word of God. Amen. And so he's the one that bring things in order. Bring things happen. Amen. And 
brings in remembrance of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we're living in an awesome day that we're going to see things happen before our eyes, but we got to believe in what it says. Confession is very important. It means that whatever you confess with your mouth, that's what's going to happen. Amen. So be very careful. The Word of God said uh, 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 there's power uh, in, the, in the tongues. Amen. And I find out when I was uh, doing a study on the tongues, amen, that t the tongue is the strongest muscles in the body. That's why, that's why the day of Pentecost came on tongues, with the, with the tongues, the fire tongues. Amen. That tongue is very, it's very powerful. So what you speak, you gotta be very careful that you don't speak the negativity that you hear with the enemy trying to place in your ear. That's why it's important that we open our ears and hear what the Spirit to say. Because if we didn't know what the Spirit said, He would not say a stranger. He would not listen to. It. He said, "My sheep knows my voice, and you are sheep." We should know the difference between the voice of God and the voice of the devil, and our voice and other voices. Amen. There's many voices out there, so we got to understand, distinguish the difference between the voices by the rest of the Holy Spirit. He's gonna let you know that is not a God. Amen. One thing you know how, because God would not go against His word, not go against His will and His way. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's very important that we understand that when we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us, we allow the Spirit of God to guide us. In Romans 8 chapter say, them that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Now the word them means, that only means a selected group of Raymond of people. Meaning they stay faithful. Everybody is not going to stay faithful because they, they impatient. Never ask God for patience. Let patience have its work in you and finish that you will not like of anything. That's why James says in the first chapter of the second verse, it kind of all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. There's going to be diverse temptation all the time. What is the purpose of diverse temptation and tribulation? It's a growing process. If everything that comes to us on a civil platter, everything comes to us will be spoiled, arrogant. You can stand each other. Amen. I thank you, but uh, because you're a child of God. So the purpose of that is to for a growing pain, to grow in process. Amen. That you have no uh, uh, choice but to trust God, no matter what it is. And it's like in Proverbs, the third chapter, verse uh, five, say, "Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not to your own understanding." So the word understanding will lead to your own intervention and ideas. And so this will happen. A lot of uh, people, uh, children of God, get impatient, and they begin to lead to their own thinking. They wonder why they're in the situation they are. Wonder why they're going through because they don't take time and allow the Holy Spirit to lead them. Amen. They don't allow the Holy Spirit to direct their life. Amen. And when you do that, amen, you will see things put in order. It may not come in where you want it to, but he has a plan. He knows what to do. And he always brings things on time. Amen. Because the timing is impeccable. Timing is very important to God. Amen. There's a time and season for everything. When we live in a time that we are getting ready to see things change drastically, like never before, spontaneous, like never before, in a place that we're going to say, I can only imagine this is blowing my mind. Amen. Hallelujah. It's just like in First Corinthians 2, 9, say, eyes are not seen. Means there is no eyes have seen anything yet. Neither your ears have heard anything that what God has prepared for them that love Him. And because you love Him, God is getting you out of that spirit of locomotive, that spirit of uh, poverty, that spirit of just enough. At the, uh, get by. He's putting you in a place of, in the land of, of the land of the living, a land of milk and honey. Amen. You're not going to be like the children of Israel when the time Moses was leaving out uh, for deliverance of salvation to lead them to the promised land. A lot of them didn't make it. Uh, only make it. Caleb and Joshua. And they had the, they had, God had given them the favor and gave them the, uh, favor to pick the land that he wanted and so that's what God is doing he is reestablished reestablish re everything means restoring recovering all those things where the cacao and the locusts and all those things that was taken away from them we're living time that we get ready to see God move like that before and I'm seeing it the year started off right but see your thinking got to change you got to change your mindset that's what important that we need to do it like Romans 12 verse 1 2 say Paul said I present you I proceed you my brother the word proceed you I appeal to you that you give yourself to God a living sacrifice means 100% holy and acceptable to God every day. Amen. Holy and acceptable to His reasonable service means worshiping God in spirit and truth. Not in your flesh, but worshiping in spirit and truth. Amen. By the direction and the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And be not conformed to this world. See, the problem is that I like that part there. A lot of people are still living in the world. Amen. They're thinking more worldly. Amen. They they they're not really conscious mind. Paul said, "Be conscious minded." Amen. They have let their own thinking, their own intellectual mindset, be the the uh, purpose of 
changing and not allowing God, uh, the mindset of God be in them. And whereas the same attitude will bring in the, uh, the revelation of uh, bringing, building the character, the attribute of God himself in their life. Amen. Because they get impatient. Amen. So we got to learn to do a daily walk. Paul said we die daily. We got to do a daily uh, uh, walk in God and not giving up. Amen. Hallelujah. We must not look at what it is. We must look at and keep our eyes on Jesus. Amen. And that was the son that God gave me. He said, keep your eyes on Jesus. And he will see you through. And you may not see it, but he will see you through. God cannot lie. Numbers 23, uh, uh, 19 said that. That God is not a man. One thing, he's not a man. Neither the son of man. That it should lie. Have God spoken? Will he not do it? In other words, God cannot fail what he does. Amen. He's the creator. You got to know who God is. You got to begin to take the limit off God. You got to begin to uh, want to build a relationship. Just like you build a relationship you when you met your husband or you met your wife. But it's the same thing God expects us to start building a relationship with him. How do you build a relationship with him? Prayer and get in that word. Amen. And ask God to place you around people who are serious minded. Not uh, uh, playing church. We got too many players in the church. Let me say this again. We got too many players in the church. It's time for people to be more serious minded and, and walk in integrity and honesty. Amen. A lot of people don't walk in integrity anymore. They don't walk in honesty. Amen. They're afraid that if somebody knows their past, who cares? If you can't talk about your past, what God delivered you from, you're really not free. Amen. Because what happened to you? When you keep secrets in you, you open the devil to come in more. Amen. To take over. You give the devil an inch, you want a mile. Give him a mile, you want a foot. Amen. So we got to be very sensitive to the Holy Spirit in the last day because the Holy Spirit is right there to direct us and lead us if we allow him to do it. Amen. We allow. So you're challenging every area of your life and we got to stand firm in the word and don't allow the enemy to distract us away from the things of God in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God, everybody. Amen. Praise God. So it is important. Nobody's coming up right now. Amen. So it's important. Amen. That you do that. Amen. Because so much is happening. Amen. And so much is happening that we need to spend time with God. You got to be careful of false prophets, false teachers, false shepherds, and false, uh, all, everything false. You got to know the word for yourself. Amen. Don't expect the leader to give you the word all the time. You got to get off your laziness and begin the word to note for yourself a direction of the Holy Spirit, who is the revelator, who reveals, unveiled that God's mystery and secret in him. Amen. And that's what God is looking for those that would seek him, those that would spend time with him. Amen. Now it's funny thing how people can spend time when they need something for God, but when it's God need them, they're not around. They only give them half of his time, of their time. Amen. But they want God to move mountains right away. So the point that we, in these last days that we're living before the coming of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Messiah, that we begin to spend more time with God and be serious about our relationship with God. Amen. When you go out to minister, don't ask people, do they know God? The devil know God. The Lord told me that. And everybody, anybody can know God. That don't mean they have a relationship with God. You ask them, do they have a relationship with God? Do they want to do a relationship? If they have a relationship, then what are they doing? They want to know more of Him. They want to be more knowledge for Him. They want to be more understanding Him. They want to walk in wisdom and knowledge of the wisdom of His way, His will, and His purpose of life. Amen. And have knowledge of information that they will not be ignorant of the things around them. Not ignorant of Satan's advice. I mean, wiser than the serpent hums as a dove. I mean, how the same thing stand him humble as well. Amen. So I'm pointing that we walk in the spirit more and understand him. I'm not talking about walking in the spirit 24-7. No man or woman on this earth can walk 24-7 in the spirit. They're telling you a lie. And nobody has seen God telling a lie. The only way you, you see him, you have to be asking for the body present of God. A lot of people has experience asking for the body and went to heaven. I'm one of them has experience. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And I've seen, uh, I've seen the things that God has for me. Amen. I've seen my reward. And see what's there in heaven. Amen. So we have to understand. We got to be very sensitive to the spirit. And know the voice of the Lord. Because if we didn't know the voice. He wouldn't put it in there. He wouldn't put it in the Bible. And say my sheep knows my voice. And the strange you do not listen. And turn away. Amen. So there are many voices out there. Amen. That's trying to uh, imitate the spirit of God. Amen. Just as well. God has released his spirit. Among all flesh. Satan always duplicate what God does. You know, he got a, a, a satanic trinity, uh, 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 the, uh, the, uh, uh, the anti-God, which is the dragon, which is Satan, the anti-spirit, which is the false prophet, amen, trying to represent the Holy Spirit, and we have the anti-Christ, which is the beast, amen, 
amen that trying to represent jesus christ if you know it, amen so we got to recognize amen and don't be ignorant because there's a lot going on but the warfare is not in the flesh the warfare is is in the spirit amen so we got to walk in the spirit amen about the direction of the holy spirit amen hallelujah by every day of our life we should uh, give ourselves in uh, romans 12 1 2 and also say my body is the temple of the holy ghost what are you saying Whatever plan is out there by the enemy, you know you are really you already submitted to God. James said, "Submit yourself to God and resist the devil." When you submit yourself to God, you're gonna you're gonna resist the devil because your first priority is to submit to be means to do His will and walk in righteousness continually, right standing, Amen, with God, Amen, through Jesus Christ. So this is a daily walk, a daily opportunity to build a stronger relationship. By the direction of the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us, that whatever's out there, we're trapped, whatever the enemy got out there, it's going to be hard for the enemy to set a trap for us and and, and, and because we'll, we get more sense of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So it's important that we know this. Amen. And, and uh, lead Because God do not want you to live under your knees. He wants these curses to break off. Generation curses, family curses. Just so many people are still under curses from family that left there. Jesus became the curse. We should not be in the curse. Jesus became the curse that we be set free amen pay the ultimate penalty price that none of us can afford amen it's too uh, it's, it can't afford it at all amen so we don't need to be walking in the curse we need walking in the blessings only way you walk in curse you curse your own self of disobedience amen so important that we be obedient to what god say and walk in his word amen and stay faithful amen to him the word faithful is it's the same as faithful faith amen walk in faith because the word of god say in hebrews 11 chapter verse 6 say without faith it's impossible possible to please God he that coming to God must believe so the word he is the same as he and she amen he and she come to God must believe who he is if you don't believe in him then you ain't got no faith amen and that faith is important amen so when you walk in faith amen the love of God is upon you even stronger you're able to see things more spiritually amen understand more spiritually so what all the text that's coming against you it won't be able to manifest because your eyes is set on the Lord through his word through Jesus Christ amen by the direction of the leading of the Holy Spirit amen he's the one here that's gonna lead us he's the one here that's gonna direct us and and keep us amen for falling amen as well amen and lead our life so we should get close to the holy spirit because it's gonna he's the one that's gonna draw you close to to the lord jesus christ amen hallelujah amen to understand more praise god so it, you notice that it is god's will for you to prosper it is god's will to be successful amen failure is no option if you fail because you choose to fail Amen. That is not God's will for you to fail. You choose to fail because you're making your own decision. You get impatient. You're not resting in Lord. Paul said, I learned to be content in no matter what it looks like. So God is telling us to be content. Learn to to rest in God. Amen. Because see, that peace, you can't buy the peace that passes all understanding. Amen. He said, when you keep your mind on him, he will give you perfect peace. Amen. Hallelujah. So how you keep your mind? It's a daily walk. Amen. It's not an overnight process. You know, God, a lot of people think it's a dead, uh, overnight process. If it was, then uh, we wouldn't need Jesus. Jesus wouldn't uh, uh, do what he had to do. Amen. In order for us to have everlasting life and all, uh, all of us to walk in the Spirit. So we became spirit being through Jesus Christ. Amen. And as well, we became Jewish because of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we got to recognize and be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and not be ignorant of what's going on. There's so many people that are talking, but they're very ignorant. They don't really have a relationship with God. They're not sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Amen. What's the key? The key is integrity. Stop lying and walk in integrity. The more you walk in integrity and honest with God, the more God will use you, the more God will, God will, will do things that you never asked for. Amen. That's the key. Too many people are lying. Too many people are putting the front. Too many people are putting the platform up. Uh, uh, got their own platform trying to press who they are and prove who they are and everything else. It's not about you. Amen. Two things. Once again, God is not going to let you take his glory. And vengeance is his. Remember that. If you're not under him, that's why you're not successful. Don't look at all the ones in the world that are successful. What good to have all that and bust hell wide open? That's why it's hard for a rich man to enter into heaven. Amen. Because he's more focused on his his uh uh of his worldly things of his finances and, and and forget about God. That's why a lot of people can't serve God. They have allowed the spirit of mammon to take over. Amen. I'm not knocking money, but we got to understand that we don't want to be a for uh, before God. He said, "Whose shoes is they to serve? When you don't serve mammon, or you don't serve God? Amen. It is God's will to for you to prosper." 
it is God's will for you to be successful. He said that in the word in, in uh, 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 Psalm 37, verse 7, it says, Delight thyself into the Lord's side, and he will give you desires. It means that you are you want to satisfy God. And the more you want to satisfy and please him, he, and he's going to give you desires of heart. Not desires to do evil. Not desires to do wrong. But desires have to be according to His will. Amen. So when your will lies up with His will. And His way and purpose. You don't have to worry about things not going to happen to you. It will happen to you immediately in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And why some people ain't going to keep what they have. Because they don't keep their word to God. They don't keep their promise to God. So it's important that we just don't speak it. We got to live what we're talking about. Amen. Not just at church. Your church is like a school, really. You go there to learn. You go there to learn. The leader is supposed to teach you to learn more about Jesus. Amen. We're not looking to the leader. We're not looking to the pastor, uh, the prophet, uh, apostle, whoever it was, who's uh, leader of the church. Amen. We're looking to Jesus to know more about God through Jesus Christ. Amen. So stay focused on God. And you will find things to be successful like never before. Amen. So God wants to bless him upon you. Too many people have spoke curses on people because of jealousy. Because of ignorance of lack of awareness. That's why he said in Hosea the fourth chapter verse six said, My people perish because of lack of knowledge. In other words, they are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. So we need to see the word lack of knowledge mean lack of awareness. They're not really aware of the surroundings. They are ignorant of surroundings. And it calls stupidity. Same thing, ignorance means stupidity. Amen. Plain stupid. Amen. Because they choose not to be aware. They choose not allowing the spirit to direct them and, and, and let them fully aware what is actually around them, what is actually going around their life. Amen. So it's important in these days that you hear what the spirit has to say and stop hearing these other voices. Amen. One thing, the Holy Spirit is not going to come against God's will. Amen. Hallelujah. People say, how you know his voice? He ain't going to come against his will. Amen. He said in Romans 8, 26, that the Spirit knows I affirm the weakness. And he prayed, amen, with others and groaners that we do not know of. And what he does, he searched the hearts of man and he prayed according to the will of the Father. I mean, God ain't going to have you pray, but I want you to kill my sister. Uh, uh, God, take everything wrong. That's not God. Amen. We're supposed to walk in love. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the greatest of all is love. Amen. God is love. He said that in the in the Bible in First John the fourth said, How can you say you love me who you have not seen when you can't love your brothers and your sister? Amen. This is one of the issues that dealing with people why they cannot walk in, in the blessings of God and cannot hold in the blessings because they when you walk in love, that's God's divine connection that you can't help but forgive. Amen. And let it go. But how you know you forget? You can't forget. When you have a peace about it, if you keep on, when you talk about something that happened in your life, whether it was a child, on to down to a mature, a, a grown up, amen. If it's that bother you, you have not forgive. Amen. Don't allow situation or people or things, amen, to pull you back. Learn to let go. Paul learned that in uh, Philippians, the third chapter. I mean, verse 13, he said, I may not, uh, uh, I may not have attained everything right now. I may not have everything what I want to have, but I'm, I'm well on my way. I'm learning to let go. I'm learning to forgetting those things behind. Forgetting those things. The key word is forgetting. And see, a lot of people are not forgetting. They hold it on to things. They got so much baggage and so much luggage on them. Amen. Just like when you go on the plane, that you got to pay for if you, you if your luggage is not the weight that they require. Amen. You know, for the uh, uh, uh for uh, get on the plane, you're gonna have to pay more money. And I said the same thing, the the, uh, the wages of sin is that, and you have to pay for the sin, what cause you to pay, amen. So some of you are paying for something, you know, disobedient, because you're trying to add on things that you should let go, amen. And you wonder why things are not falling in place, why the favor is not on God, on your life, because you're trying to handle yourself. You're trying to do it yourself. You're not really trusting God, you're really not depending on God. So God wants us to take hold to the word of God and allow the change to begin. In other words, you got to grasp hold to that change and allow God to change your heart. To change your when your heart change, your thinking begin to change. I mean, a lot of people go on fast, but a lot of you go on fast on their thought pattern. Amen. Because they're still thinking the same old dead weight. They're still thinking the same old dead things. Amen. And they wonder why things are not really manifest because they're not changed. In other words, changes the salvation is not really it's really talking about change. A change of heart. Amen. 
If you're not ready to be changed, Allah, the Bible said when you, when a person uh, uh, come in Christ, you become a new creature. Amen. Me creation that God has created you, but you're still there, but the change comes in your heart, inside. Amen. The things that that you had, the the waste and the the uh the uh it's like the uh, like the house with a hoarding. You keep. It keep getting junky and junky because you you don't let go. You say, what if I let go? What would happen? What if you do let go? What would happen? Things would change for you, and then you begin to get more successful. Then you begin to understand when you read the word. You begin to uh, let the Holy Spirit acknowledge. You begin to acknowledge Him first, and you begin to allow Him to direct and lead you. Amen. Don't be led by what I said. Don't be led by what people said. That's why you got to know the word for yourself. When you get the word, when somebody speaks the word, amen, you got to make sure there is an in, inner witness in you. How you know? The Holy Spirit going to give that inner witness. Confirmation. Then he will bring somebody else to bring confirmation, amen, at the same time. So when the Holy Spirit speaks, he doesn't bring things confusion. He doesn't bring illusion. He brings things in order. He brings a peace that passes all understanding, amen. Then he takes away the fear, amen, that faith starts arising. All of a sudden, that you walk in fear, fear disappears. What well, fear is nothing but false evidence appearing real everything that looks good is not always is good appearance can fool you it's just like remind me when i'm reading in first samuel about when uh, when samuel uh, uh went to jesse amen and david was really an outcast amen he was really outcast you got to read it one day do some research a lot of you need to do research and study the word because we're always going to go to school until jesus come and get us his bride amen and uh he was outcast to his father amen i find that uh, his father was mad because his father thought that David's mother, praise God, that she committed adultery. Because David came in, but she wanted to have uh, another child. And so she made a bid with his uh, uh, new wife, amen, to that she be the one, uh, uh, be there the first night, just like Leah was the first one with Rachel, amen. She was the first one, amen, uh, uh, amen, to intimacy with uh, 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 Jacob, amen. And so she intimacy had intimacy with her husband Jesse because he no longer wanted to have intimacy with her. But and that's when David came out. Amen. And so really he was an outcast. It was a time when David uh he was like they they had a certain the table, two tables. David had his own table and uh his brother and sister had their own table, amen. And uh because David's father Jesse was mad because he thought she committed adultery and she didn't commit adultery, amen. Hallelujah. So he was outcast too. Most of the ones that outcast me, the ones that overlook, the ones that rejected, the ones that's not be received, amen, about their parents or family, about people especially, amen. God is raising these ones that were rejected, amen, amen, and get ready to eject things out of life therefore they walk in the in the blessing of God that when they get rejected by people, they know that God got a, a miracle for them, that God got something better for them, amen. And the church, amen, hallelujah. So once we grasp hold the truth, and once we grasp hold the change, we're able to embrace the change. You can't embrace the change until you grasp hold of it and allow it to manifest in you, and allow the words begin to clearly begin to uh, 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 manifest you in more by taking that word and applying that word. Amen. Just like when you go in for a job, you expect that job to get that job. You go for a business and you need a customer, you expect to uh, uh, get that uh, business. So it's all depends what you put on your resume. It's all what you put on your uh, your present representation of your project, what you really all about, what you what you really uh, what your plans and what your purpose is. Amen. You present that plans to them. Amen. And it's all what it is. It depends on that. Amen. So you don't want to present it in a uh, uh, a negative way, a lying way, a deceitful way. You want to, you want to do it in the truth. Amen. So when you speak the truth, you can't help but get the favor of God. And so this is the missing ingredient. A lot of people are not walking the truth. And Jesus said, "I'm the way, the truth, and the light. No man can come to the Father by me." Amen. That means that we as well got to walk in the truth because you can't please God walk in lies and faith. You please Him and walk in the Spirit of truth. Amen. You can't be free. Said the truth will set you free. Will make you free. Amen. So the more you speak the truth, the more God would. Uh, uh, take opportunities and open more doors for you never never thought would open it means that the greater the opposition that you stand firm and do not compromise the promise that God placed in your heart you're going to begin to see a wide awakening of blessings and overflow that things that was held back is getting ready to be released this year so we in, in great times don't look at what's going on this coronavirus is about to go get to end because everything uh, is everything they find that there's no solution never was coming to solution only solution of healing you are covered is Jesus Christ Christ. Amen. The word. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. So we're getting ready to see big things happen. We're getting ready to see uh, things happen.
happen like never before. We're going to see many breakthroughs. We're going to see overflow of blessings. Amen. We're going to see miracles, supernatural miracles. We're going to see the supernatural, miraculous acts of God with signs and wonders like never before. Hallelujah. In other words, God's getting ready to blow your mind like never before in the church. Amen. Hallelujah, everybody. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So God don't, you know, and let me tell you a one key. You know the problem with a lot of y'all missing the blessings? Have you asked yourself who you're around? Who you associate with can cause you to miss your blessings. Let me say this again. Who you associate can cause the blessings to be missed upon your life and bring in curses because they are the curses because of the disobedience. That's why it's so important that we don't need to make people uh, in our life temporary, permanent, permanent, amen, uh, uh, make people permanent, amen, amen, and uh, 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 temporary, permanent, and season. We got to make sure that we in the right season, amen. We can make people permanent that God didn't tell us to make permanent in our life. That should be temporary, amen. So we, we must daily want this talk with God through the help of the Holy Spirit, ask us to place the ones around us that is going to help us to reach the destiny that we need to reach. Amen. Now, mind you, in Jesus' name, everybody that place around you is not going to be your cup of tea. Amen. But God, at the same time, uses people to get you to your destiny. And we got to understand when we walk in that destiny, it's not going to be wine and roses, uh, everything looking good all the time. Amen. You are going to be challenged. You shall be challenged of your walk. You shall be challenged of your faith in God. You shall be challenged of walking more integrity and honesty. Amen. And serious minded. Amen. And not just joking around, but be really serious about it. Amen. So it's very important that a lot of y'all is missing. And I see this in the spirit. Most of y'all problem is who you're around. Have you asked God? That if, if these people who are around is not for you, then ask God to move out the way. It could be your family member. Uh, you know, because a family member, may, uh, God has ordained for them to be in a season, certain time and season. Amen. Because we go, we live in season. And that's how the atmosphere changed. I'm not talking about the climate control. I'm talking about the climate control spiritually. Amen. You may be in the climate control spiritually at the wrong climate control. Because what you think it should be is not always what it should be. Amen. That's why it's important that we need to ask God. Amen. He's right there. And we ask the Lord, the Holy Spirit will direct and lead us continually. He said it very clearly in Romans 8 chapter. said, them that are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. Amen. Because if you are leading by people and they're not leading by the, uh, by the Spirit, they can lead you in the wrong direction and put you in a place, in a trap, and put you in a hole, amen, a place of uh, a stagnation and no progress. And look like the more you're trying to make a step, uh, amen, you say, well, I made some baby steps. I want to make some other steps, strong steps. And when you try, it look like you're going backwards instead of forward. So that's why it's important that you have to ask God, everybody that's around you, you want to make sure they are the right one around you in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The spirit of jealousy is still working in, in Genesis. Amen. It's still working. If you, if you read read the Bible, every all the answers in the Word of God. I love the Word of God. Not many people love the Word of God. They're always looking for a prophetic word. Well, the Word of God is prophetic. Everything that's going in the world is in the in the Word of God. We had a beautiful uh, teaching about the direction of the Holy Spirit in Genesis. And we in the right book because Genesis is really talking about what's going on right now. Amen. Praise God. And how Abraham had to leave, chapter 12, we're not finished with that, had to leave his kindred, leave everything to follow God who he never seen. Amen. And so a lot of times God repositioned you in another position, uh, uh, repositioned you. In another position, I mean, he position you in a, 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 a position of unknown, which is uncomfortable. Take you out of uh, a known position, which is familiar, and put you in a position that's unknown in order for you to reach that place that God have you. Because if you're in a place that you're so comfortable and, and all that, you're never going to grow. You're never going to mature. You're never going to be able to understand the things of God. You're never going to have wisdom or knowledge. But you, you, can, you can't walk wisdom by itself. You, knowledge got to work with wisdom at the same time. Wisdom is God's will, His way, and His word. And knowledge is brings in the information. It's like the, it's like a database, spiritually database of the heavenly de database where God has predestined ordained for us how we should walk and live. Amen? Praise God. So when we allow the Holy Spirit to direct us, whatever out there, it will lead us into the path of righteousness. Amen? It will teach us the way of God. 
at the same time. And we'll be more sensitive to the Holy Spirit at the same time. And so that's what God is saying. Don't just jump up because it looked good. Everything that looks like the green on the other side is not really green. It's a trap of the enemy. Because you got to understand, the enemy tried to come as an angel of light. Amen. He always tried to come as an angel of light to deceive the people of God. Because he don't want you to hear what God said. He don't want you to have a relationship with God. Amen. Through Jesus Christ. He wants you to be in the same old, same old. Now he will come on just like he tempted Jesus. Amen. And Jesus was the best out of the whole Bible. He's the best uh, uh, role model to follow. Amen. There's other uh, uh, role models, uh, uh, characters in the Bible that you can learn from. But the greatest one was Jesus. Amen. And he said, all this I will give you if you serve me. But see, uh, 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 he thought he could play with God's uh, uh, Jesus' mind, but he couldn't. And that's what he's trying to do right now. This is a, a mind battle. Amen. In other words, he played tricks on our mind. So we got to recognize it. Please be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Recognize what's going on. Everything that seems good, talk good, is not a God. You got to read between the lines by the direction of the Spirit of God in the spirit realm. Know that it's God. Amen. God does not bring confusion. God does not bring illusion. Amen. God brings uh, uh, unadulterated truth. Raw truth. Amen. You should be focused on walking the truth instead of trying to lie. Amen. Because the more you walk in truth, the more God can speak to you and more God uh, uh, and can use you. And the more you walk in anointing. I made my mind up and I choose to walk in the truth. I'm not here to please people. I'm here. I was born here created for the purpose of God to please him, to be in his will. The question is, what are you here for? Are you here to focus on do everybody know you? Amen. You the one that wanna uh trying to build your own reputation, uh trying to uh uh make your own pulpit, make your own podium, amen, make your own uh 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 stadium, uh amen, that you be the you are the limelight the star of all, amen, and forget about Jesus is the one, amen. So we gotta be very careful that we don't take this lightly. We gotta be more serious minded, amen. How you become serious minded when you walk in the Lord every day, allowing the Holy Spirit to build the character, the attribute of God in you every single day. This is a daily walk. You got to let God purge you. Amen. Just like that little olive oil. Got more. Uh, that little olive. Olive. Has oil in it. And the way they crush it and purge out of there. The oil come out of there. Well see a lot of times that's what God is doing. That he's, he's purging all that old ways out of you. Crushing it at the same time that it be less of you and more him that be more of the anointing of the oil of God Be consecrating your life more than ever. That's what's going on right now So what you're going through is not a, a no coincident accident It is God is getting you rid of you be more of him than less of uh, uh, Less of uh, more of him and less of you. That's why John understood when he saw Jesus He said oh now I, I know what got to happen now. He must increase and I must decrease it means I don't want nobody to look at me. It is him. I want to focus on him. All eyes on Jesus. Amen. And so what happened is why people are missing the blessing because they want all eyes on them. Amen. They prophesied. They want oh their prophet, their seer. Amen. I'm going to tell you about seer. Seer is nothing but a prophet. A seer is nothing but a prophet. That's all it is. A seer is a prophet. Amen. Was male or female? Amen. They say prophetess because T-E-S-S-S -S 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 represent female. Uh, uh uh, prophet, amen, male, but it doesn't make no difference, you could call a female prophet, it doesn't make no difference, amen, because in the Bible it says in Galatians the third chapter verse 28 there's no male or females in the spirit realm, but in the humanly speaking there's a difference, amen we, we don't, we're not shaped the same amen, we got some different uh, uh, members than the, a male has, amen even though we was taken at the rib of a man that's what it said, the, man, the woman is the weakness, weakness means that she was taken at the rib of a man, amen This it just, it just blew my mind what God does you know, he just blow your mind with how you create and does things in order. Amen. So we got to get more understanding. Amen. Because wisdom is the principal key. Now you see in the Bible it said she, and the reason why Solomon says she, because he had a lot of she around him, and he felt that the, uh, a lot of times wisdom act like a female. Amen. And some people think wisdom is female. Amen. But in God, it, it, uh, you know, God is no male or female. Amen. He's God. Amen. So we got to get understanding by asking this daily that we know who we are, that we will not be deceived because the strong spirit of deception is working overtime. Overtime. How do you know about the anointing? There's a presence of God around them. There's the glory of God around them. Hallelujah. There's a fire of the Holy Ghost. 
that brings in a peace, amen, a peace of understanding, amen, uh, uh, that fear that was on you disappear, amen. You can tell the difference. The Holy Spirit will let you know, amen. The look, it does not have to do it. It's in, in inside, amen. Uh, there's a change of heart. Uh, they're allowing uh, the Holy Spirit to change them every day. Amen. So especially in these last days that we're living before the coming of Jesus Christ. To come to get his brides. Amen. We don't want to be like the uh, the five foolish brides. We want to be the, like the wise one. Amen. They always had their oil, uh, oil burning. Amen. Never be out with your oil. That means have a daily walk with God every day. Always never out. Just like we, we're like a symbolic, like it's a car. And when the when the car run out of gas, we gotta get some more gas in it. But we should not wait till it get to almost empty to get the uh, get more gas. We should always make sure that we always have enough to be filled up because the Holy Spirit is living water. It's like it's a continuing flowing, living water flowing in your life. Amen. And that continue when we trust God. That continue when we pray. That continue when we seek God. That's continually uh, the living water flow is continuing when we get in that word and meditate on the day and night. Amen. So we when we challenge. We will not be ignorant of any things that come against us when Satan tried to bring something against us. We'll be way ahead of him. So God wants us to be 10 steps ahead of the enemy. Amen. And understand that in this time and season, there's a time for this in a, in a season. So we're in the right season that we are getting ready to see the greatness of God manifest in our life. Amen. We're getting ready to see movements like never before. And it's not the title that's gonna God's going to use. If you read the Bible in Mark, Mark the 16th chapter, it talks about it. It's for believers. These signs will follow those that believe. I mean, you don't have to be apostle. You don't have to be a prophet, evangelist, teacher, a pastor. Just be a minister of the gospel, a man, a woman of God. Amen. Children of God. Amen. And how that comes when you allow the leading of the Holy Spirit. We have example many in the Bible. We see that uh, we see that uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Stephen was a deacon in the Book of Acts. He was around the apostle, but yet because of his faithfulness and his obedience to God, that anointing of the apostle and his uh, obedience to God and his faithfulness to God first, to Jesus Christ, Amen, and to to the apostle that that uh, apostle reward was on him means that anointing of the aspatholic anointing was on him as well. The fivefold gifts was on him as well, Amen. And that's how I brought in uh, uh, Paul, Amen. That's what brought in uh, uh, Apostle Paul, Amen. So it is all. It all depends on your faithfulness, obedience to God. When God said, "Do something, do it," Amen. Don't hesitate and don't procrastinate. Do it, Amen. And if you if you don't do it, you you make sure that you you repent and ask God, "I was wrong," and admit it, Amen. And He it's just like He put in see forgiveness like it's never happened, Amen. Praise God. So the key is sincerity, honesty, and integrity. See, when you walk in integrity, you're going to humble yourself. You're not going to build your head up and think you, because you're apostle, or you're a prophet, evangelist, teacher, pastor, whatever, or whatever you are, you're better than anything else. We didn't see doctors in the Bible, so we got a lot of people calling themselves doctors. Because of doctor divinity, they graduated from there, amen. But you become a doctor with the word of God when you obedience to God whether you have the name doctor only or not amen hallelujah I mean I went to college amen they, they call me a doctor but let's call me apostle amen they uh, they want to call me chief I, I mean I, I, don't, I don't agree with that because there's no way in the Bible because the, the really who's the chief is Jesus Christ the chief cornerstone you never heard anyone that Jesus called none of the disciples who became apostle chief amen because then what happened, we got to be careful. We're going to allow pride to come in and we'll be above. We'll think we're above Jesus. And a lot of people think that way. You know, that God is only talking to them. And he, I know he gives me a lot. Uh, uh, well, he's not talking to me uh, only because he, uh, he knows partiality. Amen. But he does tell me what he wants me to know. He don't, he, don't, he don't tell us everything. If he tell us everything, we'll be so honorary. Amen. You can stand each other. Amen. So right now, God, what He's telling us to stay focused on this word. Don't lose focus. Don't let nobody uh, come off and with you and and tell you, build you up, and and build you up and build your head up, and you forget who you are and forget who God really is, the Creator. He's the one that created things. That's what happened to Satan. And you don't want to uh, have that spirit of antichrist with pride on you that you think you know it all and you don't know all. We learn every day. This is a daily walk. Once again, submitting. So where submit is to submit, getting the will of God. Submit yourself to God. And also acknowledge Him means that make sure you put Him first in everything you're doing. And when you're doing that, the blessings will be released in your life. You won't have to ask the favor will release the life. Amen. But the key is to be honest. You got too many lying Christians. And most people lie because they have been rejected. 
and they went through something amen could you imagine it, how much Jesus was rejected he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our nicotine and the chastisement of his peace was upon him and by his scratch the heel they didn't even re receive him they didn't uh, uh, it was nothing to look upon and it pleased the Lord to bruise him a lot of time you need to take time and read the word amen take your time don't read the word too fast because the beginning the beginning of the of any verse any chapter it tells you the subject what is all about the middle of the the verse the middle of that chapter the other verse it brings you the detail and then the ending will bring to summarize what he's talking about and then it also will relate to what the next chapter talk about so when you think about the Bible's not hard if you love the Holy Spirit to lead that's how the Holy Spirit taught me and that's why I get a lot of re revelation amen the understanding of it amen and bring more knowledge of it amen hallelujah so when you allow that to happen amen you're going to understand more and you're going to see more and and won't be ignorant what's going on so when things happen to you you'll be well ahead in the church amen hallelujah somebody Amen. Hallelujah. I'm just going off in the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'm saying certain specific things, specifying things, is because they are the importance of what God is saying. Amen. The importance of what God said. Don't look at, don't follow people because of how many people follow them. Amen. We got churches that their churches and all they got church goers. That's what they are. Pay their tithes. Being good, gonna get them to heaven, and they're about to bust hell wide open. And God's get ready to, to deal with these shepherds. You, you, you don't hear him. You hear him in the Bible. He talks about woe to the shepherds. They will pay a penalty for not teaching the people right. The prophet will pay a penalty. Woe to the prophets, not not telling the truth, but prophet lying, just to get money out people, using that as a as a as a strategy tool to make money off of people. And God is not pleased with that. And yet, yes, God wants you to bless the ministry and be blessed, but don't use that with the wrong, uh, uh, use that in the wrong, uh, think in the wrong way. Amen. So you want to stay focused and do the right way in Jesus' name. Amen. Because these are the times that we need to be more serious minded. Amen. Let me say it again. More serious minded about the word of God. Amen. We learn more to build that relationship. And the more you do it, the, the stronger God can use you. The more the anointing to be upon you. And before you know it, things will happen in your life. Amen. Before you know it. And the trust. Amen. Hallelujah. So good to have everybody on tonight. This is Apostle Lord J. Parchment. Amen. You know how I go on when I get in that word. When I talk about the word, revelations start coming up. Amen. I talked today about the blessings and uh, and the curse. And later on, I'm going to have you to repeat certain scriptures and start saying them every day. And be careful just to start speaking the word of your of your life. That's why he said in Psalm 119, he says, I think in verse 10 or 11, but it's in Psalm 119. He says that, uh, he said, let the word embed in your heart that you will not sin against thee. And always keep that word in your heart. Amen. The Holy Spirit is going to teach you and let you know. Amen. So the word will keep you. Amen. It will help you. Amen. To stay focused. It will help you not allow what you see uh, 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 trick your mind. Because once again, the devil plays tricks in your mind. Amen. So we got to make sure that it is the Spirit talking to us. Amen. Especially in these uh, hours that we're living in. Amen. But we're living in great hours. We are living in it. things that was hell up is getting ready to release in your life. Hallelujah. Those that are waiting for husbands. Amen. They mate. Amen. Uh, be careful when you say Boaz. You don't want no old Boaz because remember Boaz was 70 some years old and Ruth was only 30 some years old. Amen. And he didn't live long after she gave birth to, uh, gave birth to, uh, uh Jesse. Amen. Uh, uh, Boaz died. So you want a Boaz, that living Boaz going to live longer. Amen. Hallelujah. I had a little taste to get a little Abraham in there. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that uh, those that are waiting for um, a true Ruth and Esther and a Deborah, waiting for a Deborah, a warrior, that's what they call me, a Deborah warrior, and a true woman, a virtual woman of God. Uh, 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 Proverbs the 31st, uh, that you need to read that, women, uh, men, for, for wife, amen, because wife is to help, is to help me, she was made for a man, amen, to help them to push them into the destiny. Now, the man was there to protect the woman and neutral her at the same time, amen. So, you want a man that loves Jesus more than he loves, uh, loves himself and love anybody, amen, and that's what you want, a, a woman that loves Jesus more than she loves herself and love anybody, amen, so you don't want no counterfeit, you don't need no Jezebel, Delilah's, or Ahab's, you know, all those other spirits, you want the real one, so when you're waiting for resting, don't just get somebody because it look good, 
and it smell good and it sound good uh, they may have a lot of money amen you got to make sure that this is the one that god picked in the church amen hallelujah somebody praise amen. his holy name amen. amen hallelujah so we in the process of healing we are in the process of deliverance we're in the process that god is delivering us from the past delivering us from yesterday deliverance from whatever happened deliverance uh, uh healing our heart of hurt and pain that we went through amen we are in the in the process that god has put together our life now i always say this um uh, when i was young my mother then bought me a book of mother goose i don't know y'all know about mother goose amen and certain uh, was in there you heard snow white she was waiting on the prince to uh, come and bring a life on bring life on but the prince a prince and the lord of lord is jesus so that's what we should wait on to bring us life amen and here we have uh, Cinderella, amen, she, uh, her, a wicked mother and a wicked uh, 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 stepmother, wicked sister, stepsister. They wanted the, uh, the prince, amen, uh, and God had planned for her. I mean, plan, I'm just going to put it with God, you know, put uh, amen to me, uh, be the one to get dressed up. Amen. There's no magic in God. There's blessing in God. God don't have to work magic. Amen. He is the one that create everything. He's the creator. Amen. So uh, I say this about Humpty Dumpty. He fell down and there was nobody putting back the piece again. But see the difference between there, that false evidence, that's false story, that's false uh, uh, children's story. When, when you fall... The Bible said a man falls seven times. That I mean, if you fall one time, seven times, that's it. No, seven times. I don't care how many times you fall, seven times. They, they always, there's always a forgiveness of God, and because His grace, Amen, and His mercy, and be there for you, Amen, Hallelujah. And He's so full of compassion, and He's and He's slow to anger, Amen. Always showing mercy, Amen. Always showing His grace upon us, Amen. So if you happen to fall short, one thing God is right there to pick you right back up. Just Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we all have sin and fall short of the glory. I want to know where's the perfect Christians at. Amen. Even as I don't care what level you are, and some Christians are so big, big headed, that you can't tell them anything. They got it so gone because they get revelation. Amen. That's why God allowed the thorn to get in and, and Paul flesh. You know, people tell him, well, God put the flesh a thorn in you. He put a thorn, a thorn in you. A lot of them put a thorn in you. It's one reason because he didn't want you to get big headed and forget about him. Paul had also was, uh, uh, when you get delivered in certain areas of your life, that same spirit would try to, it's like a relapse, try to come back again. Amen. Hallelujah. In other words, as long as the devil is still on the face of this earth, he's always going to try to bring up the old things and you got to be very sensitive and not allow it to happen. Amen. And so, uh, when you fall short, one thing God is always there to put you back again. He said, if you confess your faults to one another, be fetch your faults that you did wrong, be one another, not just one another, but first to him. He's faithful to forgive you and make you righteous again. Amen. He's the one that can, only can make you right again. Right standing with uh, God through him, through Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So don't let the past of people or your circumstances and things. I'm picking up a lot of you are holding on things you need to let go. And a lot of you are listening to negative conversation. And that's why your blessing is hold up. I'm going to say it again. Stop listening to negative lying conversation. When people talk about somebody else more. It's because they wish they was walking like them. Is anybody hear what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. You don't hear. If you open your ears to that stuff. What are you doing? You're cutting off your blessings. What are you doing? You open the door for curses to come in. That is not God's will. If he wanted, uh, if he wanted to curse us, he would have been cursed us a long time ago. He would create America, uh, create the world again. Isn't that right? Huh? He would have destroyed. Amen. But because of grace, he gives us a chance. Never look at your circumstances. A lot of times, God allows circumstances in our life. It's not always the devil. Read your word. Amen. Amen. Read the word. God gives us a free will. We're like a free agent will to make a quality decision. Because a lot of people are in a valley of decision. And they're not really seeking the face of God by the rest of the Holy Spirit. To find what decision to make. They're listening to people. How are they going to tell me something? And they ain't living what they're talking about. Hello somebody. Amen. 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 I, I even tell that to my relatives. I don't take up for them. I don't take up for my mama. I don't take up for nobody. Because I ain't going to hell for nobody. I made a quality decision with the right choice by the direction and the leading of the Holy Spirit to walk in the spirit of truth. It's all in my veins. Y'all heard it Wednesday night. I don't look for prophecy. It comes to me. 
Gemara Madan de Bastira by Holy Ghost is said again. You don't need to look for a prophetic word. If you are obedient to God's word, he said, obedience is better sacrifice. Me, don't sacrifice if you don't mean what you sacrifice. Amen. Me, are you willing not to give up everything? That would mean sacrifice. Are you willing to give up everything? Amen. Are you willing to give up everything? We say with our lips, but it's our heart is in what we're saying about. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. So some of you are missing it because you are, are listening to the wrong people. It could be your relative. I don't care who they are. I am not going to agree with them. I'll hang up on them in a minute if their conversation is not good. Because I'm not going to proceed that. Amen. I'm not going to bow that their level. See, a lot of people can't stand it when you made up your mind that you're going to press in and walk in faith. See, it's a faith walk. Let me say this again. I'm helping you to release the blessings and get rid of the curse. This is a faith walk. So right now you have been challenged in your faith for restoration and recovery to happen. All those things hold up. God wants them to happen in your life. That is God's will. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. But you know what? You want to hold up so you want to blame somebody else when you see them walk in faith and you ain't got no faith. So you need to shut your mouth up, zip your lips up. Amen. Anybody run off the diarrhea of the mouth and come back and tell you by somebody else? They ain't right themselves. I don't care how much money they got. I don't Amen. care where they live. They're going to bust hell wide open. And if you listen to them, you're going to follow them. And you're going to end up in hell with them. And the church say, Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. That's why at some point that you be sensitive to the Spirit of God. Amen. Don't, don't, uh, don't get in that loophole. We got a lot of people in a loop right now. In a loophole. Just going from there to there, there to there. And they, they about to fall into the trap of the devil. Amen. Remember, he'll use even the closest one around you. He'll use your family member. he even use your husband. he even use your wife. he even use your, your children, your, anybody. To get you out of that, that place. That place of, of the secret place. When it says that he that dwells means that lives in that secret place of the Most High. Shall by the mighty. He's trying to get you out of that secret place. The only one can get in that secret place are those that are children of God. Sons of God. Don't let nobody steal that from you. Just say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Don't let them steal the peace in you that passes all understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. Now uh, listen now. I just saw somebody. Don't get on. Don't be on here and be on Instagram. And don't be on Facebook. Now you either going to be on Facebook. Don't be on the other line. See God. See I don't look for nothing. God let me know what's going on. <laughs> That's come from being faithful and living the life. That you're talking about, you decide to live a, a, a truthful life, a real life. You, if you live the talk that you live, you won't have to worry about asking that it's gonna come to you. And if you ask, it, it's gonna come to you in a way. Just amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people, why the curse on you, and I'm telling you what God is putting my, my spirit to say, why some of the curse on you because you're around the wrong ones. Amen. Amen. They hell up. If, I don't care if it's my sister, and not in the Christ, but sister, a uh, uh, biology sister, a uh, biology uh, uh, brother, a uh, father. If they ain't right, I say, God, move them around me right now because they're not thinking what I'm thinking. I will show them love and pray for them because I don't want them to go to hell. But I, I will not allow that spirit working in them to stop what God has for me. Amen. 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 Because one Amen. thing, you're going to be accountable. Don't take it lightly. You will have accountable when you speak to God. If you get to heaven, why do you allow these things to happen? Because why? Because you didn't want their feelings to hurt. Don't you go to hell for nobody. Don't you miss your reward because uh, they don't understand what you're saying. The hell with the devil in Jesus' name. You think I'm going to worry about what you think? You think I'm going to worry about what my husband become or anybody else what they think? No. You got to have a made up mind with a sound mind. That you're not going to, this is your year. Because God said this is your year. That's why you don't need to compromise the promise. Now my uh, my uh, leader is Dr. Copeland. And we don't want to, it just blow my mind. When God gave me word, we don't want to court. Amen. And God said, with, with similarity, my topic was, uh, you heard about it. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world? And lose his soul? Means, what does it, what does it, why is it so important to compromise your soul salvation and lose the promises with number one is salvation, eternal life first. Isn't that right? 
Don't let nobody enter, uh, come in and separate your relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Do you understand that, everybody? Amen. I'm not in for people money. I ask for people money. I have many people that come under this ministry, which is God's ministry. Amen. He gave to me temporary. We belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, gave big offerings. And they thought they had the audacity to think that I was going to kiss their butt uncompromised. And that's what a lot of you doing. I didn't deal with my leader. I respect them. But I would not compromise and go to hell for nobody. Amen. 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 So right now you have been tested. Can he really trust you what he's going to give you? Because he wants to bless you. He don't want you to live under your knee. That's not his promise. That's not his will. And the reason why some, are, some things are delayed. Because you the one are delaying because of your trust in God. Your walk in God. Your faith in God. Who you're around. Everybody is not around you permanently. Amen. You got to make sure that this person is there for you. Because a lot of times you ask people to pray for you, they got one eye open and one eye closed. <laughs> and they pray a selfish prayer, they're praying for themselves. Amen. Hello? Amen. Amen. I am not having many people come on this line and say, Apostle, I know who prayed for me, my my uh uh my assistant and uh Natalie, my mama. And Miss Gail I, uh, and some certain other people, but they don't come on here and say, Well, can I pray for you? It's all what, what about me? What about I? 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 When are you going to get off your laziness and stop praying for somebody else? Because the more you help somebody else, the more God going to bless you. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. somebody. Amen. Amen. But the Christians are very selfish. Get the bitterness off your heart. Get the envy off your heart of jealousy. Amen. Get the uh, get it out your heart. Because you're the one holding it up. If you still holding on stuff in the past, and you see the reason why I go to the past, I don't go there because I want the Holy Ghost. Say the problem is people are still living in the past of the hurt. Everybody been hurt. Who has not been hurt? Tell me. Is anybody ever been hurt? No, you can't say that because you say nobody been hurt. You tell a lie. But the Bible tells me in Isaiah 53, it pleased to see Jesus bruised or hurt. Means that he took the hurt and the pain and the brokenness of us that we won't have to. When we challenge, we don't have to sit there and wobble all in it. But we could talk about it. The Bible said be angry and said not to get rid of our heart and that it don't stay in our heart. That we don't miss the opportunities of, of that God has for us. Now mind the opposition may be greater. But the greater the opposition, the greater opportunity of the overflow blessing that God will release in your life. You got to make your mind what you want to do. You going to stay faithful? Or are you going to uh, 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 be focused on trying to get more friends instead of... Get more friend, get get, uh, get closer to the number one friend, which is Jesus Christ. Church, amen. 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 It's time for the amen. blessings, and God tell me a lot of you around people, relatives, and people talking negative, and why in the world you listen to them? They the one holding your blessing up. They the one that's holding up. Who you associate is important. Church, amen. 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 Some of the blessings should have been to you a long time ago. Because I asked God certain things. I'm honest with God. I have conversation with God. I'll be in the room talking with Him, the Holy Spirit. That get me connected to God. What is the problem? First thing, I don't point fingers. I ask Him, is it me? If I'm the Amen. problem, let me know that I won't be a problem to someone else. I don't, I don't take it lightly. I take it serious. I don't want to be the problem because what's on me going to come on the people under me are those ones that are connecting me divinely. Amen. That's what you need to ask. First, ask who you. Because, you know, you were created perfect. You were born into sin. So say amen. 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 Hallelujah. I don't believe in point thing. I don't believe judging the one. But I can't stand, I can't stand uh, uh, foolishness. Amen. Pretense. I mean, trying to preach something that they really not. I, and uh, I, I'm no nonsense. And some people say, you, you, you're not right. No, I'm right. You ain't right. I can testify 
what God did for me. I can testify who I used to be. Can you do that? See, a lot of you got secret sins. You're not really free. And so I, I, I testify. I used to do a whole lot of stuff in the world. And, and uh, my testimony will help somebody else. You're not free until you're able to tell the truth. Amen. Because the minute you keep on lying who you are, because you don't want nobody to know who you are, then you're really not who you say you are. Hello, somebody. Amen. If you understand, I'm helping you for your blessings to stop, stop me holding up. You got to walk in the truth. You can't be afraid to tell the truth. He said, you deny me before men, I'm going to deny you before the Father. Means that if you're ashamed of me, then I'm going to be ashamed of you. Are you really who you say you're living? I'm helping you from the Holy Ghost. Why are your blessings are cut? And God don't want that to happen. He wants the blessing to be released. Because we give the devil too much credit. And let's get this clear. The devil is not present 24-7. Church, amen. 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 Me. amen. And oh, the devil don't do this to me. And you know what? The devil said, let me see what else I can do to him. Amen. You talk more about the devil messing with you than talk about Jesus. And the minute you start to change your conversation, season with salt because he's the salt of the world. Amen. He's the one that brings this season to make it taste better and make it taste better that it will be better and greater. Hallelujah. We call it the salt covenant, which is the lawyer company. Covenant. You see a lot of people have salt in their wedding because it's loyalty that they stay loyal to first to Jesus and loyal to each other. Amen. So you want you want the right flavor. You want the right ingredients. And the ingredients is the character of God to Jesus Christ. And the ingredients goes into the word of God to flavor it to make it taste better. Hallelujah. The word of God says, oh, taste and see how good the Lord is. And the more you taste the food, amen, you won't have to worry about gas arenas. You don't have to worry about uh, acid reflex or uh, indigestion. Because when you taste it and let it digest the right way in faith and truth, hallelujah, with that right attitude, that, that it's going to go it go in your system and going to stay there. And you won't have to worry about throwing up because it will be the right in you. Is anybody catching on? Amen. Amen. So whatever is out there against you, it has no choice but hinder it. It can't hinder you no more. It can't stop it. You got to understand you're the light of the world. Then act like it. You know when you go to a store and the cashier all of a sudden they give you a hard time. I don't know what she had a problem. You know what the problem is in them? Is anybody can tell me? Now this is simple. Now come on. The problem is, it's the sin in their life or darkness and you light. So when light hit when you hit that store or hit that job you should make a difference on your job and in the store they're looking at you you look different because of the glory of God shining through you and so that spirit in that individual what it's trying to it's trying to lift back at you and try to uh, make you feel bad amen amen try to make you mad amen. then why in the world you let all the hell in the people stop you your blessings Hell no to the devil in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's time to walk in the blessings, precious. It's time for the favor of God. We talking about twenty we don't make the we don't never make the New Year's resolution. You don't see no way in the Bible. We got more Christians make resolutions than what they're gonna do and never fulfill what they're gonna do. Isn't that right? Amen. I am every, every year what we should do, do pay our fresh fruit. And God is not asking a lot. It's, 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 some of you can give a thousand dollars and a hundred dollars. I bet if I ask some of you a thousand dollars, I won't hear you no more. Then you're going to go behind me back and talk. And God let me know you're talking about me. And then God bless me. Amen. But the thing is that we got to start walking in the spirit more and understand what God is saying. Boy, I was going somewhere and I pick up somebody on the line didn't like that. I can care less what you don't like because I'm not here to please you. I'm here to please Jesus. I'm here to speak Amen. the truth. I'm not here to, to win you over my side. Amen. I'm here to, that God will win you for him. Because a wise man wins his soul. Amen. I'm not here for popularity. I'm not here to, well, I hope I, I, I hope I get a lot of people following me. No, 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 no. 
I'm here for the truth. The spirit of truth. Amen. What are you here for? What are you on? What are you serving God for? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I find that another thing that will cut the blessings, Christians lie more than the people in the world. Why? Because you're afraid when people find out who you are. Or you want to win people over you. That's not going to get you nowhere. Do you not know that you will reap what you sow? You want to reap the harvest of blessings. You want to reap the overflow. You want to reap what the abundance that God has for you. He said the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy it. But I came that you may have life and have abundance. Number one life, everlasting life. And 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 abundance overflow that you will be have more than enough. Even when it looks like a dry season, all of a sudden the Holy Ghost is the living water, comes and brings the screaming of the north of the water flow in there. And what you have been expecting for, looking for, all of a sudden it come up out of nowhere. Overflow. You have room not to hold all that that you're going to have to share it and help somebody else in church say amen. That is where God amen. wants to put us at. Church say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So ask God to reposition you because that's what he's doing. It's not always the devil. And I'm not giving the devil credit, but it's God. He don't he don't test you for evil. He tests you, shifting you, uh, your, the shifting the atmosphere around you that is shift towards him and stop shifting towards man. And start shifting to what you see. But shifting to what you don't see. I'm going to trust God anyhow. Come on somebody give him praise. Hallelujah. I don't care what people say about me. Talk ain't going to hurt me. What most important we care about is what God said. So what do you say Apostle? So this is the year that God is giving you a place. That you stop worrying about what people think about you. Amen. Who are you, who are you going to believe? Who are you pleasing? The Bible says when a man way pleases God, he may even peace with your enemy. They don't know why. They got to come back and tell you the truth. I was wrong, Lord. Apostle Lord, can you forgive me? Look like everything going right my way. Amen. But I have to forgive him. Amen. Don't let your blessing be cut. Amen. Pray. Amen. Without ceasing. Get in that word. Because a lot of the Judas, the betrayer, is right there under you. Should say amen. Amen. Who you don't think is holding your blessing is the one you never thought is holding your blessing. I got your back, 100%. And find out they never had your back. They want you to have their back, but they never have your back. So how can you trust him? Amen. I hear but one amen. amen. So God amen. is the one shaking your little comfortable zone. He's the one that's shaking your territory. Amen. In him. Because you allowed the, the you allowed the enemy to sneak in to someone else that said it for you. I don't care if it's a relative. I don't care if it's old flames or relation. You know what I'm talking about. Hello, somebody. That's causing you to miss out what God has predestinated. For you to have. Amen. Listen to what the Spirit has to say. Stop making quick decisions. Make sure the Holy Spirit is telling you. That's why He's here. And people say, well, Jesus is here. No, Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. The Holy Spirit is here. Because when, the, when Jesus comes back for His brides and leave, the Holy Spirit is going to be, it's going to be heaven. Amen. Jesus at the right hand. Well, well Jesus, yeah, he's here. He's here with, uh, through the Holy Spirit, but he's at the right hand of God. He's with the Father. If he was here, why would he say in St. John, the 14th chapter, verse 16, he said, I go away and I will send you another comforter like me. He said, I go away, didn't he? But I'll be close because of the Spirit, because they're all one. So what I need to know, the Holy Spirit going to bring a remembrance. Let me know and bring his remembrance what you need to know. So what he's doing is cutting the people around you. Let him do it. Because most of your problem is who around you. Once again, it could be old flames, you call it. Old relationship. They're trying to rekindle again. Should not rekindle. Hello, is you there, everybody? Amen. Amen. It could be relatives. It could be... I'm telling you, relatives are problems. They date something else. Because relatives, they in, in and out. And the worst relatives that we got is the one that's 
we related to the blood of Jesus Christ. They call itself our sister and brother in Christ. Amen, y'all. And the church say amen. 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 So God is doing a cleaning. Let him do it. Because they tell you one thing, they go behind your back and say another. Did you not know that Jesus Jesus know that Judas was a betrayer, but yet he put him over the treasure department? Hello? <laughs> He gave him all the opportunity to do what's right. But see, Judas had a plan because he was trying to build up Judas instead of building up Jesus. He'll go to them and tell them, no, Jesus is going to be there and do that. No. And because he wanted to get the credit saying, you know what? We, I'm glad we listened to Judas because Judas was right. Amen. And he betrayed him for 10, what's it, 10 of the silver? Amen. Don't betray your soul and go to hell. Amen. Because you so busy focused trying to let people know who you are. Amen. Instead of letting the Holy Spirit build you up in Him and, and, and do His work in you and build your reputation in Him. Uh, reputation is nothing but based on opinion. I, I don't care about your opinion, nobody else's opinion. You know what? Who opinion I care about? Who opinion I care about? Jesus. But that's how y'all should be caring about. And if you start caring about the opinion of Jesus, what he thinks, which is his word, you're going to see things start falling in place in favor. I mean, I was sitting, I was praying about something, and I didn't get a chance to finish. And before I knew it, it came to pass. Amen. Amen. The favor of God is on you. You was When you gave your life to Christ, the favor came in the same time you gave your life to Christ. Why? He said, we are saved by faith. Grace to by we are saved by grace of faith. Amen. Don't lose the grace of God in your life for ignorance of people or trying to keep people on your side. Amen. Because you want them next to you. Don't lose it and don't go to hell for them. I say it all the time. Amen. I ain't going to hell for nobody. I'm going to love her and forgive her. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. So I gave you, uh, 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 gave you a, a wisdom from the Holy Spirit. Why is the blessing is not there? Is more cursed. That's not God's will to be be cursed. Because who you're around is not always who you should be around. Amen. Amen. And I see that in the spirit. A lot of y'all got a lot of betrayers, snakes around you. And Jesus knew he was going to betray, but he gave him a chance, Judas. And you know what he told him. He said it, 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 it was best that you should never have been born. Now you would want Jesus to tell you that, would you? Huh? No, so stay faithful. Don't let nobody come between your relationship with Jesus. Not your husband, not your wife, not your children, not your family, not your job, business, ministry, so on. Let's go on and on and on. Please, the Lord Jesus. Nobody can give you more than Jesus. Can he? Amen. Amen. That scripture came alive in Genesis the twelve. We're not finished with that. So many revelation. When 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 uh, Abraham left and followed God, who had not seen, but his obedience and faithfulness. And on that journey, on his walking God, Amen. On his journey on uh, what with God, he lost a lot. He was down to nothing. Amen. But yet God had a plan to restore. But he lost and given more than he has. He took him to the enemy camp. He knew about Pharaoh. How he had a weakness for men. And not, I mean women. <laughs> Somebody got a weakness for men. Y'all been praying for. And they're like both man and woman. That's a that's a person you've been praying for. Those relative what? And God's given to turn their life around. That's what he says. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and God. Took him to the Pharaoh. And told him not to touch Sarah. Because he did marry Sarah. But he couldn't touch her. But he left out of there. I'm going to get to the short story. Y'all already know about it. He left out of Egypt. More than enough. Wealthy than any else. Church say amen. 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 So what are you saying apostle? Don't miss your wealth and riches that God has already planned for you. Where you think it should be coming from. is not always the case. Oh my God. He said this again. I'm picking you up. Let your steps be ordered by God. Amen. Not by people. You have to respect your leader. 
But the only leader ain't going the right way. You pray about it. I ain't going there. I had a leader. And, you know, I respect my leader. And they weren't going the right way. And I went above them. And they got mad. I didn't care. Because I ain't going to hell for my leader. Hello, somebody. Amen. 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 I stood up. Amen. He called me to the office. He said, Lois, I said, look, I've I been respecting you. God knows. But when it comes to the Holy Spirit, and I didn't feel no confirmation, I know the voice of God, and you know it too. I'm about to go there. Amen. And I'm glad I obey God. Amen. Know the voice of God. Even leaders can lead you the wrong way. And we got to pray for them. Amen. Hallelujah. So make sure everything is directed by spirit that you don't lose your blessings. I'm going to cut it right there because uh, I'm going to get on to other things I got to get. Amen. Because I got to pray and I don't expect to be on here all night long. Amen. Before I get on, I want to ask by testimony. This is the most, most, one of the most, but the most important is salvation uh, and uh, and uh, those that backslide repent. Amen. And I'm changing it different because I'm going to say, is everybody has a relationship with Jesus? If you die right now, where are you going? To hell or heaven? Amen. Honestly. Now, I used to do this now, but God said, there's some people on here, you you about to bust hell wide open. You go to church, you talk that talk, but your heart ain't right. If you be honest with God, that's a hell up of your blessings. Hell up, hold up your blessings. Because you have not been honest with God. I don't understand how people can lie to God. He don't want his omnipresence to see everything. Church, amen. 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 We're not on here to judge. The most important that I want your soul to go to heaven. If you got stuff in your heart right now and you are not forgiven, you can go to hell. That is not God's will. That is God's divine will connection of forgiveness. And if you can be honest and apostle, I've been there a long, long time ago when I started. And I messed up. But at least I was honest. I said, God, I messed up. Will you forgive me? Amen. That's what she love you. So he's doing it different. I'm led by the Holy Spirit. If I'm talking to you, I want you to raise your hand up on there. Are you up top at the bottom? Don't make no difference. Because see, if you mad with my holy grudges right now and you didn't forgive them, you're going to scrape the hell. Hello? If you still live in the past and have not let go of the past, most of the Christians live in the past, most people live in the past because they have not let go of the past. Church, say amen. Amen. I'm about, amen. I'm, I'm about amen. souls. Winning souls over to the Lord, Jesus, and he get the glory. You prosper like that. So you, if you can be honest, because a lot of people ain't honest. They tell lies. Because they're afraid somebody find out what they're doing because they have prophesied and they're preaching and teaching. They want to know. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Amen. What are you worry about what people say? Do you think I worry about y'all thinking about me, what you say? I tell you, men, I don't care. Because I ain't going to hell. That's why you heard the prophecy. The truth is in my vein. What y'all say, the vein is all in my vein. I can't help but tell the truth. If you got the Holy Ghost in you, that fire of the Holy Ghost, you can't help but tell the truth. Church, say amen. Amen. Don't put on no front and you all that prophet and seer and apostle. Get rid of the stuff in your heart because a couple of you have not forgiven the person. And God do not want you to go to hell. And that's what been your blessings been cut because you still holding stuff that you need to let go. Once again, if you die right now, do you know where you're going? You may not get a chance to say, repent. That's why it's best to get it right. That's why I, I repent even I don't say it. Because I want to make sure that even I may say something that was not right. Amen. And God said, you thought it was right, but it wasn't right. Hello, somebody. Amen. You can have something against your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother. Your children. Ex exes. You know about those exes that gave you, gave you a hard time? Hello. And you need God to heal your heart. And if you can be honest with God, and the minute you be honest, you're going to see a release of an overflow of blessings. 
Because God said this is one of the biggest problems in a lot of Christians. Why the blessing is holding because they're holding stuff in their heart. And they're trying to put on the front they all this and realize John 15 verse 5 said we are nothing without God. Uh, Jesus. He's divine. that holds us up and produce the, the, the produce amen on our, on our uh, uh, branch, a tree. And God is the landowner, the homeowner. He owns everything. And without Him, we are nothing. And without Him, we can't do anything. I don't know about you, but I can't do nothing. I can't prophesy, I can't preach and teach without Him who sent the Holy Spirit who just like Him. And several you on here, don't miss it. And be too late because if you die, if you don't get a chance to repent, you're going to scrape the hell. And if you raise your hand up, you uh, uh, the uh, the, administ the administrator will br bring you up. Because I don't want nobody to go to hell. S somebody been deeply hurt, and you have not let it go. Ain't nobody worth going to hell for. And Jesus, ain't, if Jesus ain't gonna let you go to hell, why in the world are you gonna let the, the past and relationship and people, what people say about you, go to hell? I forget people, even when they did they did me wrong. I'm for no nonsense. I still pray for them, cause I ain't going to hell for nobody. And don't you go to hell for somebody. And what that do will cut your blessings. And God don't want your blessings cut. Alright. Do we have anybody. Honest enough to tell the truth. Amen Apostle. It's serene. I do um, have some hurt. In my heart. That I'm asking God to grant repentance to me. In that area. And what does that pass from childhood. Or relationship. Both. I've been there. And he is a healer. And I want you to repeat me and say, Lord God. Lord God. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. For not believing what you said in your word. For not believing what you said in your word. I came to you many times, but I didn't really receive what you said. I came to you many times, but I did not receive what you said. And I'm asking you right now, Lord God. And I am asking you right now, Lord God. Allow the Holy Spirit to get rid of everything out of me. To allow the Holy Spirit to get everything out of me. I need your help. I need your help. I can't do it by myself. I cannot do it by myself. But in the name of Jesus. But in the name of Jesus. By the direction of the Holy Spirit. By the direction of the Holy Spirit. Set me free right now. Set me free right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I believe it. I believe it. And receive it. And receive it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I feel the fire. There's a fire right now. My ears are burning. That's me. The anointing is getting stronger. God is pleased. That's what I love you. And I want you to begin to this praises and thank Him for it right now. You're getting free right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Kemanda. Say Mulakita Sadoroyaka. Begin to praise him right now. You've been set free right now. Begin to say in your heavenly language. Koko Banda. Let the Holy Ghost take us. Satan, lose it right now against God's child. Lose it right now in the name of Jesus. You will not destroy God's property in the name of Jesus. Rama take care of Russia. Mete la barosha. Nadara ba kese de bakaya. Motere ba kore basia. Rema no se kundala ba se. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is setting you free, baby. Hallelujah. I see those yokes are breaking off you. I see those shackles are breaking off you. Even when you was a child, you was touched in the child, and God's touching you right now for divine healing right now. In the name of Jesus. 
Wabi God. It happened to me too. God is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Because of your 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 integrity. Hallelujah. The devil can't hold that on you no more. Those strongholds of uh, strongholds are breaking off you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Break it off. You feel the yoke, you feel the fire of the Holy Ghost. You feel the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost burning everything. It's not right around you, inside and out. Yes, so God, you are a My day, this burnt office is the, the burnt office is because of the blood of Jesus. And everything is breaking off right now around you. Hallelujah. The freedom of the Holy Ghost. The freedom of the Holy Ghost is on you right now. Messing with your mind is uprooted right now. Messing with your heart is right now through the blood of Jesus Christ 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 so that you no longer will be able to destroy this property belongs to God in the name of Jesus hallelujah for her temple is the temple of the Holy Ghost thank you Jesus hallelujah Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Release right now. Freedom. God is setting you free right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is setting you free right now. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. God likes an honest spirit. He likes true people. Lie too much. Because they want everybody to think they all this ain't all that. And God is setting you free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Some of you on Facebook need to be delivered. So don't point finger at nobody because I see a couple of y'all need to be delivered as well. Amen. <laughs> the Holy Ghost knows what needs to be done. Nobody need to point no finger when somebody need to deliver. Some of you got some stuff in your heart. I see. Need deliverance as well. She had the... the she had the... The mindset, the minute she said that her mindset began the mind of Christ Jesus, she wants to change. She was honest and integrity. And God says, done from this day on. When the enemy tried to bring up something in the past, it won't affect you like it did before. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. God can work with people in the honest instead of trying to put on the front, they all this and they not. Got too many liars, two facing fake people, hypocrites. He called them. Jesus called them hypocrites. Amen. Praise God. It don't take that long. How you feel, precious? I feel free. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the key. Amen. He was honest. We got a lot of fake Christian, lying Christian. Cause they don't want nobody to know they all they that and and they still got stuff in the heart they're jealous they don't want the sister and brother get no further they just jealous and that spirit of jealousy hits repeat itself brings in a, a manipulating spirit which brings in a witchcraft spirit a perverse spirit and brings in the principality who was an ex archangel who was one of the fallen angels was bringing in this the uh, uh that principality is bilaya who caused a lot of wickedness in a lot of in, in, in churches and everywhere. God, I thank you for delivering her. I got peace is done in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank you. Amen. You're like a load lift off of you. You was carrying a heavy load. You know what the problem was? Because you're more concerned what people think about you. You know what I'm saying? Yes, the pastor. That's the that was the most issue. You know, you're trying to make people to understand you and try to make friends with your family and they just throw, throw things back at you, you know, like the garbage stinks. They try yeah. to make things make that you stink and they stink because they're not free. Amen. Yes, amen. And so God say, from this day on, as you believe and continue to believe and receive it, your life will never be the change the same. The change has already begun. And I, I already feel that in the spirit, not to feel it, I sense it. The yoke has been broken. Amen. Yeah. Off of you. You feel more freer than you did before when you first came in here. 
Hallelujah, yes. Is that how you feel, Precious? I feel like I can take off running a pastor. You don't like me? I, I feel like when I get in the Holy Ghost and they go the Holy Ghost like a burning fire of me, I feel like running around the block. It's late now, I can't, but that's what I feel like. Yes, yes, Pastor. Oh, praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank God you, loves Pastor. the honesty. See, a lot of people lie so much. I don't know why people lie so much. Because they want attention. And they lie, lie. And by the bus hell whatever, that's not God's will. He didn't make hell for us. He made heaven for us. Amen. So God say, uh, uh, the sky's the limit. Amen. You just opened doors. There was a door open, was it open for you 15 years ago? That were brought in blessings. I don't know what happened 15 years ago. Just make it 18. And so after 15, 18, in the ninth year, there was supposed to be released and there was a hindrance there. And so God now thinks it's going to be released to you like never before in Jesus name. Amen. Do you know what God is talking about? You know what I'm talking about? No, I can't think 15 years ago. I was about 20 something. I can't recall anything that happened. Well, let's go back to 18 because that's really when things start going in different direction for you. 18 was when um, my father kicked my sister and I out of the house. Oh, see the Holy Ghost know what he's talking about. My best friend know what he's talking about. That's where it started. Because he's supposed to, your father show you love and he didn't do it. And the yeah. things that he did towards y'all. So yeah. he, he tried to make y'all feel guilty for his guilt was on him. Yes. Is he living? Yes. Uh, 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 is he live close by you? No. He's in um, Boston and I'm in Alabama. You have his phone number? I do. I want you to call him and tell him you forgive him. Amen. I will. And then ask him hope he forgive you. See, a mature person will ask people to forgive them, even if they're not wrong. What are you doing? You're releasing the freedom in your life more free. Amen. At the same time, you're closing the doors that the devil had opened and try to cause more confusion and cause to keep you being a place, stuck in the same place, and never be free. Amen. 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 And I did that plenty of time. I learned that. Mature Christians... You, it, it, mature Christian is able to say something to a person to forgive them, even if they know they're not wrong. Right. So what happened? That person be on a guilt trip, then because they feel bad, they was wrong. Right. And, and so, uh, George Meyer, that her, her father, kept molesting her so many times, and she was mad at her mother because she knows about it. But she had to end up taking care of her mother and father. And then when she ended up taking care of that's when everything released to her. Her ministry didn't really go forth until she forgave her father. He said he was wrong when he did. Amen. And then everything started. Because everything uh, trying to come against her now because she get the more you get Lord trying to come with it, it's gonna stop her become. But that released her ministry to go even farther. Amen. Amen. That's the key. So many people hold stuff in their heart. And they don't let go. Some people are mad with their child, their daughter, their son. And, and you go to hell right there. Because the Bible says, if we don't forgive. See, people read Mark 11, 22, 23, 24, 25. When they get to 25, 26, they don't. They stop there and don't forgive. He said clearly, if you don't forgive them of their trespass. Right. I will not forgive you of your trespass. And people go right to hell for that. Amen. But suppose you don't get a chance to see that person, forgive them, and uh, 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 and you didn't get a chance to go to them. And that. All you got to do is go, God, say, God, I forgive them of their trespass, what they did against me. And you didn't get a chance to see them. I hope they forgave me. If they didn't, I sincerely forgive them. You go to heaven. Amen. Praise God. Because it ain't worth it. Nobody go to hell for a baby. He didn't make hell for us. So I'm glad you was honest. And you opened the doors. For also for promotion in the spirit realm, but mostly promotion, and God's gonna give you a business idea to open up a business. He already did, Apostle. I'm just not, you know, there yet. Well, you gotta be, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know you opened your idea, but He's gonna give you more ideas. That's what He mean. Amen. Because it couldn't go far because you were stuck in a place of unforgiveness. Amen. 
So stay at that forgiveness, and he's going to give you a dream. Remember I told you uh, uh, on Wednesday night what he said? Get the tablet right down. But then he's, he's switching over. He's, he's released the blessing and uh, release the blessing and break the curses of people. And uh, that forgiveness is God's divine connection will to him that he made. If he forgive us, we got to learn to forgive others. Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. So now you, you forgive. Now, the, now he's going to show you more how to get the business going. In Jesus' name, all right? Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord Jesus. You want to say something else? You call my name? No, that was me, um, Apostle. Don't interrupt. Sorry. Wait a minute. When I'm talking, do not call my name out until I'm finished, okay? All right, precious ones? Okay. All right. You know, I like things in order. I do by the Holy Spirit now, right? I'll teach y'all. Anytime the Holy Spirit flows, don't ever interrupt when the Spirit is flowing like that. That's how the enemy does. So I'm teaching y'all how to walk in the Spirit. A lot of y'all need to go to class. Amen. To understand that. It's not, I may be rude, but I'm not rude. I just do by the Spirit. So when I finish, if I say, okay, who's next? Then you could say something, okay? All right? We want to keep that flow there. You know, that flow. Amen. So, uh, Precious Serene, you feel much better, right? Yes, Apostle. Good, good. Now, keep it like that. Remember? <coughs> yes. Because let me tell you something. Even though you get free, that same, when well, you got free from, the enemy will attack you again. Yes. Recognize it. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you to recognize it. All right? Yes. You're not, and now you're not going back, and now you're going forward. Amen. Going forward into your destiny. Now things gonna open up, show you how to go buy your uh, uh, your business, and the money gonna come in you need too. Amen. A Amen. Glory to God. Thank you. Lord. Do you have a new trunk? No. You want a new trunk? I mean, I it should do. be. You gonna get that? Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. You just told me Amen. that. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No, I asked it. I already know you're going to get into trouble. I still ask you. See your responses. <laughs> People, a, a prophet asks questions too. Amen. My ears are burning. And God Amen. said he's going to visit you and give you every detail of life how to go by things. And this time, the traps of the enemy will not be able to stop what God has for you. Somebody give Jesus praise. Let's give Jesus praise for that breakthrough for her. You see that release? I flow by the Spirit. I don't flow what people think. That's why I see. That's why I see results. If I flow what people think, then I'm 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 allowing them to be the Holy Spirit and not you know let Him be. be Amen. It. He knows what y'all need, and she was honest to say that. Also, I see a husband coming. Amen. I think I told you that before. Yes. Well, he's definitely coming sooner than you think now. You just released some things. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And it's also that you are one of them that God's getting ready to bless with some property. Amen. Hallelujah. You just don't open the door, baby. You have opened up the door blessings of your sincerity and honesty. Hallelujah. And you hold up. It's on your father's side, and your mother had plans. Amen. Your mother living? No, man. There was some stuff that she had property. How many? How many children did your mother have? Us uh, three girls. Mm -hmm. Well, that's they had a property with uh, uh, with both of your name on it, with all your I'm name sorry. on it. I'm and he told me to tell you he gonna make you wealthy. I'm <laughs> And, and, and he's going to make you up because the money was hold back on you for a long time. And look like you make a baby step and then you make it say, I'm going to make a baby step of faith. I don't know how you're going to do it. And you hung in there. And because of your integrity, you broke the ice today in Jesus' name. For God be the glory. You just open up the door of windows of heaven of blessings that's going to blow your mind. And those same people, family members, have talked down to you, call you a whore and a prostitute. You know what I'm saying? But God said this day, those same ones going to come to you and ask for help. Oh, God. And if God wants you to help, he's going to have you to help him. 
Remember, Job couldn't get the blessing until he blessed. He prayed for them. So this kind of help, you're gonna to have to pray for them. They're gonna need you before you need them. They're gonna say, "How in the world you got there?" Because say, because tonight you was obedience to God. And you didn't care what people said. That's why you get on this line. You're gonna walk in integrity because I walk in integrity. For God be the glory. Walk in the truth. Amen. People can take everything, but they can't take the truth. You're gonna give the devil something to talk about now. Hey, can't stop it. God says, sealed by God, the Holy Spirit, and covered with the blood. Hallelujah. Your husband is a businessman. Hallelujah. So he's an investment. The Holy Ghost says he's an investment. He's a Christian. So I forgot. He's a tall man, brown skinned man, an investment. Good looking man. Business man. Amen. A man of humility that loves the Lord is coming to your life. Amen. Amen. You may have lost stuff 18 years ago, but God said restoration is coming to you sooner this year. Oh, God. I hear them laughing at you and talk about you. Even church people, even prophets, even people that call themselves, so they for you, laughing at you. But God said the left, left going to be on them, said the Lord. Ah! Oh, he said the left, left going to be on them from talking against you. Your obedience don't turn God on. Now where you live at? Alabama. Oh. <laughs> you you gonna move to Georgia? Okay. In, in a plush neighborhood with your husband, in a big mansion. Amen. Isn't that awesome? Somebody needs to praise God for her. You, you know, know, she just did a lot. Amen. 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 And God has released it. Do you know your obedience to tell the truth will get you further than lying and holding in because you're so concerned about what people think? The hell with the devil. The hell with the devil in them. I can care less what people think about me. Amen. Thank you, God. And all that you went to, you should have been dead five years ago. Let's make it eight years ago. But God. There was even last year the devil tried to kill you, take you out. But God stepped in and turned it around. And so I just saw in the spirit a vision that he took the hands off the devil. That was witchcraft. There was hoping these are supposed to be people for you that you die. But God say, You will not die no time sooner. Long life shall I give you, say God. He can trust you now. See, he can't trust liars. He can't trust hypocrites. He can't trust Pharisees, Sadducees. He trusts those that's honest and not afraid to tell the truth that what God did for them. And look what happened. And, and God freed you today. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why it's nice breaking curses. Blessings, no cursings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. And it's going to tell you it's canceling out your debts, too. Hallelujah. It's been very hard to have money in the account. And God says He's restoring everything that Kakaron, the locust, and all that taken from you. You're going to start walking in the overflow, said the Lord. You are one of Him you can trust with money. You're going to be a wealthy woman, you're a wealthy woman of God, and your husband is wealthy. Yes, God. Hallelujah. And God said you're going to uh, uh, get this land uh, that you have a place for the women, single women and uh, women that hurt. And it's going to be a place of healing as well. It's going to use your powerful. <laughs> Keep on staying faithful. You ain't seen nothing yet. In Jesus name. Today mark your freedom. Oh, my ears are burning. Let's hold on. Today, mark your freedom for the devil had planned for you. Oh, God, I thank you. And God just broke that. Somebody give Jesus praise. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You got to be honest with God. You can't tell lies to God. 
You want to favor God in your life? Tell the truth and shame the devil. Amen. Amen. You'll start walking. Walking. And you're going to write the book of your life and it's going to sell. And I see in Barnes and Noble, I see you signing it. Signing your signing your initial to it. Amen. Amen. I don't know where you started or not, but get started on it, cause it, it's gonna sell. Said the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody give Jesus praise and praise God for Hallelujah. her for what He does. Bless her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, uh, daughter, it, everything I told you was true, right? From the Holy Ghost. Yes. Now, I know the Holy Ghost never lie. Because he blew my mind, we well, blow your mind. Amen. So healing is done. You have any Amen. children? Yes, a son. A, one son? Yes. I saw one. How old is he? Eight. Good. Now, that was on you. It's broken off him. He won't. He won't go to that. Hallelujah, God! I thank you. You don't realize what's on you will come on your seed. Hallelujah, God. Because he's he's a lot of timid. You know, timid. You you understand? Yes. And I see the children like to pick on him. Yes. Bully him. Oh God. But God said this day they won't be able to bully him no more because God's gonna raise up a uh, 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 faith in him. Sprinting him. Hallelujah. And angels around him to support him in Jesus' name. <sighs> yeah, but she'll have another baby when she get married. God Amen. <laughs> she produced boys, but it may be a girl. She want a girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We give Jesus praise. Your, your prophecy is sealed by the Holy Ghost and covered blood. And the devil will not be able to steal no more from you like this. Because I in, in agreement with what the Holy Spirit says. This is your time. You're going to see this year going to break it loose like never before, said the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. He's bringing us joy in your life. Joy. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't forget to sign up for class now. I will. Yes, of course. Because getting close, y'all. Because it's going to be good. God bless you, precious. Amen. God bless you too, Pastor. Now, don't forget to sow a seed. Now, you ain't getting prophecy, but God wants y'all sow seeds. Yes, Pastor, I am. You're not paying for it, but God, this we in the first fruit. If you don't have the whole hundred dollars, he asked for a whole lot. Pay on it until you get it done. That's what I do. Because you want the seed, that God, that let the seed, you know, Pastor, water it and let the seed grow. Get the seed in the ground. That's what I do. Amen. Amen. God bless you, precious. All right, who that wanted to say something for That was me, Apostle. Okay, I got to see who you are because I don't never look at this thing you know, sometimes. Who is that? Me? It's Jessica. Okay, what's going on, Jessica? Um, you've been talking about truth, and I've been struggling with forgiving my dad and uh, my ex camp for the things that have been done, mm -hmm. and I've been having. That's okay. Let the baby talk. I can still hear you. Go ahead. Um, I've been having some hatred towards my dad because of the things that he has done towards me. Yeah. And I don't want to have that anymore. I want to be able to forgive. I'm glad you can see. see God knows what's going to. on. See, that's the hindrance. That's why you know the top to talk about. I don't know what to talk about. He said he, God don't curse nobody. But we can be under curse of unforgiveness. Amen. And I'm glad you, you, you said that. Amen. Is your daddy living? Yes, he is. Does he live closer or further in another state? He lives in the same state, but we don't talk. You know where he lives? He doesn't want me to know where he lives because of what I've done with the lifestyle I've lived. We don't care about what you've done with the lifestyle you live. He, he's not the judge. God is the judge. The most important thing is forgive him, okay? Amen. Okay. So he said, Lord God. Lord God. I ask you to help me. I ask you to help me. First, God said, help you to forgive yourself because you blame yourself too much. To forgive myself. Amen. To forgive, to forgive myself. 
because it wasn't your fault, all right? Ooh, I felt a release in that. That's okay. The babies be all right. Where's your husband at? He's outside playing with the kids. He's so precious. You get, you get your good husband. Yes. God is healing you right now. Ooh, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Let it all out. It wasn't your fault. Because sometimes you feel that way. Let it out, precious. Let it out. That's okay. Let it out. Right, let it out. That's it. Let it out. Amen. Hallelujah. Mom is all right, baby. Don't worry about mommy, okay? That's all right. Let it out. But this one, yeah, you was holding a whole lot. Let it go. See, God knows what needs to be said. That's what I'm led by the Holy Spirit. Release it. That's it, precious. That's okay, baby. Your mama gonna be alright. That's it. That's alright, baby. That's it. They're not disturbing the Holy Spirit. They don't understand. So God is touching them. So that 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 that's that's was seed that was planted of you. It will not be on the children. People don't realize that when the parents are not delivered, the seed falls on the children. Amen. And now I feel the release of the Holy Spirit. It's setting you free right now in Jesus' name. Amen. That's what this, this this room is all about. We're not here to pump fingers. But I'm here to see you set free. I don't care about what you did in the past. God don't God don't care about the past. He care about you now. Amen. You're feeling a breakthrough right now, don't you? Yes. I felt it for so long. God know. God knows what needed. See, he knows what. See, he blowing my mind. He knows what needs to be said, don't he, Mama? It's understandable. There's a lot of people need to be healed in their own lives and people are not being healed. We're not here to judge. We're here to see you set free. Amen. And you're able to talk about it. And nobody better not be talking about you because I can hear the conversation. That's how, that's how God got me. At least she's telling the truth. A lot of y'all lying. Amen. Now there's a peace coming over you. And then I want you to say, Lord, I forgive my father. Lord, I forgive my father. And I even forgive my mother I don't even talk to. <laughs> Lord, I forgive my mother that I don't talk to. And she's alive? She is. I don't even know her. You're going to find her one day. She's going to come to you. Amen. Amen. And those kids will not be the same. That spirit will not destroy your kids. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And peace is coming to your home right now. In Jesus' name. Touch the mind of the children too. Touch the mind of your your your, your husband too, my. He's a good man, and God's gonna give him plenty of money to be a head of the household. Hallelujah! Take care of you. And would you say this, Father? Father, I forgive. 
all my family members. I forgive all my family members. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Especially my father who's the instigator of all. Especially my father who's been the instigator of all. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost all over you, precious. There's a peace over you. Amen. Amen. I want you to just begin to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to begin to speak in tongues right now. Come on. You mandala my case in Russia. No, not like a brush. No, the batana, Makaya. Rematande, Kilea Sulta Malaya. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, healing is done. I said, Let me go to Tokoria. That's it. Do it up. I'm on the river, somebody. You get free. Come on. Yes. Everybody, you're gonna be fine. No dollar about six and about. Oh, yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You've been set free. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Mere ma rashia botare mi akar. Anna kare so to to kare anna na da kare ma shur kare anna na da. Anna na da kuto na ro sen na kare anna na da kare so to kare shur kuto to. Yes, he set you free. He set you free. Hallelujah. You've been set free right now. Come on. Din banda. Re bandore a ke she batalia. Jundara marie ke mona ma sekendo de boa shata. No se ve la. No se ve la ma ke se ve. No se mande de boa shia basia. Anda ko yo sota to ko ri anda da da ko de boa shata to ko yo. You've been set free. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Those that on Facebook being set free too, because some of you need to be set free. Don't you know, get so holy and down, because I see some black oh, girls need to be delivered too. Thank Come on, give this praise them. Hallelujah. You, You've been Jesus. set free right now. Thank Hallelujah. You, Ever since you were a child, 12 years old to 2 years old, you've been set free right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Go to the devil. You don't have you no more. Jesus name. You are free today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Mande Brashi, Mande de Baroko, Si Ambanda. Jacob of Bahaya. Peace is coming in your home. Yes, baby. See the baby? Peace is coming home. I just feel a big weight lifted off of oh, me. Oh, yeah, they had to go off. God knows what y'all need to hear. You can't get the blessing until the curses broke off you. Thank you, Jesus. 
Oh, I can't stop shaking. That's okay. That's the Holy Ghost, all of you. It's all in the house. The children will cover. And the children ain't going to turn out the way the devil wants them to turn out. They're going to be some smart kids, business, and serving God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ah, oh, the power of the Holy Spirit. It's all in your home. There's a peace in your home now than ever before. Hallelujah. All that you've been carrying is, is gone. Yes. Yes. That's the Holy Ghost all over you. Fire! The Holy Ghost burned everything out. You didn't even touch your husband, totally delivered for him too, in Jesus' name. Because he was hurt as well with yes. his family. Yes. That's why he can relate to you, because he was hurt. And God is touching and healing him as well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Like a baby. Y'all hear the baby? <laughs> yes. What is she doing? She's cheating on her teeth. <laughs> yes. She'll be all right. She want to talk to me, but she can't talk now. <laughs> Precious. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for setting me free. You just release. Uh, yeah, I want you to start getting your stuff packed up and in faith. You get ready to move into a big house. That's confirmation. Listen, I was moving. Yeah, you're moving sooner than you think. <laughs> oh, baby, you'll be all right. She's so precious. She's teething. She'll be all right. Got sooner in the pain. Oh, I get so shaking. <laughs> That's all she's been on you. You're getting free. That's it. You're getting free. That's the key. You get free. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You've been set free. Hallelujah. Praise His holy name. Somebody give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. 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 Lord. How there's a strong presence of deliverance and healing on this line tonight. Amen. Mm. Peace is on you. Spirit come. Joy the love of God. Don't try to figure out how you're going to get the house. Somebody going to get your house. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. God will lay it on somebody hard to get you a big house. Somebody give him praise for the victory in the life in Jesus' name. It is done. From this day on, your husband is going to feel free to because all in your home. Peace and joy. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> she teething, but she's not hollering like she used to. She feel a little better. She felt the anointing around her. The baby. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for total deliverance in the home. The children are set free. The mother set free. The husband set free. No more doubt, unbelief, and the spirit of witchcraft is broken off this family. A generation. You know, your father's side, they did rituals, you know that. So, so, souls to the devil. Yeah, my grandfather played with witchcraft and yeah, voodoo. Yeah, I I, that yeah that's what God said. They, they did ritual and sold, uh, sold the family members to the devil. But uh, God said it won't happen. That's what God got you out of there. And so this deliverance is coming. Amen. And God is dealing with your father. And you will hear from him. You got no choice, said the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And it's done. My, my husband says thank you for the prayers. He watches you on Facebook. I say I see. He wanted my 
follow us. Put him on the phone. Okay. Hello. Hi, son. How you doing? How you doing, Apostle? I'm blessed. I'm so good to be connected with y'all. And Amen. Gonna, y'all stop packing up because y'all gonna move. Somebody gonna give y'all a house. Two, two story house, five bedrooms, and three and a half baths. What? Yes. Amen. Amen. It's coming soon too, said the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And we God, receive it. Yes. And God is healing you too from your family. You've been to a lot too. As Amen. Well. Hallelujah. She got That's the right Lord. she got the right husband. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for yeah. that. We really love you and appreciate all you do for us I and our God family me. and the yeah. rest of the world. Yes, I just love you and God loves you. So y'all Amen. be encouraged. Your wife got free tonight. Amen. Amen. She been carrying that for a long time. She been on different yes, places and they never got her free because they never walk in the spirit Amen. to get her free in Jesus name. Amen. But she's Amen. free tonight. Amen. Right. Peace is coming to your home. And I see a uh, financial there is some money. And the Lord said that is an inheritance. On the, it looks like on your side, but also on her side, money going to come in that y'all need, said the Lord. Oh, my side. Amen. Yes. Oh, you, you, never, you never know. Yeah, you don't. Amen. But the Holy Ghost knows. <laughs> the Holy Ghost knows. Amen. And, and, and money yes, money's coming in to get y'all other. Y'all going to be a testimony. To other people who went through what y'all went through, and y'all gonna write a book and gonna help others to get delivered as well. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And Father, I seal all these blessings upon them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for the finances coming in that they need. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for the house. That house is coming. It's a two story house. And it's, uh, it looks like it's, it's, it's tan or something, but it's it's coming. Amen. It's got like a, uh, I see the back of it in the back pool, like a pool. pool. I see like a pool. Y'all really don't want no pool because of the children. So y'all get one of those other kind of pool that they can get in. Amen. Safe. But I see I see the uh, even a barbecue thing in the back, the grill for y'all to have. Amen. Family together. Amen. Amen. And y'all can get, I don't know, do y'all have a dog? Yes. How many dogs do you have? One. Uh, I'll be enough room for the dog. Amen. And probably get another Amen. later on. But God say uh, the blessings as it's committed to release to y'all like number four in Jesus' name. Just say amen. 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 And hallelujah. And he give you praise God for it's done. So precious, yes. how you feel now? I feel just free. I feel better. Like... The burdens are released. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't, I don't have any more guilt and shame. And no, you don't have to be guilt and shame nobody. Jesus told when Mary Madeline, the the, uh, the religious people that we call them, he told them, said, "Let the first one cast the first one who has not sinned." Nobody can throw no stone to you because nobody was born perfect. Everybody was born into sin, and then because of what sin came in, so God say he sees and he's going to use and you're going to look back at this and you're going to just be a blessing said the lord and i also see you want a place that you can feed the feed the hungry amen yes we've been talking about a facility yeah and that's going to give it to you god's going to give it to you amen so amen. a lot of things is happening come your life and the promise is is sealed by the holy ghost and come up with the blood in jesus name and the church amen Amen. 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 God knows what you need. See, blessings, you can't get blessings until curses are broken off of us. That's the problem. Curses and people are broken from around. We cause the curse. People don't realize people can uh, stop your blessings. Amen. And we can stop a blessing with not uh, letting go and forgive. Amen. Just like my mother told me, I went through a lot. So I was born. And she finally told me, said that they wanted to abort me. They told my mama to abort me. It, it, but that that was not. And they get aborted. The devil tried to kill me in mother's womb. That was no. They've been trying to kill me ever since I got here, but it can't do anything. Cause I see why I'm here for the glory of God. Amen. For for people's souls, and I love what I'm doing for God. Amen. So get ready for the best of shit to come for you and your family. Said the Lord. 
God bless you, precious. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God bless your son. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. You know, and just say y'all going to be able to have somebody help y'all take care of the children. Amen. He's going to put you in a place you've never been before where the rich is at and the wealth and going to give the people something to talk about. He took you from way there and to right here. They said, how do you get it? Because of God, said the Lord. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And you're going to be thankful. And you're going to use what he's giving you wisely. Sealed by the Holy Ghost and covered with the blood. And the church say amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's amen. Done. Hallelujah. Could we have some more honest people can tell the truth? Now you understand why God even talk about this while y'all in the curse. Because you ain't relieved that unforgiveness. And not only that. Secondly, you, you're around the wrong people. Because if they don't want to ask our forgiveness, that was on them going to follow you. Do you have anybody else want to say something of that matter? Let's be honest. Well, Apostle, mm -hmm. you know, I, I came a long way with my father. Mm -hmm. And I forgave him. But his wife is a different story for me. I pray for her salvation. Mm -hmm. but the Lord showed me that she had a hand to do with my mother's death so it was very hard for me so I'm, I'm just praying that God help me in that area he, he can pray and, and you can pray all you want until you're ready for to, rele to release it Prayer, you yes, got, I forgave you got my to, dad, you got but to, it's his wife. You got to, right. if you forgive the father, you got to forgive him her too because she couldn't do nothing unless she allowed her to do it too. You know that. Yes. Amen. Amen. So as well as you forgive your father, you got to forgive her too. He knew about it. Yes. Amen. God's not showed me that. And he just is guilty amen. as she is. So what I'm saying, she is, he is as guilty as she is. So God said you can't forgive one and don't forgive the other because they both was in this together. Amen. So Amen. forgive, because that close, that's close. Even though I gave you a good word, but then it it can hold it up for you and your husband. You don't want that to happen, okay? Yes. Can yes. you right now say, God help me to forgive both my father, because sincerely, because as much as his fault is her. Amen. God help me to forgive both my father and his wife. Amen. Amen. Now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' name. Heal Jesus. my heart. Heal my heart. Heal my heart. Right now. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God. When I tell y'all these forgiveness, if they're around you, you're going to have to call them and tell them you forgive them and they hope they forgive you. All right. That's the next okay. step. That's God's divine will connection of forgiveness. If He can forgive us, we didn't deserve it. We got to forgive them. Amen. Amen. That's how I walk in this anointing. I even forgive people that I I, I disconnect. Uh, don't talk. It's a reason because God say they was will bring a mess division in this court. But I forgive them. I, I find myself crying out for them praying. Because I ain't going to hell for nobody. Amen. 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 There's a peace on this line. It's grown. Joy. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Now, once you begin to raise your hand up to God and, and let the Holy Ghost soak itself into you hallelujah come on let the Holy Ghost soak itself to you begin to pray in your in your language see when you pray in your language that help deliverance go ahead on 
And forgive your, 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 your sister and brother too. Forgive them too. That's it. Let it go. Let it go. The hurts. That's it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. That's it. Wrap your arms around her, God. She loves you. I'm forgiving for her, but he never should have been shut. Oh, that must be missing. That must be missing. Oh, she had a mercy. That must be missing. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes.
There wasn't no faithology in high school. Faith can come because you forgive. Amen. Halakaya. <laughs> How you feel, precious? How you feel? I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay, Apostle. Thank you so much. To copy the glory. You should be feeling Thank better you. than okay. <laughs> I feel good. I yeah. feel good. Bless me, y'all. You don't feel that. I feel good. Yes. Oh, oh Jesus. Many, many years, Apostle. Many years. Mm -hmm. My God. Yes, precious. Oh, yeah, precious. Many years. Many years. Yes. She was gone too soon. Your mama? <laughs> Who, your mother? She was only 50 years old. That's all right. Everything is all right. I know you miss her, but you'll see her one day. I miss her so much. <laughs> That's okay. Let it out, precious. It's so understandable. Much. That's okay. Let it out, baby. She didn't deserve it. Everybody don't deserve it, but things happen. Yes. And it's hard on. That's why you're supposed to act the way she acts. And it's true because they miss their mama. But you know, God said He'll be of my the fathers. He'll be there for you. That's why he got you connected with me. I'm not your mother, but I'm your spiritual mother. Mother of all nations. I can be a little tough, but that's the mother in me. The love of God, a mother in you. You understand? Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh my God, the angel in here. <laughs> you see that? That's the angels. They all in my house. Now, you know that didn't should have knocked down. You know that didn't. The thing knocked down in there. That's the angels. They always let me know they're there. And they let me know they're releasing. There's angels all in my house. He releasing everyone I'm talking to, minister. He's releasing angels in your homes. Hallelujah. That, that fell on the floor. That was angels. Let me know they're here. <laughs> it's so peaceful in my home God is pleased what I'm doing and peace and joy coming in your home and he said that's why he sent me in your life to so be mother of nations amen. amen so I'm like your mother Correction and help you to stay straight because <laughs> he loves you. So he reckoned to me to be that spiritual mother. I didn't bear you uh, physically, but bear you spiritually. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Such a peace coming around you, ain't it? Yes, Apostle, I feel so white. Oh, God. You ain't felt that way since your mother. You felt it when she, before she died, but now you feel the release. Yes, yes. How long ago was this when she uh, left? It's been three years now. Yeah, you've been really putting that front on that you were strong, but you're not. But you release it now and you're feeling better. I don't understand a lot of stuff, but God let me know why people are like they are. Amen. I can imagine you miss your mother. That's understandable. And people would say, no, no. Mother was put here. Amen. You can always go to and talk to her about everything in their right. Yep. That's the truth. Jesus is always going to be there for you to talk to him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. And thank God that you got a husband that understands. Yes. I'm blessed. You're very much so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Ooh, I can feel the presence so strong on me. I feel like I'm dead. Numbness. Numb. Mm. Mm. It's very important to be in this will. And so in this will. I mean the thing fell in the in the kitchen. Let me know I'm here. We are here. So I'm releasing the angels around everybody on this line. Hallelujah. And God also healing your little part of your stomach. I don't know what's going on in there. But he's healing you there. You understand? Amen. Amen. What's going on in your stomach? Sometimes I just have some pains that come and go, like cramping. And so he's touching you right now in that area. And we give him. I feel so numb. I feel like I'm talking, but I'm uh, somebody else talking to me. The Holy Spirit. So God is healing you. Amen. That house that y'all got is temporary. Y'all gonna move in a big house that God promised you. Amen. Amen. Your husband will go in business. Amen. And those. Amen. That's okay. Go ahead on. Let it out, precious. The Bible says that we are surrounded. Your mother was a Christian. Yes. She was a woman of faith. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> she. We are surrounded. Revelation of 12, chapter verse 1. We are surrounded with uh, people of faith. And your mother, people that can't, in heaven, cannot look at things bad, but they could look at it. And there's a present. And this is not no uh, divination, but it's a present. Your mother, she's in heaven. And she's looking down at you. Hallelujah. Smile. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. I hear the Spirit of God saying that, uh, telling you don't worry. Oh, look at present around me strong. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My aunt is in heaven, and she came and visited me in a dream, and she gave me a good word. She said, I can't, I can't touch and she looked like a she died was 50 some years old and just like your 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 mother she she was getting ready to reach 50 and she never reached 50 remember mommy and uh when she came to my dream vision amen and uh she was glowing looked like a young woman not 50 she looked younger than that and then all oh, heaven they are 33 years old that's when jesus left so she is um Smiling in heaven, looking down at you. She's pleased. Let things go. When you say you're gonna forgive your father and that woman. Amen. Thank you, God. Apostle. Hmm? God is using you. I had a dream the day after my mother's funeral. Mm -hmm. I saw her. She had a beautiful green dress on, standing mm -hmm. in the house. Amen. And she said to me, she's like, Patty, she called me Patty. Mm -hmm. Patty, don't worry, I'm okay. Yes, she is. I'm okay. Yeah. And she looks so beautiful. Yeah, you must have never. She said that with my aunt, my grandma, all of them rejoicing. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I'm gonna read this to you, confirm what I'm saying. People can understand. Yeah. It's not no divination. This is true. Verse uh, chapter 12, verse uh, 1 in Hebrew, and it says this Do you see what this means? All these pioneers who blazed the way, all these veterans cheered on us. That's what she's doing. It means we better get on with it, strip down, and stop running and never quit. No extra spiritual fat, no parasite sin. Keep your eyes on Jesus no matter what. It means they're looking at you. Amen. Smiling. 
Amen. And tonight, she smiled at more. Because I noticed when I told you about that, God ever said, that's when the thing fly down, drop on the floor. And that didn't need to drop. <laughs> and so she asked God to release peace around you. Amen. To the firm, she's all right. Just having a good time in yeah. heaven. Your mother sang too, didn't she? I mean, she was singing at home, but I, I never really heard her sing, sing, to be honest. But she always had a song in her heart, I'll tell yeah. you that. That was her, yeah. She was singing in her heart. Even though that was wicked, what your father and that woman planted. Amen. Talk about an apostle. I'm telling you, that... Mm. was wicked, yeah. Mm. To get rid of it because he wanted to be with that woman. And they're not, yeah. get, they're not getting along right now. <laughs> God showed me that. Amen. In, in fact, they are fighting each other. Amen. Amen. And so that's why God said, forgive them. Amen. So they're not really getting along. And there's some peace on them as well. Amen. 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 But you, Amen. You, you got his number, your father? Yes. Amen. Call we him. Talk. You do talk. Okay, you talk to him and tell him, say, Father, I forgive you in that moment. Is he married to her now? Yes. I, I, I found out he was married for five years already, the day of my mother's funeral. Yeah. He tells me that. Possibly. I tell you, I tell you, your father, that's what God said, your father just is guilty as up. Because she can do nothing unless he let it do it. Amen. Amen. He, he, was, he was the door. Amen. He had a good insurance plan on her, too. <laughs> He's like, Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Woo, Jesus. That's what the Lord says. He had a a a, a good um, insurance plan on her as well. Amen. He denied that too. Amen. Thank you, Father. Mm. That's why he was able to go on because he took our insurance. He had it all planted. That's why when you was talking, no, he's more guilty than she is. He planted that. He had a beautiful wife. But she did not agree with things he was doing. And he got mad. Amen. Amen. But she forgave him. That's why she in heaven. Yes. She, she, she told me that. She told me that. On that hospital bed that she forgave my dad. Yeah. She forgave him. For what he did. Because when they first got married, they were so much in love. But he allowed that spirit to come in there, manipulate, and that's on his family side. That's on his fa your father's family side. Mm, I see. Yeah, but I could see that. I yeah, they didn't really that. care too much for your mother. Amen. And so that's why it was like that. But, uh, tonight now you're free you let go and go into your life that's going to open doors for you like never before in jesus name amen thank you jesus Hallelujah. and also i hear the holy spirit say he's going to take away those nightmares you've been having thank you lord thank you lord i give you praise Mm, yes, yes. It says it's going to take away those nightmares. Amen. Will not affect your sleep. Amen. As you're a dreamer, you dream a lot. And that's because of the seer anointing on your life. Amen. Your husband is called the apostle, and you're a prophet to seer. So y'all make sure y'all go to class. Tell your, your, your pastor you're going to be coming to class on Wednesday. Okay? Yeah, she knows. I told her already, Apostle. Did y'all sign I'm, up? I'm already registered. Yep, I'm registered okay. already. All right, good. All right. I know you and the angels. They making noise in the kitchen. <laughs> they always not the thing, and they they around here. It's a whole bunch of angels, and so he told me release these angels to y'all home when I minister tonight. Amen. Somebody said, praise the Lord. 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 See, y'all thought that I was going to speak blessings. I'm speaking blessings, but we got to be uncursed for the blessing to come in. Amen. God is good, ain't he? 
Mm-hmm. Amen. Roll the time. Amen. So now you're going to rest better. And you're going to call your father and talk to the Lord for himself. Forgive you. And that's going to release, uh, release the overflow in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Amen. Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Ooh, I feel all over me. The peace coming in your home and on this line is just such a present. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I know when you say job change, you're gonna have the job change is gonna be position change for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. You're gonna start making more money than you did before. Because you was up for a raise promotion and they hold you back. The woman the woman tried to hold you back. It's a woman. And God said you up for a raise promotion. And that it happened tonight when you released that forgiveness in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes, Apostle, you're correct. It's my boss. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, the Holy Ghost knows. I don't know nothing. But you've been telling me that. And that's why I let y'all hear that. Uh, that prophetic word was given to me. Amen. That uh, it's all in my bones, the truth. Amen. That will speak. I'm an apostle, but I feel very strong in the prophetic. <laughs> I feel strong in the apostle, but the prophet is very strong in me. Amen. So be encouraged. The best is yet to come in your husband. Amen. I believe and receive it. Thank you, God. Ooh, I'm, I, Apostle, I feel light. I feel blessed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Praise the Lord, precious. Praise the Lord, precious. Ooh, I'm going to sleep well tonight. Thank you, God. Praise God. Somebody give God praise for the release of Hallelujah. 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 God is healing. He knows what y'all need to hear, don't he? He said, don't go no further. See, I, I'm there by the Spirit what I do. That's why we see, we see, we see results. For God be the glory. He said, no, you're going to do it tonight different. Amen. Praise God. Do we have anybody else can be honest? They may be on Facebook. Or they may be here on the line. Amen. And needs God to heal them too inside. Mm -mm -mm. You have anybody else want to say something? Apostle, you said this is Brenda. You said I uh, need to be healed on the inside. Okay. Um, I I never felt like I was a part of my family. Mm -hmm. I always felt like Mama had gotten the wrong child. Mm -hmm. I never acted like them. Mm -hmm. Um, I was just different. But I was always being picked on. You was different because you chosen by God to be the key to your family's salvation. Amen. 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 And my mom would just, you know, be mean to me a lot. Mm -hmm. I understand. My dad was just, he was, he was, oh my God, he was so good to me. I just loved my daddy. Mm -hmm. And then it was told to me that he wasn't my dad, you know. Mm -hmm. And... But to me, he was my daddy, and my mama wouldn't tell me the truth. She got angry with me and uh, just just got mean to me. I was 18 when I was told that. You know why? But, you know why she mm, liked that? Mm. She wasn't treated right by her father. Right. Even though he wasn't your father, but he loved you like he was your father. As, as much as I knew Apostle, he was my daddy, mm -hmm. you know, because Mama wouldn't tell me no different. But anyway, 
your your mother was jealous of you because she didn't get that love like you got from him. Amen. And and you know, the other other siblings too. Amen. And so that's what it was, and so that's why you like I guess That's why you talk. You notice I talk about David all the time, and there's a whole bunch of family members, and I'm like I guess my family. Amen. But the thing about it is, those are the one that God is using the hands on. Amen. And so that means you you're precious to God, and so that's why the fight was so hard. Your mother did not get the treatment of love from her family. Amen. That's true. Amen. And so what happened? She took it out on y'all, especially you. Amen. And so when Amen. you see when you were handpicked by God to be the key to the family, you'd be the main one picked out. Just like David was was handpicked by God, he was not chosen uh, 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 just to be like his brother. He was chosen by God in his mother's womb to be Amen. what God called him to be. Amen. Amen. I just never, I ne always, I never thought that I was much. You know what I'm saying, Apostle? Well, you never thought of yourself much. That's why you act the way no. you act. You thought really mm -hmm. less of yourself. You your worst enemy. And you, That's know, true. and you thought that maybe, I, maybe it's, it's me why people like that. No, it's not you. It's the enemy mm -hmm. once you feel that way. And you know, you ask yourself, why was I born then? I was going to treat, be treated like this. Right. But see, God chose you. I learned this in heaven. Uh, I didn't go that part. I went to the second part of heaven, where Jesus is in that heavenly hole with God, and he can't stay out too long because God miss him, and so he, he he comes out. But then children come out at the same time. That's why children are very special to God. And, Amen. And they be asked, "Can I come? Can I be born? Can I be born?" Right. Mm -hmm. And so you was one of them. Was going to be born was supposed to be born, uh, was chosen by God to be born to your family. Amen. And, and a lot of time we not we not uh, born to a perfect family. There is no perfect family. Amen. And a lot of time we are born into a family that has issues, and we're the key because the love of God is in us to turn around our family around. Amen. Everybody talk tonight. Amen. So you're the key. Amen. 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 That's that. That is very true, Apostle. Mm -hmm. That's why Amen. you're supposed to act like she act, because uh, what she went through. I said, do you ever find out? What, uh, understand why your sister like she is? <laughs> that, and so you got to forgive her. That's why she act the way she is. She's never felt that she should get all the tension, you know. You know. Mm -hmm. Then everybody else. Amen. And so she was just jealous of you, you know. Amen. All of my pops. I, I just, I just never understood. I'm like, I do everything I can for all of you. Mm -hmm. I'm the fifth child. Yeah. You know, and I have done so for all of them. But see, it's just that's your, nothing in return. I know, baby. But your sister was the main instigator out of all of them, and it's because they all felt that you shouldn't got the attention more from the father. You know. Mm -hmm. And especially your mother, so it from the seed, see a rejection from her mother and father. Right, that's true. And so yes. we're going to break that right now, in Jesus' name. Thank you. Chief. And then, at the same time, we want to forgive your your siblings as well. Amen. Amen. Forgive them. Amen. Yes. Yeah. And let it go. Amen. And uh, stop saying that you wish you was never born. Amen. Right, right, right. Amen. Yeah, that was used to be with me a lot, but then I began to understand. Apostle, I thank God for it. God began to tell me mm -hmm. of the jealousy and mm -hmm. uh, and I, I love him so much. I, I do anything I can for him, even right now today. I, I love him. Right, but it's still in your heart. I wouldn't say it. So you really got to release that because it still bothers you from them not returning the love back to you as you you give them back you give them love you, you see what I'm amen so i'm asking god to help you to forgive them say lord god lord god help me to forgive them help me to forgive them right now right now in jesus name in jesus name thank you lord god heal my heart heal my heart that it will not affect my mind it will not affect my mind 
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. You, it's a son. How many children do you have? I have two biological boys, and I adopted my great niece. Yeah, I give you the son. Mm -hmm. The son, especially the oldest one. What is he doing? He's really trying to get a good job, Apostle. He got a lot going on, praying for him. Mm -hmm. um, he wants to go back to Morehouse. I had sent him to Morehouse College, mm -hmm. and he just kind of, you know, messed up. And now he said, Mama, I'm so sorry that I did not take the blessings of God as sincere as I should have. Mm -hmm. But he wants to go back and finish Morehouse College. Um Apostle, I, I don't know. I'm praying that God bless him. He will. What is he going into? A doctor? I see doctor. He got that's that's his passion. Oh, that's his passion. <laughs> boy, I know uh, I'm in the spirit. He was going oh. to Morehouse uh, to be a lawyer. Uh, yep, the Holy Ghost said it. He need to stick with his passion. He got that in them. He got a caring heart for the people. And yes, God he put do. that in him, and so the devil fights him so hard in his mind. Oh yeah, and then when he fights him out, he begin to start thinking, double thinking, and lose his faith. Uh, uh, the vision that God placed in him. You tell him that God has not forgot. You never told me this, but no <clears> doctor. <throat> you know, you don't have to tell me. The Holy Ghost to tell me what we know, and so he's telling him to go into where God placed him in, and things gonna work out just the way God wants to work out. Because he got a passion for people. He does. For healing. And that's the doctor in him. And he's going to make a good doctor. He's going to make a good surgery doctor. <laughs> a surgery. Oh, uh. Yes. Yes. That's even higher. Now, my baby boy, he, he graduated as a doctor in May. Right. But I know I know we're talking about my oldest son. Yeah, we're talking about him right now because yes. yeah, the the baby boy is, is going on. But the oldest need to be lifted up. He said the one son. Yeah. He he's stagnated right now, Apostle. He gonna be released. He he, he feel he feel that he, he he's feel so guilty. He's like you sometimes. He's worst, mm -hmm. his worst enemy. He got a lot of your ways. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so God's gonna heal him. In Jesus' name. And he, he needs that father image. What happened to his father? Uh, my ex, he he was one of those kind of men's apostle. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, I had him. I, you know, I was pregnant with him, and my mm -hmm. ex was on drugs, and I had to leave. Right. But then when he got a chance to meet his son, because I loved our son. Right. He didn't like him because I loved. Who your Does ex? Because he feel that I should love nobody more than him. But, you know, I raised this baby. You haven't been around. I'm going to love my child. Well, have you ever thought about... I was talking about that. When a man does not get the love from his mother, his father, he wants that love from his wife. Yes. And so what happened is they have a tendency to get possessive and jealous. Oh, he was bad with it. Oh. Yes, that's what it is. Controlling. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it got to the point of controlling, the marriage had to get out because when a person gets controlling, they can hurt you. Amen. Right. Not just right. only mentally, but physically. Right, right, absolutely. And it's, just I, I like the, it's like just like the spirit of jealousy that was carried on. People know the spirit of jealousy is a bad spirit. It's a... Yeah, it's a little bit witchcraft. Look what happened to Abe and Cain. Uh, Amen. And and God did not love Abe no more. He loved Cain. But the difference Amen. is, Cain gave a better offering. Not Cain. Mm -hmm. Abe gave a better offering than Cain did. Amen. He just gave uh, what he thought. But Abe gave the best, sincerely, because he gave a sacrifice of, of healing, deliverance for his life. Amen. Amen. And then uh, uh, your 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 ex-husband was so mean because he felt that why should he get more he feel that like he should have got more and he wasn't treated the way he was so the next thing when they do they take it on, on the person that's close to them to love and make them feel the way they felt miserable amen mm -hmm. and that only that they make them make that what they do they try to make their life uh, uh worse than theirs that's what's happening amen 
and you know what, Apostle, when I, I left him, I was pregnant with our, with my baby, our oldest son. And uh -huh. uh, he didn't see him until he was uh, going turn uh, 15. Mm -hmm. And he, he really, he came back, tried, you know, I let him come back. He wanted to meet his dad. I mm -hmm. let him do all that. I never spoke bad about his dad. He got a chance to see his dad for himself. Uh -huh. But um, he, first time he saw him, he's 14, going on 15. Uh -huh. And he, he, my ex just never, it's his only child. Never wanted nothing to do with him. Never. But that, just, I, I just told you jealousy. Yeah, he's very jealous of him. He even right the, now. Yeah, wait. Hey, See, when they don't get the proper love, they take it out on the closest thing to the love, the children. Why should I treat him any better? I wouldn't treat like that. So let him know the hard not way, like I did. And he will always tell me how you just pamper him. You, I said, I love him. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nothing wrong with that. I, lo I love both of them. I love all my children. Right. You know, I love my children. I... I do every do everything I could for him. I, okay. I'm praying for my older son that God would make a way for him to get the finances to go back to Morehouse. He is he making a way. He's already doing it. That's why we talked about it tonight. Amen. So where is your ex husband at now? He's in uh, his hometown, in Arkansas. Did he remarry? I don't know. They said he did, but I don't know for sure, Apostle. Well, we gonna let go of things and forgive him too. Oh, amen. Forgive him because amen. He, he was like that because of his childhood. Amen. That's why you amen. see me. Go ahead and go in the past a lot because if the past is not healed, it's hard for people to go go past go past the present in order to get into the future. And you know what, Apostle? I, you know, I I told him. I said, you know, I forgive you of everything. And, uh huh. But he he won't he won't forgive me because he feel like that I betrayed him by loving my right. children and I'm like I told him I said I can't help you with that. Mm -mm. No, he I'm not need, he, he, need, he need a spiritual help, and so right, he, right, he's right. trying to take out once again of his childhood over y'all. You know that's all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it. So we just pray, I'm, forgive him, and let it go, and then he get totally healed. And Amen. That, and that he forgive his family, his parents as well, and that he don't go to hell in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because I, I I went on, you know, as a single mom, I raised my children. Right. I understand. Amen. But Amen. It, awesome. Let it go, and God got another husband for you anyway. Amen. I'm looking forward. And that's what those boys looking. <laughs> that's what the boys looking for. Uh, uh, is missing the father image there right now. I don't Amen. care what your woman, a woman can never take the place of a man to be the father. Amen. I mean, Deborah was that had the spirit to, God gave me the spirit to either with the men. And he gave me the same thing because I track a lot of men. I call them my sons. Amen. And uh, like woman that loose, men that loose. <laughs> In me. And so I have that uh, mothering, and uh, not a father, mothering that can help a uh, 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 the men life turn around because of the mother in me amen but uh god's gonna place a man in your life a white man <laughs> i was looking at i i know he's mixed i don't know look like a little asian or something in there and you had a dream about some you had somebody an asian man a spanish something and uh, uh a man gonna come in your life mixed but he's he's very lovable because he loved jesus Amen. And I've been watching a lot of mixed marriage. And God, in God, in God's eyes, there's no color. If God wants me to marry a white man, mixed marriage, I'm going to marry. I am, I'm not into color. I'm into what God wants. Amen. Amen. So he's going to bring this man in your life. Amen. I know you were talking about some Indian. Did you say about Indian? India. Indian. I, I, India. I, uh, Indian. No, my uh, dad. Yeah, uh, a lot of Indian in him. Mm -hmm. well, anyway, this man is coming your life soon. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we just thank God, and God's bringing yeah. that peace upon you even more. Amen. And 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 the thing about it, 
Don't be concerned how people think about you. Amen. You know, people going to accept you and they're going to accept you. Right? I know that's right, Apostle. Amen. And you got to go on with life. You can't let that get to you. And you're going to life. Amen. Because God has a better plan for you. And your future is awesome in God. Amen. Amen. And uh, you didn't do nothing to them. <clears throat> your sister. I know you was bad with her, but I told you how she was. She liked that. You got to forgive yeah. her. And, and we, we pray for all of them. That yes. their life would turn around. Because you're the key yeah. to them. And whatever God got to do to turn your life around. <clears throat> keep them from going to hell. We ask God to do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Apostle, I'd like to ask you to pray for my um, my great nephew, my um, my niece's son. He's uh -huh. 31. They rushed him to the hospital in St. Louis, um, to Barnes Hospital. Uh, they uh, tested him. He got COVID. He can't hardly breathe. And um, he's just 31 years old. It's, it's just, I just lost a 31-year-old great uh, nephew. Uh-huh. You know, um, a week ago, and now this one been rushed to the hospital in mm -hmm. St. Louis. Well, we just oh, they take have COVID. Well, again, there ain't nothing uh, powerful than than the Holy Ghost fire healing. I know he that's right. He has to visit in the hospital. He will not die before time. Yes. I find premature death in yes. Jesus' name, and I speak divine healing. There's no long distance healing that he is healed from COVID. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. And he's going to yes. start breathing. I bind that death angel I see around him right now. I see a yes. dark death angel trying to take him out. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, he shall live. I ask God for mercy and grace upon him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Amen. And Thank heal you. his heart. I keep picking up. He's a stubborn young man. Apostle, yes, he is. He was it's, it's, he's stubborn. It's a reason for it. His mother, he was molested. He yeah. was abused. Yes, and that's why he's stubborn it, and bullheaded. So we ask yeah. God to heal him. Because he, he's mad. Why should I, why it was born to go through all that? Thank right, God he, he's in a diaper now, Apostle. Well, that's okay. God can take something, no, nothing. I never give me pray for this woman. She was in a coma for a long time. And she came out of coma. And she was ready to go. But then God turned around and she wanted to live. So we pray that we pray that he wants to live because he, he wants to go home. He wants to leave. Yes, because he, my niece put him on all kind of uh, psych medication. He didn't need that apostle. He just needed her to love him. That's what he needs. But that's okay. We're going to ask the Lord to pour his love on him. Amen. Amen. And Amen. pray that he would change his heart that he don't want to die. There is hope for him. There's someone that love him can love him more than his mama, daddy, sister, brother, niece, all of them. And his name Amen. is Jesus. And Jesus wants to love him and protect him. So Amen. ask God Thank to have a visitation and a dream. Let him see Jesus, you know, and uh, uh, show the love of Jesus in him, and that Amen. he wants to live and not die, and declare the works of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. So it's no problem of healing COVID, you know, off of him. It's just that we got to pray for him. he wants to live. That's it. So we pray that he will want to live and not die because God got plans for him and God loves him. Nobody can love him more than God. Amen. Amen. And that he's not alone. Amen. Amen. And we pray that right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. And we thank you, it's done right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for uh, the encouragement as for my oldest son, Apostle. God was just with him today, talking to him today. I didn't know that. He said, I know. No, I, didn't. I don't mm -hmm. know a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't know nothing but the Holy Ghost. It does amaze Amen. me. It must amaze y'all. But that's the Amen. one that mean that prophetic word was, y'all heard Wednesday. That's, that's how God used me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I, I think I know he's gonna bless me, bless us with the finances too. Oh yeah, he will. He will. He's already on the way. Amen. Well, th uh, thank you, Jesus. He's already on the way. And Apostle, you know my oldest son. He's thirty-four years old. Well, it's okay. It's never too late. Mm-mm. Okay. It's not. Okay, it's done in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Apostle. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, God bless you, precious. Amen. I don't know why I smell shrimp. Has anybody got a taste for shrimp on here? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because I had some today. I went to Hungry Crab and ate dinner. Oh, yeah, because I smell shrimp and, and uh, uh, crab all day. I'm smelling that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, boy, the y'all come down here and see, but I can tell you, the Holy Ghost. I'm smelling it right there like I want some food that has shrimp and all that, that crabs, all that. You the one to have it. Yes, ma'am. I, I just got done eating. Oh, and here I'm smelling it over here. And you on the way <laughs> outside. And I'm, I, I just smell um, it. I'm actually in um, Orlando, outside of Orlando, Florida right now. Oh, wow. You're not that far from me. Yeah, you're in Fort Lauderdale. I mean, I'm right Fort Lauderdale, right? Uh, no, I'm in uh, Port St. Lucie. Okay, Port St. Lucie. Yeah, but I, I have a, uh, a testimony. But I, I thank you. I, I, I had you uh, pray for my daughter because I want her to go back and tell Phil, uh -huh. nurse and Phil, and she wouldn't. And it's been about a year now, and she called me yesterday, and she told me, I got some good news. I'm like, what is it? And she said that she started Monday in her field. So I'm like, look at God. Praying Did he after move? the prayer. Yes. 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 He moved. He got, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> yeah. And you so see, I think he, he let you know he's real. Because <laughs> I'm smelling shrimp. I'm smelling crab. I'm smelling seafood. Was, yeah. was his food fried? Your food was fried? No, it's bored. I ain't a uh, bored. Whatever um, I'm smelling, and you can smell the shrimp. I can smell the shrimp. I can, now you got me hungry for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Amen. Hey, and, and it's you. You said that's me. See, I'm talking to you. I'm smelling it. I didn't know that. That was God. I mean, boy, oh, the Lord is really moving me. <laughs> it's really getting strong. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just thank Him for it. Praise God. I smell it all over here. Smell it all in here, like it, we're cooking it. Amen. Oh, wow. Amen. Yes, that's the Lord. That's the Lord. For well, God be the glory. It's like it, the the um a bottle fell down in there when uh, uh our prophetess Pat was talking about her um uh, mother, and that was angels uh, tell me let her know that everything's okay and he's there for her, you know the mother, and I saw this shadows of angels around here. Amen. Praise God, he's here, cause I'm so calm and peaceful. His presence is strong. So that's where the funeral was in Orlando? Your grandma? The, the, the funeral is in Chicago uh, next Friday. I, I fly there uh, Thursday. I okay. really didn't want to go because they just, the family is just going crazy. This, you know, going against each other. And I really didn't want to go. But I'm gonna I'm go because that's my grandma helped raise me, and that's that's that was my heart. Okay, it's understandable. My grandma raised me too. Yeah, now you go. Yeah. It's gonna be you'll be a blessing. You need to go because uh, I'm praying that God would use you in anointing because a lot of division in your family needs to be healed. And yes. so I'm asking God to touch your family because a lot of family, even my family, got division and walk in the Lord. You can walk powerful in the Lord, and you still, your family got problems. They got problems. And and they don't want to talk to me too much because I talk about, uh, uh, they know where I live the life. They ain't living the life. But I'm not going to give up on them and turn over to the devil. Amen. So ask God to give you strength, and your family turn around in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Turn around. Praise God. And I give you script and you go there to the funeral in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because I'm definitely like, don't know if I want to go or not, but I you have just to don't go. want to be with that mess going on. <laughs> right, exactly. I really don't. I, I, I like you. I don't like other foolish when it comes to family. I don't know why they cut the food when, when, when funerals are. But they do. They go on like that, but. You don't have to go, but it's best that you do go. Amen. Yeah, I just pray for my safe travels, my wife and I. You're going to have a safe travel there. Yeah. And there and back yeah. home. And the angel's going to be around you to protect y'all and shield you from any harm or danger, but shield you from any COVID or anything that's out there in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Am
Amen. I believe and receive it. Thank Amen. You. God bless you, precious. God bless you. Okay, right now I could go to my, but we need to take up, uh, do our communion. It's important. Uh, communion is a healing. Amen. All those that can take communion, please come up and then I'll uh, get back to the rest of you. Amen. Please uh, uh, ask the administrator to have you come up. Amen. We ask God to touch uh, Sham Sham Shamon House 7, Dr. Amen. That God touched uh, where she live at in Carolina. There's heavy snow there. And God will protect her and her family. In the name of Jesus. And the lights will come back on. They need the lights because they need the heat there. You know. And so we ask God to work out a miracle where she at right now in Carolina. The lights will come back on for they need the heat. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. We're going to take a million. Get your bread out. And get your uh, water out to drink. Amen. It's still stained to, uh, to the blood. Amen, everybody. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, huh? Amen. Some of them have grape juice. Whatever they got, grape juice. I see, uh, I see, uh, uh, my son, uh, Eric on the line. How you doing, Eric? God bless you, uh, Apostle. How you doing? I'm blessed. I got you on here for a reason, didn't I? <laughs> yes, ma'am. You faithful and be just got like that. Hallelujah. I want you to say a quick prayer for the uh for the uh communion. Go ahead on. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this uh, union on tonight. Lord God, we thank you that through this communion, Lord God, we take up a, a, a bread of your flesh and we drink up a cup of your blood so that we could be closer to you, Lord God, because you shed your blood for our sins. Lord God, we just thank you for Apostle Parchment. Lord God, we ask you, Lord God, to continue to pour your anointing oil, your fire, your glory upon her and us in this room lord we thank you for all of the blessings lord god that you're bestowing upon us on tonight lord god we thank you lord god for kingdom marriages we thank you for deliverance we thank you for being perfected and being refined in your glory and in your fire and lord god we ask you to cover everybody up under your power for our precious blood cover up our children cover our loved ones cover us on our jobs bring our families closer together lord god give us the strength lord god to be obedient and to be submissive to your will and your way and to help us to present our bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto you which is our reasonable service lord and we thank you in jesus name amen amen we praise God. So this intake the uh the, the bread represent the body. He took 39 lashes so everything that we're going through will be prevented because he did it for us too, for it will be prevented. So let's take this in the name of Jesus in remembrance of what he did and give him thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. We take the mm, that's the assurance. Jesus is out. We take the uh the drink represent the blood covenant and without the shedding of the blood there's some remission of sin we thank God for the blood that we under the new covenant a powerful covenant strong covenant in Jesus name so let's drink the water because you turn the water into wine let's drink the uh, grape juice which you have in Jesus name everybody hallelujah somebody Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The sun came in my heart. Lord, make me a sanctuary. <laughs> in other words, you want to be that living Episcopal and the sanctuary that people can see Jesus in you more. Amen. And as you allow that, Amen. God will do that and be a light to this world in Jesus' name. Amen. Kiana, I talked to you early. I only talked to certain people 
I was up this morning, and sometimes y'all may get a word of God for me, and uh, she was telling me about what God did. Can you tell that, precious? Kiana? Yes, ma'am. Can you tell that you was, uh, God blew your mind this morning? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, I had a dream, and in the dream, God told me that he, um, that I, I will always be blessed beyond measures. He told me that in the dream. An apostle came this morning in my inbox and gave me <clears throat> some encouragement word. And within her message, she said that you are blessed beyond measure. <laughs> Did not know what God was saying, but he had me on there. And I was telling Prophet Tina, I don't know that told Natalie. Anyway, I always tell Prophet Tina that the same because she's a, a Tina and a sister, but they both, I treat them the same, both my daughters. Amen. Because I love them so much. Amen. And um, I love y'all all too as well. Don't forget that. But they're just under me. They've been with me for a long time. And so, um, uh, uh, Prophet Tina says, Apostle, you you was on the lines of, with a lot of people. I said, yeah, I had to stop right there. Because my hand, because the Father God was telling me something. It's amazing as I was typing, <coughs> it's just like He take over my hand and begin to minister to people. And someone didn't get on tonight. I don't know why, but they was in tears. They was, my God, this is right on target. Amen. So sometimes, don't be surprised that God will have me to minister to you unexpectedly. That's how He does. Amen. Church, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So I move by the Holy Spirit. Amen. My life is not my own. It belongs to Jesus. Amen. I don't know half the stuff I be doing, but the Holy Ghost knows it. <laughs> amen. amen. And uh, I got favored there when they pick up some of my mother medicine. And it used to be 135, this Aquilus, because she had an operation. It's like a blood thing that'll keep you uh, from having a stroke and heart thing. And my mama doing well. And I told her I ain't going to pay the whole thing. That'd be five, $405 for medicine. That's a lot of money. Huh? And it didn't, hey, and it didn't come in generic. It don't, it's no generic. Well, lo and behold, I, I changed back to uh, the insurance I was with because my doctor is a Christian. I have been blessed with doctors. Y'all know that? I've been blessed with doctors. So I, even when I go to the doctor, I say, for God be the glory. I get a chance to minister to the people, the nurses and everybody. <laughs> and the doctor, we have a, a time about the Lord as well. But anyway, I just praise God. Amen. So I went there to uh, get the uh, prescription. And it was $45 for, for 100 something to Isn't that good? That's awesome. Amen. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that's a testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise I God. testify on everything that God do, do for me. Amen. And I appreciate it. I said, Mommy, I was expecting more than this because I was paying more before. And when there was $45, ain't God good? Amen. 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 And God will give you favor if you obey Him. He will blow your mind out of the, out of the uh, blue. So right now we're going to give some, get some testimonies. Let's get some testimonies. Amen. Who got testimony? Apostle, I have two quick hey. ones. Okay, go ahead, Precious. Okay, Um, on last Friday, I was believing God for favor for when I go to the car dealership to get my car. And you told me that favor is already mine mm -hmm. because I have the faith to believe it. And when I got there, they discounted my the vehicle that I wanted over six thousand dollars. Look at Jesus. I bless God for that. Oh my God, praise God. Yes, Lord. I had just um sold my my first fruit seed mm -hmm. and God turned it around and I got immediately got a over six thousand dollars harvest off of my seed. So I bless God for that. Mm hmm And on Wednesday you told me that God was going to work it out with my leader. And the next day she called, she reached out to me and she told me that she released me to come to the class. Look at God. Yes, yeah, she said that she trusts you. Praise so, God. Do you tell her how I feel about her? 
Do you still have Yes, ma'am. Her? Yes, ma'am. We had the conversation, and I told her, and she said, okay. She said, if she, if um, you feel that I will learn and grow from this class and it will help groom me, that she released me to come, and she trusts you. Isn't that good? Do you see what God is? I didn't see. That's how we spoke. We don't steal people from the ministry. A lot of you are here. Amen. And that's why at some point, I believe in respecting your leader. That's why I'm blessed. Amen. Amen. And I told her, so you tell your leader. I said, she's concerned about you. That's all. And it's good to have a leader that's concerned about you. Amen. And some people don't, don't appreciate leaders concerned. Did I tell me they said somebody you said me? I said, not me. I just, you were glad you got a leader that loves you and tell you the truth and looking out for your soul. And they, they, because they can't, a leader is responsible for the soul that God placed them under them. And they won't do, and, and, and uh, they got to point you to Jesus and do what's right. And you know, I said, you blessed, you have, and look what God did. Oh my God. I tell you, he blowing my mind. <laughs> he blew my mind. So it's paid to be honest and everything. And that's why God blessing her. She, I was telling Prophet Tina about, uh, oh, excuse me. And I tell Natalie too, uh, that uh, Kiana, she walks in faith. And that pleases God. A young lady. She believed Amen. that. Look, they, I said, and if I, I didn't know I was going to minister to her. And God said, I'm going to bless her a young man because of faith and trust. She's going to be a blessing to others. Amen. Hallelujah. And I said, okay, God. Tell her that. He said, because all I can see, because she walks in integrity. Amen. She walks in integrity. And she's a total example for the Jesus in her. You know, some some of she remind me of me a little bit, you know, integrity, amen, and people can't take that, amen. And so uh, I see that in her, and she ain't seen nothing yet, what God going to do with her. I think he told oh. you you and your husband going to be apostles, didn't he say that? Yes, ma'am, mm -hmm. that's what you, that's what you told me. Mm -hmm. And you are. Amen, I believe it. Yes, yeah, yeah you're going to meet your husband soon, too. See, amen. she believe everything God tell me, that's why I'm moving fast. And you got to believe when God tell me something, it shall come to pass. It's already on the path. And she don't hesitate for God be the glory. She don't procrastinate and say, Apostle, I believe. Amen. She see when she planted the $100 seed, I told her to do that. That was God. And so when I tell you, God knows how much money y'all have. Amen. But if you lied to God when he asked you to plant, uh, plant, you can plant more, do it. You'll miss your blessings. Amen. She was obedient and planted a hundred dollars seed, and she did it. Amen. I said there's some people out there can plant a thousand dollars. Do I don't want your money now, and I ain't got nothing high what I do with your money. If I did, you think God gonna use me like He did? Hello, everybody. Amen. 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 So I do it. I'm not working. I'm for God. It take care of me, and I put it on my, I put it on my ear and number. You know, so I don't hide nothing from God, y'all. Hello. Amen. And I take care of me and my mother. And Tina knows in that my car, whatever I just church, I, I put it on, on my thing. Amen. So I don't hide. And so God bless me. Amen. But that's a blessing what God did. Oh my God. You ain't seen nothing yet. Hallelujah. I know you want to move in the house. Just wait a little bit because you're getting ready to meet your husband, okay? Amen. Yes, Apostle. <laughs> you're getting that too. <laughs> You don't have no children, do you? No, ma'am. But you have two twins. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. You got twins in your family? Yes, ma'am. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Holy Ghost. <laughs> you gonna have twins, and you gonna have a girl and boy. What you want? Amen. Yes. Yes, Apostle. He gonna give you your heart desire because your faith and his obedience to him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So when you you uh when your pastor asks to plant a seed, plant it in there, all right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You made your first thing. She's looking for building funds. B building fund, building. She wants a new building. Amen. And God's gonna give it to her. Tell her that. Amen. Yes, ma'am. He's gonna open things. And it's going to take a lot of pressure off her. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Apostle, you are, so, you are so right. She just told me yesterday, she shared with me that her blood pressure has been high because she's been 
stressing. So I received that word for her that the pressure is about to be released off her. Tell her that. Tell her God is Amen. God is 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 pleased with her, and there's a lot of jealousy of other leaders against her. And God told me to tell her Isaiah fifty four seventeen. No weapon formed against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, Apostle. Thank you so Tell much. Tell her to be encouraged. The blessing is going to come upon her like number four. And don't forget the dreams. She's not just going to Af Africa. Africa is one of the key, like mine, India, and I see Pakistan and other countries. She's going to go, and she's going she to be going to Israel too. All right. So. Tell them God's also you are in the vein. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> and what are you telling me? I'm in the vein. That's what the, what they told me. Did you hear my? Uh, you heard that my prophecy? I didn't look for on 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 Wednesday night. Yes, ma'am. I was on. Do you hear what, what the man say? That the truth all in my vein, and that's yes. to speak to me. I don't uh, know what's going on, but I give God the glory. The Holy Spirit speaks. Amen. And so, you're going to have a beautiful marriage. You're going to be able to. Minister to young young people as well, and you have such a desire for young people, and it is needed. Amen. Amen, Apostle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you still gonna be connected. I was telling. I know she you belongs on her ministry, but I'll be your spiritual mother too. <laughs> Amen. I can use another one. <laughs> yes. Well, she knows where I'm coming from. She knows I ain't trying to steal. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And you know, one day she's gonna invite me to preach where she at. Amen. Amen. So that's your heart desire. You want to see me? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I hope they're ready for me. <laughs> there will be some changes for God be the glory. Amen. Amen. It's needed. It's needed apostle. Yeah, she needs that because people has really came against her and tried to mess her up. They even prayed that she died, but she's telling her she's gonna live and not die. Glad it was the Lord. And Jesus Hallelujah. Died. Yes, Lord. Tell her be encouraged. God is on the side, all right? Yes, ma'am, I will. That's good that you can go, another leader can encourage someone and they have the have the, uh, uh, disciples coming to, under you. And you let them know, I'm not trying to steal you from your, your, your ministry. It's to encourage, because we need each other. The hands need the foot, the foot needs the nose. And you can imagine that if ministry will come together and stop fighting one another, there's enough for everybody. Boy, you can work together and it really can do a whole lot of changes in the church. Amen. 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 And also, God's going to put some money in your pocketbook, in your bank account. Amen. Amen. I really believe it and receive it, Apostle. Amen. Oh, hey, I tell her. She's going to come back and testify. It's and I'm going to plant a seed. <laughs> Go ahead and plant your seed now. See, she, I had to tell she to be this. She planted her seed. And I saw some money come in her, her bank account. Unexpected money. Ain't no more money. Amen. And it's going to help take care of a lot of things that you ask for. Bills and other stuff, said the Lord. He's going to cancel out your debts. Amen. Amen. I ain't got to, I don't, I don't have to say it no more because she believes me. See, watch her come back. She's going to come back and testify again. Amen. It's already done. Church, amen. 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 You, you get like come, plant your seed. Don't forget, plant, God said, plant your the $100 seed. And if you can do more, plant it. Amen. This is good ground. You see how God used me? I don't know nothing about none of y'all. Amen. I'm here to do what God tell me to do. Amen. So plant your seeds. All right, everybody. Uh, Prophet Ned was in Zale and uh, PayPal and Prophet Ned, you look quiet. Wake up now. What is it? Zale, PayPal? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Zale and PayPal? Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. All right. Cash out. Okay, cash out. Don't forget to register, y'all. People coming in. I don't want y'all to miss it because... You know how God used me for His glory too. We are gonna have a good time. I got I got to try to grasp everything in one hour, because you know when I get in that word and talk about things, you're gonna understand the, the how. Not only you're gonna understand the gifts, you're gonna understand how to flow in the spirit. You ask them, how do apostle walk that way in the spirit? And so I'm gonna share you what the Holy Spirit put in me, and you're gonna be able to learn to flow in faith in the spirit. How about that? Amen. 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 
pray to God, then you be able to uh to walk more in spirit, understand like I do. Amen. Sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Church, amen. 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 Okay, as you plant your amen. seed, everybody plant your seed. Amen. We are going to go to next. Amen. To uh the pop, the dreams and vision. Uh, anybody got more testimony testi testimonies? Apostle, I want to um, testify if it's okay. Of course. Yeah. Do you not know testify? When we testify, we got the devil on the run. Do y'all know that? Amen. The more you testify, the more favor God give you. That's why I told Kiana, I said, the, 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 when I told the Lord said, the blessing are beyond measure for her. Because she always testified. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and testify, precious. Amen. Um. I just want to give God praise. Um, I had been uh, going through a little warfare, mm -hmm. and I had to take a course in order to keep my real estate license. Mm -hmm. And I was praying, and I said, God, I'm a dummy compared to you, but I know you have all the answers. Mm -hmm. And if I didn't pass this test, I would have lost my license. And so I just give God praise. I passed, and I know it's nobody but Jesus. I did not know. But God did know. Amen. So I just want to give him all the praise and honor and glory. And Apostle, of course, also always prays with you. Um, she don't have a problem coming in agreement. And it's good to have somebody that's coming in agreement um, that you know is truly connected to the divine. Amen. To Amen. Jesus. Praise Amen. God. Amen. So I give God all the praise. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Anybody else? Yes, Apostle, I have a testimony. Go ahead, Precious. Uh, yeah, so the other night, uh, my daughter and I, my daughter and I were just praying, and my daughter, she just continued to thank God. Like, her posture, she didn't ask God for anything, and it blessed me. She was thanking God for her teacher, her parents, oh. you know, even the hotel that we were staying in, thanking Praise God, God for the people working there. So I just wanted to share that, that her posture of Thanksgiving, her heart was so filled with Thanksgiving, it blessed me. So that's my testimony. Um, and she's only six years old, so I give God praise for her. Oh, the little prophetess, huh? <laughs> oh, what's, what's her name? Emily. That's my oldest, Emily. Oh, I love, you know, you know I love children. Mm-hmm. Amen. I Amen. love them. And I'm, I'm believing that we get a whole lot of them at the, ch at the church, at, you know, regular church. Amen. Amen. I just love them. I think they're precious. They say some of the, I mean, they say, don't know dumb. They say some, they say right from God. <laughs> they blow your mind. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I love it. I'll never forget when we had just have service for, for I met Tina and I was have service with the kids. And they, I, I had service at night. I don't have that no more, but I had service at night and, uh, at the place. And they would stay. They didn't want to go home. Because they know that I was going to, uh, if nobody eat, we was going to go out and get somebody to bring the food back to eat. And then they just love church. They love church. Amen. That's, you know, they, they love their, their leader, me, and they love church. And I used to have, uh, what you call those, those talks, pep talks. And it was between me and them. And if God want me to tell the parents, I tell them. They used to tell me some stuff, and, I, and I'm glad they trust me to tell me. And uh, I love children. They are so special. Amen. I love babies and children. Because God loves them. Amen. They're so precious. So anybody else want to uh, have a testimony or have a dream and vision? I have a dream, Go ahead, Precious. So I'm, I'm going to try to not be so long with it because it was a really long dream. Um, but I was like in a school building working, mm -hmm. um, helping my supervisor who was in turn helping one of her coworkers mm -hmm. attach some photos to the proper contact information on these papers. Mm -hmm. um, and so I noticed it was getting late, so I said I had to go because I had to go pick up my child. And as I was leaving, there were three uh, three women standing like in front of the door blocking my exit. Um, two of the women were kind of like off to the side having their own private conversation. Mm -hmm. And then this other woman, um, you know, I had said, excuse me, and she wound up holding the door for me. And I said, thank you. And she said, what, no tip? I said, 
no, I kind of just ignored her and kept walking to my car. Mm -hmm. And she followed me. And she was like, so you're not going to give me a tip for holding the door open for you? I said, no, I don't have anything. She was like, yeah, right. You uh, you just came out of this um, abortion clinic. And I was just like, I said to her, I said, you a liar. I said, God said that children are inheritance from God. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and some white guy was standing over by like a van in the parking lot calling to her. So I kind of sped up to my car because I didn't know what the situation was. And then I saw like four guys coming down off of a hill kind of clowning and stuff. Um, so when I had gotten to my car, I kind of, you know, drove and out of nowhere, there was like this um, black and red, almost mechanical knife that came at me that cut my windshield and then winded up cutting my arm as I was driving and I was trying to floor it but for some reason the uh it, it wouldn't pick up speed okay um, and then I began to ask God I said God what is going on like what's what's going on and then I just began to pray and then I woke up so what's going on the enemy is trying to destroy the plants of God in your life and he's trying to take you out as well but it ain't gonna work amen amen so the Bible says in uh, Psalm 21 11 the Meshiva's plot that they have planned for you will not work and that's the trick of the devil amen amen and it tells also that there's someone around you uh, uh, hoping that you'll die and um, a lot of times we don't know people we think we know people and I was saying this early and so You'd be surprised who's praying against you. Who is for you and against you. Yeah. Who's for you and against you. Amen. Amen. And the one that we don't think is against us. Is the one that really is against us. Amen. Right. Amen. So when you was going to the car. The, the, uh, the, she opened the door like I did a lot for you. And I opened the door of the car. Means I have opened. Told people about you. And now you think you all this now. And. Mm. You didn't return. You understand where I'm coming from? Yes. Yes, Pastor. There's someone you know about that. Someone that you already know about is like that. But mm -hmm. but what happened is it will not be what they think it should be, said the Lord. So Amen. you will not be cut. So the plot that they scheme, the Holy Ghost is scheme, like, amen. He said, it's your surroundings. That's what it is. It's your surroundings people you never thought is coming against you and so God is reversing this that those plans would not work in Jesus name Amen. you know how some people you do a favor for and you did a lot of faith for a lot of people you understand Amen. and you you will get the you will get the shirt off your back to a few of them but they ain't gonna do that you you always give it out but they never get back to you but you give out to them you know what I'm saying Amen. and God say he can reverse that around. He already told you. You got healed tonight. And he's going to have people start giving back to you. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. They won't be able to stop the plans they have for you. Because when they're trying to cut your hand. Cut, they're trying to cut everything. Stop everything. So they feel if they can stop it. And stop it, and, and, and try to stop it. By you know cutting it off. It, it's, gonna, it's not going to work. But God said what he got for you is for you. And nothing they can do about it. Amen. And, and that's us also talking to you. I also see some land. They're trying to cut that away from you. So land and property. And this is the year that people that uh, don't realize they got land and property that was owed to them. And it's your name on it. So um, so family side. Your mama. Your papa. Your pop, both of them got some money on the family side. And God's going to release that. I told you about the money coming to you earlier. Amen. I and, believe it. And so God said, it shall be done just what he told you. Amen. I Hallelujah. receive it. Your transportation. <laughs> your transportation. Your, your, your transportation. It's going to give you new transportation. Oh Have you figured out what you want? It should be what kind you want? Yes. Yeah. What you want? I want the Lincoln Aviator Black Label Grand Touring. <laughs> I saw black SUV. I didn't know what was it. I sure <laughs> did. Well, you getting it, said the Lord. Amen. Amen. 
He gonna give you favor. Just like you get Kiana. See how Kiana is? I love to hear testimony. She immediately she don't hesitate. She believe and receive when God tell me something. Amen. And if you believe and receive, you're gonna see it happen, said the Lord. Amen. I receive it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. It's done. Amen. Praise Thank the you. Lord. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Prophet is Natalie. Yes, ma'am. You're getting a new transportation. Amen. I receive it. And God is turning around things in your life, especially on your job. Hallelujah. And it's going to be open the door for Florida for you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Because that's God's plan, purpose, and your husband and children. Amen. And you're going to get that SUV that you wanted. Amen. I don't know what you want. I just see a black kind of escalator, a, 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 a black, a big one SUV, a black one. Amen. I receive it. It's awesome. Amen. Amen. Someone just called me today. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, I called her Ashley, and she told me she said when you're ready to uh, trade your car, let me know, and I'll get you connected with the guy. Like, Favor's on you. There won't be no problem. Favor. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said you won't have long to make the payments because it's going to give you debt free. Amen. Your faithfulness, obedience to God first, and your faithfulness to the ministry for eight years, not ten years. Is it ten years? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ten years. So you've been alone, and Tina been 18 years. Ooh. There's many times they try to talk you to leave the church, didn't they? Amen. But Amen. you wouldn't listen to them. Amen. See? Amen. And your mate ain't going to never be the same. God's working on him. <laughs> Amen. Because he got the pastor anointed on him. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, it's done. And Prophet Tina? Amen. Praise get God. Ready, Amen. Get ready for your transportation. Amen. I'm ready. <laughs> Amen. I receive it and believe it in the name of Jesus. And Hallelujah. money. And some money. Amen. And money that was held up for you is coming. It's coming Amen. from there's money on your job. I've told you that before. Yes, you have. And they got no trust but ain't no no money. It's in the Amen. thousands. Yes, it's coming to you soon. You're I believe every Amen. Mm -hmm. I believe it, Apostle. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Any more dreams? Amen. Vision. I thank God for the healing tonight. Oh, that was the highlight. Ooh. Amen. Apostle, um, I, I would like to ask you to pray uh, for me for something, please, Apostle. Okay, what you want to pray for, precious? Um... I've been talking to the Lord about I wanted to uh, go on a fast. And um, I've been, you know, my stomach bothers me a lot. And I just feel like if I just start fasting again like I used to more and, um, you know, the water fast for three days a week, whatever. I, I just must, I just want to okay. get closer to okay. the Lord. But you got a lot of acid in your stomach. You know that? Amen. You got like gastroenteritis. What's it, gastroenteritis? Yes, I know what you're talking about. Huh? Yes, I, I know what you're talking about. How about you I'm, have? Yes, I'm trying to hear. Yeah, you don't need to uh, go into much of water fast right now. You just be careful what you eat, all right? Okay. All right. All right now because uh, you need the food, certain food like uh, spinach and uh, broccoli. Amen. And you like okra. You like okra? No. Mm -mm. I love green, so. <laughs> <laughs> I like okra. Okra is good for you. Amen. Well, the greens is going to flush your system out. Amen. Okay. So eat that, and you don't need to just go with this water. Because you need that food in your body because you get weak right now. Oh, okay. Amen. Yes. And we don't want that to happen. We have to use wisdom when we're going to fast. You know, and so it's going to clear up, flush your system out. You know, keep the vegetables in you, you know. I put my vegetable in my, uh, uh, 
Is that what you call that frying? Uh, on the air fryer? Mm hmm Okay. I don't know what's in okra, but you, uh, uh, people may not like okra, but something in okra. No, no, no. Okra has some benefits. Amen. Okay. I've got to uh, have somebody teach me how to cook it. I, I don't know how to cook it. Oh, it's easy. Okra is simple. Okay. You can broil okra and, 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 and cook it. Just put your seasoning in. Amen. You can cook it with um, bacon. I get turkey bacon. And a little onion. Amen. Okay. And it's good. Okay, somebody said just boil. <laughs> amen. That was my mama. Oh, amen. Uh, okay, you amen. Boil, you could fry. Yep. Fried foods I can't eat if they make me sick. No, she, I ain't asking to fry. Mama, you the one that's to fry. Now, I told her that she needs to, um, you know, those fryers, you can use that. And. Yeah, I have the air fryer. Okay, it's it's you need. I see why God had me to go there. Okra is low in calories, but packed full of nutrition. Okay, it's a vitamin C in okra helps support healthy immune function. Your immune system is down. That's what it is. You need to function properly. Okra is also rich in vitamin K, which helps your body clot blood. I don't know what's going on your body, but it helps your clot. Uh, helps your body clot blood, you know, run, you know, when you, your blood to run good, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm, mm hmm I do. Mm-hmm. And it helps fight off molecules and antioxidants called free radicals that can damage cell. So it has good benefits. Amen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need to get some okra. Oh! Eating too much okra can adversely affect some people. Gastrointestinal problem. Okra contains frontins, which is a type of carbohydrate. Frontin can cause diarrhea, gas, crimping, and bloating in people with existing bowel problems. Kidney stone okra is high in oxalate. You can only eat a little bit of it, but it's good for you still. You okay, so mainly I, I just need to eat uh, a lot of greens and uh, that's uh, broccoli right. and cauliflower, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You need to eat that. Okay. They can clear up your system, especially spinach. Okay. Yeah, I love spinach. Oof, I do. Okay, I can do that. See, it also, okay, it's good for your digestion system. That's what you need. That's what I was finding. So it's good for the fiber is the main factor in it. It has high fi fiber content. That's what I'm trying to get your digestion right. You, that's what you're having a problem with. Yes, I do. And that's what it's good for. Okay. That's why he told me to go right there to it. But once you fry that, you can even fry, you can put okra in, uh, in greens and a uh, cabbage too. Amen. You know, Pastor, I tried to eat cabbage um, about a month ago. It made me so sick. Mm -hmm. I used to be able to eat cabbage with no problem. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good, just depending on how you season it. Amen. It's good mm -hmm. for you. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. okay, well, that's what I'll do then. I'll just do, uh, mainly just really start doing vegetables. Mm -hmm. Vegetable and, and have, uh, to get your system back on, uh, vegetable and, um, fish. Amen. Okay, amen. Amen. My, fish, I got my, my number one fish is salmon. Oh, yes, I love that. I got some of that in my freezer. Okay, yes. that's what you do. And your system will get back in, in, in right. Amen. Okay. All right, Apostle. Thank you. Praise the Lord. You got me to lose about fifty pounds too, so that that'd be a blessing. <laughs> we, I know that everybody needs to lose weight, precious. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not able to go to the gym. It's just like, oh my God. When you uh, are you in any insurance? Uh, I'm a disabled veteran. Mm -hmm. So, oh, so they should have some way. Uh, you find out the uh, fitness program they connected to. Well, a lot of them, you know, a lot of them shut down and they haven't really reopened all the way like, you know, they were. Mm -hmm. So and a lot of people going there, it's getting COVID. So a lot of people just staying away from me. I used to go to, uh, I worked out every day, every day. Mm -hmm. except, you know, except for the weekend, five days a week, I should say. Well, they're getting it because they're not cleaning up the fitness place. Right, right, right. Yeah. And I love to walk. So I'm going to start walking yeah, in I'm my neighborhood. Yeah, do some walking. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you, Apostle. Praise the Lord.
Let me tell you, keep a lot of uh, 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 fluid in your system, too. Okay, yes. All right. Okay, thank you, Apostle. Mm -hmm. juice. Grape juice is good for you, too. All right. Grape juice. Mm -hmm. I'll get some tomorrow. Grape juice and beet juice, pineapple juice. Okay. Those are good for you. And um, what's the other one on the ghost? Uh, pomegranate and cranberry juice. So I drink all those in the orange juice. It's all good for you. Amen. Cran cranberry, pomegranate. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. But when you do that, put some ginger in there. That helps. People you know ginger is good for digestive system. Oh, I put ginger I, in there. Yeah. I love ginger. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I got cranberry, pomegranate, and uh, you said grape juice. Yeah. Grape is good for the... Um, Keep the potassium, your blood got to flow properly because I see your blood don't flow properly. You know, all oh. this stuff. All right? Okay, thank you, Apostle. Is there anything wrong or I just need it? No, you'll be all right. You just digest, you get a digestive tract, that's all. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. No, like okay. You, you you can't get the food digested. Sometimes feel like you're choking off food. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. You need to clear, yeah, clear it up. Amen. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll go to the store tomorrow and get everything you just told me. Yeah, I'm into that holistic uh, herb stuff. God, tell me, uh, the doctor said, when well, your pressure's up, I say, you go through what I go through with the doctor, you know what else praying and all this for everybody else. <laughs> but it come down, amen, and they tell me what to take, amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. God, always my, my stomach as I really as I get older it's has start really bothering me. Yeah, bothering that's me. what he told me that you got digestive tract. Amen. Mm -hmm. I need to clear up. Yeah. Okay. Thank All you, right. Apostle. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right, we can take a couple more people. Than anybody else on here? Praise God. I appreciate everybody on tonight. Amen. Uh, Vanshe? I see Daryl and them only. What happened to Daryl? Daryl? Daryl. Daryl. Vanshe? Yes, ma'am. Why will you allow people to get next to you? Do you not know you have the victory? Amen. Mm, yes. You're not going to leave this world. You're going to live, okay? Yes. Yes, ma'am. You're covered with the blood of Jesus. You under this ministry, you're blessed in Jesus' name. This ministry is covered. So whatever they're trying to do it ain't going to work, okay? Amen. So you stop worrying, okay? Yes. God I already got you. All right. Yes. Okay. Don't forget to pay your your tithes and offering. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. And you stop worrying. God ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. In Jesus' name. All right. Amen. Okay. Uh, Darren, D A R R E M Blair, are you there? Daryl. He must be asleep. All right, do we have anybody else to say something? I close out. I'm gonna close out. We don't say anything because I can go to bed. All right. Good evening, Apostle. This is Adrena. I hope everyone had a blessed day. Um, I'm just asking for prayer for my son. He's been incarcerated for over 15 years, and I'm just asking for prayer that God will make a way that he'll be able to be released soon. What is, what is in jail for? Um, if he was in jail for attempted robbery. Hmm. He didn't rob, but he, he attempted to rob her. Right, he didn't rob anybody, no. Hmm. Who are these people he, he used to hang out with? Um, that's where he grew up in Queens. I used to live in Queens, Flushing. 
Oh, okay. He grew up in, um, I think the Rock, not the Rockaways, but uh, mm-hmm. like in Queens, like near Sufton Boulevard, near around over there. Oh, that's where you from, New York? I'm from New York, yes, Prophet, yes. Yeah, I yes, used to ma'am. live uh, in New York. Oh, okay. I'm in, I'm in Brooklyn, New York. I didn't know about Brooklyn. Was, yeah, you know about every it. all that. I started living in New York when I was uh, twenty years old, and I became a professional model. And uh, oh, okay. I live in Queens and Hempstead and Roosevelt. But okay. I ended up living in Yeah, I ended up living in Flushing, Queens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was in South Ozone Park before my mother passed away. Okay. She had houses Ozone Park. Okay. And that's where he had these guys. Oh, okay. So it's been there 15 years? Over 15 years. I think April will be 16 or 17 mm-hmm. years. It seems like it's been forever. Well, he's trying to get on good behavior, ain't he? Yes, he is. Yes, mm-hmm. he is. Yeah. He's been doing good. Do you believe God can get him out this year in, within six months? Yes, I do. I received that. Yes, I do. Well, I see just the, the, I just saw the jails. You let know what they make open up for him. Yes, praise God. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Yes, praise the Lord. That's Jesus. what I've been praying for. Yeah. Well, God yes. told me that this year he's going to release a lot of out of prison. Amen. Because I, I have a cousin Amen. in there. Amen. But he, uh, he said, releasing. And a lot of time, God allowed them to go in prison. People don't realize that. To wake them yes. up, that they change. Because if they don't, they're yes, going to get worse and end up in hell. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So yes. he has learned his lesson. Who to be around with. I, I believe you warn him many times. Who you're around is not really for him. Yeah, I've had, I was a single parent raising him. And right. I used to always tell him that if you don't listen to me, you're going to listen to somebody somebody else. And, and that's what he got. That's, that's why he ended up like that. Mm-hmm. You tell him yes, this, yes. if you stand firm, what you're doing, he will be out within six months. Okay, I receive it in the name of Jesus. In Thank Jesus' you. name, he will. If God can release Prophet Tina, I, I know I asked this testimony, I'll tell you, Prophet Tina, get that testimony again. Yes, ma'am. Um, my son was uh, incarcerated, and they were trying to give him 32 years in prison, and um, Apostle and I and my mom and her mama mm-hmm. stood in the gap and we prayed and uh, they released them. Well, my son was still hard headed and he decided he was going to Canada and I say, son, don't um, don't take nothing to Canada. Don't take no weed or nothing like that or no gun or nothing like that to no Canada because you got a Mercedes which the pastor had given him mm-hmm. and they're going to be looking at you. Amen. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, as he got across that border, he couldn't even get across the border good. They arrested him again. Once again, trying to get... Hello? Yes, Amen. Sir. I'm sorry. We prayed, and it was a Thursday night, and we were taking communion. And um, as we was taking the communion, Apostle prophesied, and she said, Kenny, your son's going to be walking across the border tomorrow. And I received it and believed it and took it and ran with it. And the next day, my son was walking across that Canadian border. He was only in jail for six months. And I knew that that was Jesus. Nobody but God could do it that way. So if you believe that and receive it, then he's going to be coming up out that jail in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Prophet, can I just say something? It's so ironic that you said the years that you said, because I think originally he was sentenced to somewhere in the low 30s I'm going to say 30, 31, 32 years mm-hmm. and about maybe 10 years ago um, he he he, read, he met somebody in prison that could probably be a lawyer when he gets out and helped him write a brief and that took off I think 10 years he went and he argued that brief or spoke on his behalf of himself on that brief and it took off Ten years. So I think originally, because he was the youngest of the group that he got arrested with, mm-hmm. he originally got the lower thirties, and then they took off um, ten years. And then, like I said, he went back, and something happened. And instead of them coming home, 
um, they put it on. So I believe it and I receive it in the name of Jesus that this will be the year that he will come home. Thank you, Prophet Rose. Mm -hmm. Amen. It is already done. When you believe it, receive it, it's done. Amen. I know when God speaks something to me, it happens. And if it didn't happen, then receive it. We got a lot of testimony that God is moving. Amen. Amen. And he, and he says something. And he also, when he was in, uh, um, God is protecting your son in prison too. Your son. Uh, what's your name again? Um, my name is Adrena and my son's name is Trinell. Okay, Trinell. Trinell, uh, uh, his name is Trinell. I see God is sending the an angel to protect him in prison. You got an angel there. Amen. I received it. Thank you. Amen. I because received there's it. Yes, a couple of guys want to hurt him. But when you was talking, God said, release the, um, I want you to release these angels there to protect him. Amen. And he did that same thing with Prophet Tina. She said, Apostle, <clears throat> pray that my son be protected. And so God sent an angel in the prison. And it was an angel. And he was a big man. And he protect her son. Remember that, Prophet Tina? Yes, ma'am. He protect my son. And when my son got out, he called the prison to look for the man because he wanted to write him to thank him. And the prison said there was never anybody by that name there. Oh my God. Wow, Jesus. Your son got a calling on his life. He's chosen. Yes, he is, ma'am. And uh, he called to yes. preach the gospel. He is a prophet of God. And his relationship with his father was not good. And a lot of times when they don't have a discrimination with their father, you know, they try to find it with someone else. You understand? People, friends. And uh, so God is healing him also of his heart. And uh, he got the angel in the jail cell with him. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. I don't know he told you that, but one, a couple of these guys want to hurt him. But God's not going to let that happen in Jesus' name. I receive it in Jesus' name. I saw the protection. And when he get out, you don't have to worry about him going back in there. He's going to stay out for good. Amen. I receive it in Jesus' name. Because the things that go in prison are something else. I always pray for your loved ones in prison for protected. And so God's protecting him. Amen. In Jesus' name. And he gonna, he's going to, before he release him, he's going to get him a better prison when it's not too much uh what is that tina again we don't testify all this coming by prison you know where he put that young man that you was praying for him? yes ma'am it's another young man that we've been praying for um we prayed for him and um uh he he wanted to come out of the prison because it was a hardcore prison mm -hmm. and so we prayed for him and god released him out of that prison and sent him to a a less um where it's not so much where they uh, have the guards there all the time. They right, can walk security. and they can be free. Low security. Yeah. Yes. Right. So they yeah. sent him to a low security prison, praise the Lord, and he's doing much better. And he's also going to be released soon. So Amen. we just give God praise. Amen. Amen. He's no respecter of person. Yeah. Amen. You bring this for a Amen. reason that he's going to take him out of that prison, hot cold one, and put him in one less and protect him. Yeah. And he Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad that everybody on. And everybody don't know who I am. This is Apostle Apostle Parchment. Amen. Good to have you on. Amen. Now, I want to say this. Don't forget to register for the school of prophet and apostle. And all the other office. And how to walk and flow in the spirit like I do. You know, may not, you're not going to be me. But you'll be very sensitive. And you'll be on target like God. Because uh, uh, most prophecy that God gives me, it don't fall to the ground. It always comes to pass for God be the glory. Amen? Because Holy Spirit is my best Amen. friend. So uh, time is winding up. Don't forget to go and register. Prophecy Night. They're going to make all the information. 
And if you have not registered, you can't register without paying no money. Amen. Make sure you pay money. Amen. It's uh, $50, which is going to be awesome because you know uh, how the Lord used me for you to get the glory. I walk in revelation. Amen. And so that one hour is going to be like, three hours is going to be powerful. And you're going to learn a lot. Offers you in apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, pastor. And also how to flow in the spirit. Because a lot of people don't know how to flow in the spirit. Amen. And my teacher really was the Holy Spirit. Until I got under some other ministries. Amen. But really was the Holy Spirit. Amen. Taught me how to recognize things. And since then. Amen. So, uh, Prophet Nandy, you're going to make the announcement on that. Okay. Praise God. Don't forget to make the announcement. All right. Now, one person I could take. I'm going to get ready to close out because I've been on for a while. My voice is getting heavy now. It's time for me to sleep. Um, yes, Apostle. Um, my name is Contrika. Uh -huh. I was just praying for strength at my job and um, direction and ministry. Mm -hmm. Katrina? Yeah, Contrika. Oh, what a different name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all have some unusual names. Yeah. <laughs> so you was praying for what, Precious? Um, just strength on my job. Um, we work a lot. I'm an occupational therapist, so a lot of lifting in the nursing home and then oh. just direction for ministry, too. So, you, do you like being a therapist? I do. I've been it for 20 years. So, you know, I'm with the elderly, trying to get them to walk again, mm -hmm. get dressed again. It's beautiful. Get on and off the toilet. But, you know, it's strenuous. And I just pray. I know God has promotion for me and um i know he has ministry also so just direction because i'm ready <laughs> you know that could be very screenious screenious on your body mm -hmm. too oh it is it's like yeah. my neck my yeah. back <laughs> so what would you like to do god told me that you gonna open the door what would you like to do what did he place in your heart that you would like to do i used to say this he always give me tell you what he wants you to do but he's giving uh, opportunity since you was a blessing to the elders and you really care about the elders you, I didn't, treat, you yeah. didn't treat them like others treat you know they say one thing and they treat them bad and so god said he's gonna give you a favor and what you would like to do i saw um, you in your own office this is what i said yeah i i have a heart right now for women i have a heart for people in general mm -hmm. i'm a giver so I would like, because I just came out of divorce in August, so I would like for people to get restoration and maybe guide them from what I've been through. Mm -hmm. Now, you want to be restoration in, in, in the Lord or restoration of the physical therapy? Um, I would say, like, maybe help women and children with restoration. So I recently went through divorce, mm -hmm. you know, just helping them with their self-esteem, um, Maybe helping them with resources and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think um, helping women spiritually and then just with resources, maybe after divorce or crisis, maybe. Okay, don't, don't put no maybe in it. You either know okay. or don't know. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what the Holy Ghost is going to tell me to tell you. Okay. You don't put in no maybe. On, uh, you got to either know or you don't know. And see, yeah. you know, that's the gift of seeing prophetic. People don't understand the prophetic. The Holy Spirit will have us ask the question to you and see how you're going to respond and answer the way He wants you to respond. Even though He getting yeah. alternated to to um, to uh, 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 to do, but He also going to see you're going to do what He placed in your heart to do. I mm -hmm. want to know what actually He placed in your heart what He wants you to do. Um, just helping women, I would say, helping women in ministry and helping to restore women. Their self-esteem, um, their authority. And okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. Your self-esteem is not high, amen. Right now, you need to no, be. It's, you uh, let me finish. Uh -huh. You need to be built up first before you tell them. Yeah. Because why? It's gonna drain you. Yeah. All right. And God is not. God is not gonna let nobody drain you right now, amen. Too much uh -huh. is going on. And so you went to uh, a really, a more of a physical, mental relationship that really yeah. tore your body down. 
Amen. And so, God also wants you to know when you, also, if you're going to do that, are you ready to face what you're going to face with the people? It's not going to always be what you think in this restoration, because it could tear you down, and God don't want that. Amen. I received that because I know he's, right now he's r removing people away from me, right. and I'm working on myself, and even self-care, like treating myself to nails and pedicure and just even feeding my spirit a lot. Yeah, well, he wants you to love yourself first. Mm-hmm. Because there was a lot taken away from you. Yes. And there's a lot of hurt there. It is not also to do with your marriage. It's also to do with your family. Yes. And mentally, emotion, it damaged you because you are a giver. Yes. That's what you want to give. But you didn't get back what you gave out 100%. No. And it's not only from your marriage. This is from your family. Yes. And it started when you were 12 years old, 7 years old as a child. Yes. Amen. So you got to get healed from that first before you do that. Okay. Now I'm asking God to heal you. Amen. Yes. Because you really was hurt by your family. Amen. Yeah, I went through um, molestation from yeah. 5 to yeah. about 12, 13. Yeah, that's what God was telling me. See, it was saying that. Yes. Amen. And God said, you got to get healed first before you can tell somebody else. So yeah. you let God, that's what we have early. Uh, ask God to heal you of the hurt. I don't know where your family is living. Your parents are living. Yes. Um, my parents are about two hours away and they help me a lot Good. with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your, your relationship is getting stronger. Yeah, because the family member is like a distant family member, um, that, you know, uncle. But, yeah, my parents, yeah, they they help me, and we talk daily. Good. Uh, what about the siblings? Um, yeah, my, me and my siblings are close. We talk at least once a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what is this I'm feeling, sensing that is not completely the way it's supposed to be? Mm, I'm not sure. Well, maybe sometimes my mom is a little controlling. Like she likes to micromanage my life. So sometimes I don't tell her everything because she likes to kind of control it. You know why she likes to control it? No. <laughs> her mama could control her too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. She does, she means well, amen, but she has to understand, how old are you now? I'm going to be 45 Oh, next yes, month. gotta let go. You're not yeah. no little child. <laughs> exactly, like, I went to women's conference um, last week. Now, see, week. I'm, I'm getting to the point, you see where I'm going, I don't know nothing about you, but Holy Ghost get to the main point. You got to get this done first before you go in there, because um, uh, it's still there with your mama. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, she means well, but still she just hold on tight that she needs to let go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes get on your nerve. Oh, yeah, that's why I don't say much mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's what God said. Amen. And uh, so God wants to do a healing in you. So until that healing is done, amen, and then you're able to go reach somebody else, all right? Amen. I receive it. Because you don't need to get hurt by people because when you dealing with these people like that rejection hurt people will hurt others and they will mm -hmm. try to protect themselves and then they got these spirits on them and you got to be ready not to counsel them you can't counsel demons you got to be ready mm -hmm. to deliver them amen Jesus name amen and that's what God wants you to do prepare you first amen amen because uh, that marriage and you don't want the marriage. You've been to marriage. It wasn't that good. No. It was uh it was not more physical and more mental. Exactly verbal, yeah. Very much. And it put you down. Amen. Have you forgiven your husband, ex husband? I I did. That was one of my testimonies because he not only cursed God but 
he wished bad things on me. And um, that was very hard. Like he recently, um, he had called me because I just dropped off my daughter with him at the mm -hmm. grocery store. Uh -huh. And he goes, oh, like 20 minutes later, oh, my car broke down. And I need you to come take me to my house and get a new um, battery. And I, you know, I, thoughts in my mind, it flashed. It's like, I remember when we were married and you just let me wait by myself and you pick up my daughter and you wouldn't be a man enough to kind of, you wait for AAA. I was waiting in the dark for AAA, you know? But I let that go and I helped them that day. And my, and my daughter, she said, mom, I prayed for someone to help us and you came and I'm glad that you could be my, my father's friend. And that was worth more than gold mm -hmm. to see that I was an example for her mm -hmm. of the love of Christ. Right. Um, but still deep in your heart, it still hurts. Oh yeah, because mm -hmm. I don't understand how a person could love you and be so mean. You are so precious. I want you to know you are very precious. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And you've been very hard on yourself. Yes. But I want you to know that God loves you so much. Thank you, Jesus. And God's going to heal your heart from your hurt. Amen. Yes. Amen. Even though your parents are, uh, are there, and it's a controlling amen, it needs to be healed from them. And for your ex-husband as well. Yes. And as I talk to you, a lot of times you feel weak. You can't stand up. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling this. I, I, I said, where this weakness coming from? I feel like I'm going to fall out, you know. And that's you. It's overwhelming sometimes, you know, taking care of a house. Mm -hmm. a you daughter. do a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a caregiver. I yeah. take care of people at work. <laughs> yeah. You take care. Well, I take care of my mother. That's, yeah. that's enough. That's a lot, but I, 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 I love her. And then I'm, my, my, my job is almost 24-7. I get some rest as a possible. Because people want to pull on me because I talk to the Lord, but, you know, I have to uh -uh, back off, you know, and get some rest. But uh, you need, like, a vacation. I actually got one last weekend. I went to a women's conference. Um, I was able to get a hotel for a couple of nights by myself mm -hmm. because we have joint custody and I was proud of myself. I didn't. I didn't really call anybody because it's easy to call girlfriends. Like, oh, let's go do this. Let's go do that. Mm -hmm. But I just. I don't have girlfriends. Let me. Let me. Let's correct you. I don't have no girlfriends in the Lord. I don't want none. Oh wow. I, I'm not into that. So this is yeah. what I'm talking about. You got to get that worldly stuff out of you. Yes, yeah, I. Yeah, that's what I. I did. It was hard, but you I still didn't. got. You got to still get it out you. Yeah. I'm helping you. Amen. I don't know what ministry, what ministry you on there? Me, um, I go to Freedom Life. It's a non-denominational church mm -hmm. in Kissimmee, Florida. Okay, okay, Kissimmee, Florida, that, that's, uh... By Orlando? Yeah, I'm in, uh, Port St. Lucie. Oh, okay, about two hours away, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I have, um, a couple that comes two hours away. I was trying to okay. what, call them Daryl, and <laughs> they in, uh, Lake, um... Is it Lake City? Yeah, Lake City probably because they're yeah, that's Lakeland. I guess further north. Yeah, Lakeland. Uh, they, I, oh, I, Lakeland. Okay, about I, an hour away from me. Two hours. Yeah, they. Uh, Daryl, are you awake? Are you asleep? Are you up? <laughs> <laughs> I think probably sleep. A lot of them go to sleep on this line because of peace on here. Yeah. Uh, um, I used to live in Lakeland. That's interesting. Yeah. Well. Everything interesting when it comes to God. It's no coincidence, no accident. Yeah. When you, when God ordains something, He puts you in a place unfamiliar that's not familiar for you can grow and for growing process and make you stronger. Amen. Amen. And so right now, you have to be on that leadership that make you stronger because you need that. Oh yeah, I mean it was very liberating to not be around anybody except just you know soaking in the word from the mm -hmm. women's conference because i'm not used to that i'm used to being the life of everything yeah but right now you feel liberated talking to me don't you yeah i do you I feel do. free yeah. amen 
and uh, you're not like that with everybody. You just feel free talking to me. You feel, well, that's the Lord in me. You know, you feel, Amen. You feel comfortable. Amen. Yeah. And you can feel that you can trust me in the Lord. Yes, amen. I'm just real. Yeah. <laughs> if you only can take I'm just real. I don't play around. Just tell the truth. Amen. So amen. I want to tell you the truth that there's got to be some healing first before you go out there and begin to minister somebody because I don't want you to get hurt again. All right. Amen. And I'm 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 tender hearted because I give a hundred percent. Yeah, and they don't give you hundred percent right now. No, they don't. Cause, I mean, I started mentoring like one on one. And people don't take it seriously. They play around with your time. <laughs> what are you telling? You you couldn't be in my shoe one day. I've been here about thirty some years. I'm seventy years old. Amen. Wow, you look good. <laughs> That's the Lord Jesus. Yes. Um. Um. So there's gonna be some more things telling you before you go out there and grab soul, and because I don't want you to fall, and and because uh, I see the enemy would like to say a trap for you. So I, you know, I, I read it for you to be ready when you go out there, you know, Amen. and uh, that's what leaders are supposed to do, not just throw somebody out there and let the, at, at the alligators and let them eat them all up, you know. Yeah. And uh, and that's how I am, the type, the little girls, I don't throw people out there when I see, and some people can't take the truth, but I don't want alligators to eat you all up. And if you go out there too sooner, the alligators will eat you all up. But what you should have did, you went to women's conference, you should have really got away and rest your mind. Yeah, because it was tiring. Yes, that's what you should have did. But you did your own. So mm -hmm. I want you to listen to the Holy Spirit and let Him guide you. Because you, your body need rest right now. You need rest. And yeah. we need vacation. And you ain't got to go to a conference. You just go to a hotel and relax. Amen. Yes. Where there's some water out there and go to the beach. Amen. And relax. That's what you need to do. Amen. And that's going to help, you know, rejuvenate you. Amen. Especially, and then I don't have to think. I don't have yes, to. Yes, there you go. You yeah. see what God's talking. Get your mind regulated the right way. Amen. Because there's a lot of interference. You know, uh, it's like a, a real, a, a real like, uh, different channels come in our life. We need different spirits try to come in our life. So we, we don't want the wrong channel. We want to be on the right channel spiritually. You know, they're connected to the heavenly satellite. Amen. Yeah. To the Wi-Fi satellite in Jesus. Amen. Amen. And so that's what God wants to do. He wants to take you a process of an inner healing. You need that right now. Amen. Amen. Before when you, is your class again? My class is uh, next month. Soon. Oh, next month. Okay. February 2nd. Oh, February. Okay. Yeah, February 2nd. Amen. I hope you can come to class. Uh, I'm not coming to class. It's gonna be on Zoom. It's gonna be on Zoom, so you can come to class. It's gonna be oh, on it's Zoom. on Wednesdays. Okay. Uh huh. At eight o'clock, and you gotta sign up and register. Okay. But so you can learn some more understanding when you get out there. I, once again, I'm seeing alligators. I want alligators to eat you all up because you got a good heart. Amen. Amen. You always giving, and you never got back. Amen. Yeah. Amen. No, that's confirmation because. I was even seeing leeches, you know. Yeah, but that's what it is. I said it early. We gotta be careful. He be saying alligators, leeches try to suck everything out of you. But yeah. the alligators wanna eat everything out of you and they worse than they worse than the leeches. Amen. Yeah. They'll Amen. eat everything of you that be no good for nobody. Amen. <laughs> and that Amen. means that God don't want you to trap a people that say they are but they're not are. So you're gonna do a little more training so as you go to class it's going to make you get a little stronger, okay? Amen. And Father God, I just ask you to touch her heart with many people, not just her ex-husband, but people she thought was her friend. Amen. Uh, uh, bite her behind her back like snakes. And God, you're going to place people that's going to be for her. She's been through enough. Her body needs rest. Her body needs your strength. So I break anything that try to tie so tied to her, it's gonna bring her down. And I pray for a divine healing completely, especially her mind. So that's what the enemy attacks in Jesus' name. That she'll be able to fulfill the purpose and plan that you have for her life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. You're a sweet person. Very sweet. Amen. I I, I try to be like even though I've been through a lot, 
I try not to let it change me. But don't explain to yourself. I know you're better than that mm -hmm. from the Holy Spirit. You ain't got to explain to me. Because if you was worse, I would have told you. I don't see how. <laughs> I don't hold my tongue. Yeah. And some people can't take me because I tell the truth. So like I gave, they, they heard the uh, prophetic that uh, God gave me. The truth <laughs> is all in my vein. Me. Yeah. I don't care who it is. I'm going to tell the truth. Amen. Because I care Amen. about the soul and I love what I'm doing. Amen. Amen. So you got to be very careful who you're around because everybody's not for you. Amen. You want you to be more sensitive because you, you just, you go and talk with people and hope they be the same way and then you always explain to yourself and they, they think you're crazy. But they're crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, God's going to do any healing and and sign up for the class for you can learn some more, okay? Okay. It's coming soon. Everybody need to get class soon because I'm going to sign up every second. It's coming. There's two more weeks, isn't it? Two more weeks, yeah. Amen. Yes, mm -hmm. So we're going to get together to talk about that. Amen. It's one hour. You don't want to miss it because, I mean, I'm excited because I love what I'm doing. Amen. I suppose Ben started this. Oh, yeah, fifty dollars for a class. Remember that registration for class. And how long a uh, uh, semester is for uh, Prophet Nettis? Will you explain that real quick to everybody? Yes, it continues to May, from February to May. And then if they go, they get a certificate for that class, don't they? Prophet Tina, you and Prophet Tina. Yes, ma'am. Then they get their certificate for. Uh, Completing the prophetic school. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. This will be going on the whole year. Amen. Some people may want to come back. But uh, my teacher really have flowed. So, like I'm flowing. I can say like I, 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 uh, uh, I smell shrimp. You know, seafood. And uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, my son, uh, Pierre, say apostle. I just got to eat this. <laughs> he, I'm here, at, at, here in my home, and I'm picking that smell up. Amen. From God. And he says, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So you'll be able to be sensitive and know, amen, in faith, in faith and without failure. Amen. All right. Good evening, Prophet. I'm Lois. I just was trying to register for the class, mm -hmm. and I wasn't able to. So if someone can just check and see. What, what, what happened? It it didn't it didn't have me to be I was able to put the money in. I did put my name and everything in, but it was no place that it showed for me to make the fifty dollar payment. It's supposed so, to be there. Ain't this there, y'all? It's there. I just helped someone do it uh, earlier. Okay, you may need to help me because I didn't I didn't see the part to put the money in. It's I'm PayPal. It Isn't uh, PayPal on there? Yes, ma'am. It's under PayPal. Natalie had it set up really well. Uh, look to the uh, right hand side when you're looking at your uh, phone or the computer. And as you're putting your information in, it's on the right hand side where it's the PayPal. It says book, I mean, um, to, to pay. And then you should just be able to do it from there. I'm on my iPad. Would it be a little different from the iPad, or do I need to actually go on the computer? Mm -hmm. No, it's no different. No I different. don't think it's any different. I mean, it's, it's set up. Uh, she have it where you just put your name, your information in, and then right on the right hand side, once you're ready to pay, it just says book now, and and if you go to your PayPal, and it'll it should you should just have to put the information in for your card on the PayPal. Okay, is that the only way you can make the payment, or can you do it any other way? No, we want on no. PayPal. Yes. PayPal's better. Okay, let me see if I can do it then. Okay, thank you. Okay. If not, um, just listen to uh, Prophetess Natalie at the end. She's going to give out the information, um, and she's going to give out my number and everything. And you can just call tomorrow, and I'll walk you through it. You got okay, that? Okay, thank you. Yes, thank You're you. You're welcome. Yeah, because she walked to somebody else too. Amen. Amen. Okay. So everybody, make sure you get that in. You know, can start soon for you can learn. Amen. Church, amen. amen. Being a being a prophet, 
I'm being a prophet is not an overnight process. I want y'all to know Amen. that. It takes more than a year. Amen. But uh, we have to go through uh, understand it. Amen. And the process going with it. Amen. As I know, I've been um, in the ministry for how long? <laughs> it's about it's about thirty something years, right? <laughs> I can't forget. It's been a long time. And I was taught by the best. And the number one who I was taught by the best is the Holy Spirit. Amen. So you're going to learn that when you walk in the office, you're going to have faith to believe the Holy Spirit is talking to you. Amen. 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 So when I get on the line, I'm already ready. The Holy Spirit is ready. So people need to understand all that, that you know, this way. When speaking, don't fall to the ground. Amen. Church, amen. I thank everybody tonight for being on here. Um, it's time for me to get off because I got to be back on Sunday on Facebook Alive only, not Clubhouse. Amen. So I'll be on Facebook Alive on Sunday. Amen. So everybody understand the blessings that God will want you to be on the curse. He wants you to be on the what? A blessing. Amen. Cursing is not of God. Amen. Blessing. We know about the blessings in Deuteronomy 28, 1, 14. We know about the cursing in uh, 15 on up. Amen. And it's still working now. But Jesus became that curse. That you won't be in a curse. And so when you obey God, and so God changes. Instead of saying obedience all the time, he said faith. Because faith is the same thing, obedience. Amen. Amen. When you say Brenda, you talking? Uh, no, no, Apostle. I, I, I'm sorry. I was trying to listen to what you were saying. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I, I, Apostle, I wanted uh, uh, Pastor Tina to know I need to call her about my PayPal too. Okay. Is that working? I can't seem to get it to work. Um, so I'm gonna need her to help me. What is this, about the class or just regular PayPal? No, uh, I'm trying to do the uh, class. Okay. Pay for the class. Okay, then you will call me tomorrow. Call her tomorrow. Okay. okay. Amen. She got the number. That she'll make well, nothing. That's, well, that's today. <laughs> oh, she'll yeah, already right, it is. <laughs> <laughs> You may not call on Sunday because okay. we be in service on Sunday. All right. <laughs> it is today, but um, I forgot we in morning time, y'all. Morning, morning. Amen. I'm in uh, Vegas, so it's it's almost ten o'clock here. Oh, that's and, right. Time is different. Amen. Yes, and, much different. Amen. I like yes. to, I like to come to Vegas and preach. Turn sense. You call it sin city up down upside down by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So uh, call it call it today. Amen. Not early this morning. No, no, no. <laughs> Everybody, not early this morning because you gotta get some rest. Tina, what time should they call you? Probably Tina. Uh, around 10 is good. Okay. All right. So call around 10 and she help y'all explain how to go through that. She went through with somebody else. Amen. Okay. That would be a blessing. Thank you. Okay. Uh, now, if somebody said they register, you should have a, uh, what did she have, Tina? Uh, no, 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 no. Happy to snap someone registered but it doesn't show that they paid so yes they can register what they are doing is registering on the site but not registering for the booking so they can register as a member on the site but they actually have to go through the booking That's and what the, I thought. yes ma'am they'll receive a, a confirmation email if they actually registered successfully okay no, yes. well, I don't think they registered through pain. They registered mm -hmm. through the site. Right. You can, yes. It shows you that. It'll tell you which ones are verified. Yes. Well, yeah, no, I know you made it simple. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Don't let my play hands on y'all. Register and tell them something else because you know I'm like, them. <laughs> I'm doing something. Let's be real now. If you register, register. Because I had to deal with some people. And we, uh, uh, this is the other side of me as apostle. Real apostle in the Lord. For God be the glory. Do not get on there. We had people got on there uh, make an appointment without. And I like things in order. That's if you read about Apostle 
Were they like things in what? In order. In order. In, in order. order. Yes. I believe in that. Amen. I believe what God said. I didn't ask to be apostle. So, apostle, I'm straight up. For God be the glory, like things in order. Please do not get on there and make no more appointments. I always tell you, if you want an appointment for me to talk to you, you got to go through my assistant prophetess, Tina. Amen. So, they're going to make the announcement for you and call her. All right? And just amen. 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 I, I'm bringing it down for once a week because I I, I can't do everything. Once yeah. a month, apostle. Once a month. That's right. Once a month. So get your uh, counsel in there if you want me to counsel you, because I got so much going on. Amen. And I'm not gonna burn myself up for nobody. Church. Amen. <laughs> and I mean it. That goes to anybody on that. Amen. I don't care. You go to school or what? I'm just straight up. I'm not gonna backstab you in the back. I got to get some rest. Amen. Now, other people kill those leaders. They ain't going to kill Apostle Parchment. Church, amen. 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 We have to use wisdom because, you know, we only one person and we got these superwoman and supermen trying to do so much and they end up dying before time. No. The hell with the devil. The hell with the devil. He ain't going to kill me before time. In Jesus' name. Amen. I got to get some rest. And so, uh, I'm picking up. A lot of you need to get rest. Church, amen. 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 You know, because God ain't called one person. And don't look at these simple flip flop crazy ones. Because God ain't called one person. If Jesus, he keep reminding me one day, I'm, I'm going to leave this and, and we're going to close. It was 5,000 people. And 5,000 now is like 5 million uh, 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 people now. Compared to the day when Jesus was walking, right? Did Jesus go and minister to all those people? No. No, ma'am. What no, did he, he did not. He didn't do it. He, what he did, he did a miracle feed them. And if they believed that they could be healed by the food he gave them, that's what they're going to be healed of. And then, after he did what he did, and miracles, and, and you know, animal food, he slipped away from those people because he didn't want them to burn them out, didn't he? Mm -hmm. What he did, he got away, didn't he? Amen. And I'm saying this, Amen. several Amen. of you are trying to do too much. Amen. Do not try to do too much. Get your rest. A lot of you need to take a vacation, like I told the young lady. You don't need to go to no conference. You need to get uh, go in a hotel and there's, uh, and with a pool and there's rest. Uh, go one by the beach and rest. Amen. Amen. Because you got to keep your immune system up as well with this crazy stuff going on. We're not walking no fear. But you got to keep your immune system up. God told me to tell this to people. Amen. Your rest is important. I'm telling you, I got to get some rest. So do that. Amen, everybody. Praise God. Then the pain, I was saying, amen. What'd you say? Amen. What'd you say? I had to, um, prophetess, I had to enlarge my screen. My mm -hmm. screen was on the small mm -hmm. side, so I couldn't see the pay side. Mm -hmm. So once I enlarged my screen, I was able to see the well, pay that's side. Okay, good. Okay, so I was able to do, I got you my don't know what to call me. Just call me, just call me Apostle, right? Apostle, yes. Because you're flow, yes. flowing all five gifts. That's what Apostle okay. does. Amen. Okay, thank you so much. Good I'm night. glad you're on the line tonight, Precious. Thank you. I'm glad that all of y'all, because you need it, need it to hear the truth. and tell Because yes. I tell you the truth from God be the glory. And they'll tell you, if I got something to tell you, I'm going to tell you I'm not going to backstab you. But if you do something wrong... And you put foolishness, I'm going to, uh, I may uh, I'll tell you, uh, if I don't get to talk to you and you don't talk to me and you try to put your tricks on me, I'm going to do what God says. I'm just straight up from the Holy Ghost. Amen. My Amen. best friend. I, I ain't got time to play games. Too many leaders playing games with people mind. Just tell them the truth. Amen. And so I'm able to walk in that gift like that. For God be the glory. Amen. Uh, it, what did they say? The truth. All in my vein. The God said the vein now. And God said the blood. The truth is all in my vein, so I can't help but tell it. I don't believe in backstabbing. I don't believe in being two-faced. <laughs> it's a snake. And I, I a lot of people are not used to that. So I say amen. 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 Yeah, tell you uh, how the Lord is in me for God be the glory. I believe if I got something to tell you, I'm going to tell you. Because we got too many people backstabbing and lying and... Saying one thing, we call, I call them the Pharisee, the Sadducee. Jesus called them, you're hypocrites, you're just like your father was. How you going to know? Because you, if you know my father, you know me. Amen. 
So I believe that's the being real is, is the key. Integrity. Amen. Just amen. 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 So uh, that's what I believe in. So um, they will get information, get in touch with it. Amen. But it's going simple. Amen. And if you come, hurry up. Class start soon. Amen. It's going to be one hour. And after I get up one hour, I will not be on Clubhouse. I'm going to get some rest. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because I have to be on Friday. I got to use wisdom. Amen. Everybody got to use wisdom. Let me tell you. Don't bring yourself out, everybody. He didn't call one person to do everything. Just say amen. 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 You, amen. you got to rest, precious. You got to rest your mind. If you just lay in the bed, just rest. And you can't be with Jesus 24-7. Nobody can. But if you submit to him, whenever it's time for him to do what he wants to do, then he do it. Amen. Amen. Word of wisdom. Get some rest to build your immune system up. Amen. Everybody. Praise God, everybody. I thank God for all of you on tonight. Facebook as well. Amen. I'll be back on Sunday morning at Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock p.m. And I got a hot message. Amen. And I'm going to say this. I'm going. To, God just told me if you don't change it. Because he always, he tell me right then. And sometimes I don't get it till I get to church in the right kingdom. But I study the word. <laughs> Amen. But he's telling me this is what I'm going to talk about. The blessing of God make you rich. And it don't add no sorrow. And add no sorrow. So that's going to be a powerful message. Amen. That there is no sadness when God want to bless you. The devil lied to you and said you got to do all that. All you got to do is be real, walk in integrity, and trust God. Amen. Amen. Because we got Amen. too many church goers. They're just going to church. That's all they do. Church, church, church. Going to church ain't learning nothing. Just going to church paying their paying their tithes and spread, and spread the tithe on getting to heaven. Amen. Praise God. So, uh, know that God got a blessing for y'all. I speak blessing on y'all life. I didn't get a chance to uh, go over some blessings, scriptures that you need to speak. Amen. I want you to go to Deuteronomy 28, 114. If you be obedient, you will eat the good out of the land. Isaiah 119. Write this down. Amen. Second, second, uh, Corinthians ten five, Philippians two eight, and prayer for life flowing with milk and honey, uh, Exodus three eight, and Deuteronomy eight verse eight, God for Jude stop flowing with milk and honey, and abundance and prosperity confection is com confession is is good. Psalm twenty three verse one, we know that, Amen. Hallelujah. And Genesis 17. Amen. 17 verse 1, 2, 3. Amen. Confession is important what you say. Make sure you speak the right thing. Amen. Just amen. 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 And I'm going to give you some more scriptures. Uh, continue on before the uh, thing that you start speaking these things and get scriptures that are going to no negative, but it's going to bless you. Amen. So the scripture was tonight, was, tonight, was uh, third uh, uh, John, the second verse. And we said that, beloved, you are God's beloved. Make it personal. Put your name in there. And remember that when you read the scripture, that the, the punctuation mark is very important. Amen. God is talking to you. Take your time. And allow the Holy Spirit reveal to what he's saying. Amen. And you'll understand the scripture very well. Church, amen. 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 I thank God for the new people tonight. Amen. On the line. Hope to see you again. Hope to hear from you again. And uh, the regular ones. God bless you. And God bless everybody. Just be encouraged. Don't let the devil tell you no lies. Okay? There's still hope. And don't give up. Please do not give up. God has not forgot about none of you. He loves you more than you could ever imagine. Amen. 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 And this is your year of restoration and recovery. This is your year that you will see the hands of God move in your life, marriage, amen, healing and marriage, deliverance, marriage, your children getting ready to be delivered. They in prison. They get ready to come out of prison. Amen. What are we going through? New jobs, new business, and uh uh ministries gone forth. Amen. People gonna have new transportation, new homes, 
This is the year that God want to release an overflow of prosperity in raising multi-millionaires. Amen. And say, I'm one of those. Amen. 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 I want you to start speaking the right thing. Amen. But keep your heart clean and clear. And thank you for being on here. And God loves you. And thank you for planting your seeds. Those that plant the seeds, obedience. Watch God's going to move for you in Jesus' name. And those that couldn't have the seed to plan for it, uh, you know, sow a seed. Get, where the water is, is ground is wet, put that in the ground. You say, Well, I don't have the hundred dollars, I don't have dollars. Pay whatever you want to pay. Pay on until you pay it off. It's church, amen. 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 Just get that seed in the ground. Amen. And watch God move for you. If you can do more, fine. If you don't, if you can't do nothing now, then you pray for those uh 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 do it. Amen. But you're not on this line just to pay for your prophecy. I want to get that straight. You're not on this line for you pay for uh 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 me uh, talking to you and tell the truth. You're on this line to be set free that you can grow and mature in the Lord because there's so much work out there, everybody. And the hand needs a foot and the foot needs a nose. We need each other. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. And we don't need to be jealous because enough work out there for everybody. So I pray for the best for everybody and uh, talk to you later. Uh, uh, so, uh, um, Sunday I'll be on. Probably not going to get the information. Amen. Once again, you want to know about the ministry? Uh, she's going to tell you how to get hold to a, a prophetess Tina, my assistant. Amen. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't ask members. I ask disciples because members uh, uh, it could be in the organization. Ain't that right? Amen. We're looking for disciples who want to really follow Jesus and have a relationship. Amen. Not church goers. We got too many church goers. That's all the answer. But the bus held wide open. Amen, everybody. Amen. 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 Well, God bless you, and I love you. And remember, God loves you, and all you precious. All right, prophets, that they take over. God bless you. Bye bye. All right, Facebook, bye-bye. God bless you. Good to be on the line. Amen. Hallelujah. And listen to the message. God bless you all. And don't give up for the best is yet to come. Amen. Hallelujah.